They're running back and forth. I know right. they do. I do. I get tired of starting and stopping. So we'll give them a minute or two to find out we're back on. It's going to take it. Right now they're zero. Hopefully the other one shut down correctly and they're not still in there waiting on us. Yeah, I was trying to talk to everybody in chat and see how their night was going, you know. Well, they were probably talking back. <laughs> you just couldn't see it. That's what happens when the, what's what happens when it goes out, man. It just stops. See what I mean? The live keeps going, but the fucking chat stops. I don't know what the hell that shit's about. I don't I know don't why know. that is. Well, it got me a new cup, so it shouldn't have a hole uh, in it. Went on about 15 minutes. Ain't nobody coming back in yet. It's going to take them a minute or two to find us again. Yep. There's one. Found their way in. Hey. Like I said, they probably get fucking tired of having to find us again. Well. I can't blame them. I don't know why the fuck it does that. I wish there was some way to, to reset it or redo it, but... We'll give them a minute and let them filter back in. I we'll knew that was my wife. Run in here and hello again, JR. <laughs> Thank you all for coming back. Sorry we keep having all these, as, as Sovereign would say, technographical difficulties. We have those. I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and use the restroom, which is where I was headed when that thing stopped. So I'll leave you in control for a minute. Try to stay under 20 months. <laughs> try to stay under 20 minutes. I'll do my best. Yes, sir. I'll try not to pull an American price. All right. How's everybody doing out there? Anybody want to see my ugly ass? Well, I doubt third time is a charm. Very seriously doubt that with this phone. That's good to hear, JR. That's good to hear. Hope everybody's uh doing great. And uh we wanna thank everybody for chasing us around pretty much. I don't know why you do it, but I'm glad you you are coming back. This is some of these nights here in Ironton that we have out chasing the cherries and berries is uh, a little boring. So, uh, oh, did we lose the chat again? Oh, no, there it is. Thank you, JR. Nothing, literally nothing. We ain't nothing. Just trying to talk, and it just keeps dying. I, I don't know why. I don't understand it. But I will be the first to say, no, I do not like this phone. I'm glad Terry does. <laughs> Must be chili peppers. Oh. Well, to the five that, uh, actually came back we appreciate you guys coming back yes this is the phone that chili tells everybody that he paid for and all that but uh i uh am pretty much ia's witness that uh he pays that big old bill which i never would but yes yes this is the phone that chili keeps telling everybody that he bought and paid for and, you know, he didn't because the IA literally pays the bill and everything on it every month. No thanks to <laughs> Chili. still talking about my phone. Yeah. 
Yeah, I pay for that son of a bitch every month, and Chili ain't paying shit. Hell, he ain't even got the money to file his own lawsuit. Let alone pay for my phone. I gave the girl to a gas station. I just gave her a $5 tip, guys. So, thank you for the contributions that you've sent in. It allows me to do things like that. She keeps the coffee coming, always keeps us, keeps us full of coffee for sure. And she puts up with us pretty good. She's always nice to us. Many damn bombs do. What <laughs> evidence does Redneck 99 have to say such words about you, Terry? Well, I don't know. I didn't see the words he said, unfortunately. I wasn't here. What did you have to say out there, Redneck 99? Hello, Dave Malik. How you doing? Good to see you tonight. Yeah, what would Redneck say about me? Did I miss something? Dude? I have no clue. Let me grab it. Probably another one of those big maps. Right. Let's see. Redneck, redneck, redneck. I don't have no idea what they say. Brother, I don't see no redneck on there. Oh, I don't know then. I just oh. seen the questions. Uh, yeah, it just popped up. It says, uh, I didn't say no words. Oh. That was actually redneck that wrote that. nothing in this stream i don't know if it was in the last one i have no idea the chat went out on us so it may have been something that i missed just know that i ain't everybody's favorite person guys i mean it's that simple i never expected to be there are some people out there behind a the camera that think they're fucking great me i'm not one of those no, I'll no, be no. honest, I don't give a damn what anybody thinks of me. Ask my old lady, she'll tell you. <laughs> don't give two shits. Doesn't matter one way or the other. Zero fucks given, guys. Zero fucks given. I'm not out here to be well-liked, and I'm sure not out here to uh, uh, to please people. Oh, just run red light. Did you see mm -hmm. that? Just plain fucking run the red light. Uh, and that, uh... Wow. Uh, Sean said something like I'm corrupt. Yeah, I'm not corrupt. I haven't, you know, I'm not the one out here stealing money or the rights from the people. Nice try, though. And who is that asking? Uh, Will Bell knows. Paul Jerick is not still in jail. He got out on bail a long time ago. He's out uh, kind of as a free man until he goes back to trial. We're still waiting on that trial date. They had to appoint a special prosecutor and a special judge. And for some reason, it's got a bit of a hold up on it. Everybody's trying to accuse them of sweeping it under the rug, and I keep trying to explain to them if they were going to sweep it under the rug, we'd have never fucking heard about it because it would have been under the fucking rug. Yep. So the reason that, they, or the, the fact that they actually arrested him and fired his ass, well, he quit, but the reason they arrested him and took him to jail proves that they are not willing to sweep it under the rug, that they are willing to arrest his ass and put him in jail. And that's a fact because it did happen. So now we're just waiting on the fallout of that. And as it happens, guys, I'll update you. So you won't have to worry about it. I'll let you know as soon as I know something. And I, I go in and talk to the clerk's office at least once a week to find out if we've got any further information or a trial date scheduled so that I don't miss it when it happens. Because I, it's definitely one I'd like to attend. And probably not for the reasons that most people wish that I would. That's the funniest part. I actually liked Brad, man. I, I thought he was one of the good ones for a man. And I, I, I thought he was. Too. I thought he's a pretty. I mean, still kind. I guess a pretty cool guy. But you know what I mean. I I don't know. That blew my mind. Oh, he man. said he did say on the other stream that Terry isn't a real auditor. Well, he's not the only one with that that opinion. There are a lot of people out there that have that opinion. So he's free to think whatever he wants. He can think however he likes. Yeah, when I heard Spall Dirt got busted, it blew my mind. Where I played ball with him and stuff, mm -hmm. it blew my mind. Because, I mean, he was always against the drugs, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, well, when I was a little kid, I was against smoking, too, until I got about nine years old and tried right. my first one. Like a dumbass. <clears throat> yeah, I think I started at 10, so. Yeah, my first one was at nine, and by the time I was 14, I was smoking every day, all day, so. 
you're right in the grips of addiction the real person never shines through it's the addicted person and the addicted person's never who you thought they were that's a fact you i can attest to that I agree with you, Dave. I think I am the, that's capitals, all caps, T-H-E, I am the auditor. I am that guy. But, hey, not everybody agrees because I'm not a prick. They think that, you know, if you're an auditor, you have to go out and scream and cuss and actually become the content. And they don't like me because I don't do any of that. So, you know, that's because people are confused about what an audit, they, I don't think they've probably never looked up the word auditor or the word audit. Yep. Probably never even looked it up so they don't even know what the hell they're talking about. And we do it the right way. But I do understand that, that uh, the majority of the auditing community out there don't consider me an auditor, and I don't mind. Shit. I don't care. I don't need their approval. I'm not seeking it. I don't need them to agree that I am the auditor. Uh, I am the auditor because I am, not because anyone on YouTube agrees or disagrees with it. So just so you all know. I am the auditor, and I'm not looking for anyone to agree with that statement. It's unnecessary for me. I don't need their opinion. Chris says I'm really a cop watcher, uh, not an auditor. You know, well, there again, it depends on what you think that word auditor means. That's kind of my point. You know, there are different, different interpretations of that word. And uh, my auditing goes on, not on camera. So, you know, I do review body cam footage. I look at police reports. You can ask IA, he's seen it. We do it. IA, <clears throat> APO. That's what I meant. <laughs> I'm IA, and I, fuck, right. I'm getting all kinds of confused now. Damn, I don't know who the so, fuck we are anymore. Damn, we're there. so damn bored out here. We're calling each other. I know, right? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm glad we got them with us, man. Right, right. I'm, I'm glad to... Uh... Your Vista says, thanks for keeping the police accountable. Uh, well, I try. Um, I'm not going to say that the only reason they are accountable is because of me. Uh, that's not necessarily true. I'm no superhero. You know, I come out and film the traffic stops that I can find. You know, that's, that's what I do. And, uh, you know, I do the best I can. That's all we can do. Right, Roseanne said the reason she watches is because I'm not a prick to the cops and I don't nope. harass civil servants. Right, right, that's, you know. I treat them as public servants, not as my personal slave. And there's a big difference between the two. They are servants to the public, not necessarily servants to the individual, if that makes sense. You know, they serve the individual, of course, because we're members of the public. But when members of the public start treating their public servants like private slaves, then that just makes them pricks and they shouldn't do that. And you will never see me do that to people. That's just not how I am. I won't do that. No, no. I think we made that a, a rule when I first joined you. To be different than everybody else. Well, that's the idea, you know. Yep. Not not because we wanted to be, just because we are. We are different, yep. you know. <laughs> and I'm respectful. I'm like certain short-statured balding men in California. <laughs> Another short joke. Oh, I understand, Chris. I, I didn't feel dissed a bit, man. It, it don't bother me. You can call me whatever you want. I, I don't mind. I, I, I understand exactly what you're saying. You know, I get it. You know, what's really funny is looking at all those finances. If they're that underhanded, they're not going to be in the open books available to the public. Just say it. We come out here and test our First and Second Amendment every goddamn time we're out here, don't we? Every time. So remember, guys, I'm not only a First Amendment auditor, I always carry, so I'm a Second Amendment auditor as well. I'm making sure you got those first two. Find my ashtray there. Have to empty this son of a bitch next run around. Too much. Too many butts in the can, man. Next uh, coffee break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> next time you get a hole in the bottom of that fucking car. Right? I mean, it's uh, it's getting there. 
Mine's about half gone already. Mine is too. And I got the big cup. Of course you did. <laughs> That's uh. You got the big boy cup, did you? Yeah, I got the big boy cup. Uh, no, Dave, I don't pull any stupid stunts, not with a fucking pistol on my hip ever. Um, I'm a very responsible gun owner. I'm a very safe gun owner. And no, I won't be out acting stupid with a pistol on my hip. That's a good way to get your Second Amendment taken from you real fucking quick. Yep. And I believe if you're going to be out and be an irresponsible gun owner, somebody should slap you across the face and take your gun away from you. Simple as yep. that. You know. Simple as that. If you're going to be carrying a fucking weapon, then you better goddamn have sense enough to carry it. You know? Safety. Better, better be responsible. <laughs> Everything from, from the safety of carrying it, the safety of handling it, and the ammo that you choose to carry. All of that matters. <laughs> How much would it cost for me to put on red glasses and say I'm a constitutional law scholar? <laughs> It cost. It probably cost a pretty good bit, man. I don't. I don't even want to try that. There's too many other people out there doing all that. So. All right, redneck dad. I guess you got me biting. What is it that makes an auditor? What is it that you think other auditors do that I haven't done? Yes, Chris B. I have heard of Tom Zebra. I've watched his channel. I've watched almost all of the auditors out there, pieces and parts of. I don't always know them by name, but once I see them or hear their voice, I generally know exactly who they are. But yes, I do know of Tom Zebra, for sure. That's a big name out there. Redneck Dad was saying just filming the cops at a distance is not auditing, so. A distance? Hell, I'm all, I'm almost inside their fucking yeah, police car. Well, you know, apparently, I'm all cried up on apparently them. hasn't watched too many of our videos. So check my next <laughs> comment before the last one. I hey, here's a cop. So First one I've seen all night. There's one of them. I'm trying to find his previous comment here. Test the police government to see whether or not they will respect the people who try to violate them and hold them to transparency. Well, that's what we're doing out here, redneck. That's exactly what we're doing out here. Been doing that for months now. Uh, you can agree or disagree. We don't really care, but, you know, that's what we've been doing. We test them all the time with pistols on. So there you go. <laughs> I'll walk right up to them. I don't give a shit. Right. What are they going to do? Bye, Carl. <laughs> JR's asking me the difference between a Glock 22 and a Glock 23. Fuck, I don't know. I don't have all this shit memorized. I'm a gun owner, but I'm not like Sovereign Soul Unchained Mind who can say, well, the model Z83 Swedish <laughs> sure grip suck machine takes D-cell battery. I don't fucking know, guys. I'm not a gun expert. Uh, handling them, I'm fine. But as far as knowing, you know, all the weapons out there, who makes them, what their calibers are, I don't know. And I don't pretend to know. I'm not going not gonna to act like I know shit I don't know. And the times we do stay back, it's because all their personal information. Mm. Well, comes you know, out, some you know people I mean? would argue either way. So, you know. <laughs> where have I been other than Ironton? Nowhere. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Redneck Dad, I am the Ironton auditor. I <laughs> thought that was, you know. Where the fuck else would I go? Where are you going? Where are you at? I, I haven't went out anywhere else and done all that. So I do them right here in Ironton. I am the Ironton auditor. Um, I'm not the national auditor. I'm not going to run through every state in the union. I don't have that kind of money. I barely got the money to come in here and cruise this fucking town. So. And we for damn sure ain't going to ask <coughs> for money. No, hell no. And even if I had the money, I ain't going to go travel the damn country just nope. to piss off cops. That's that's not for me. Nope. I'll leave that alone. Well, I'll tell you what, Jr. The only Glock I know for sure, I was never a Glock fan. I didn't know a whole lot about Glocks, but I actually had a friend buy the one that I wear now. It is a Glock 19, it is a 9mm, and it has a double stack 15 round mag. So that's that's what I know about Glocks. There are many other models. I don't know which ones are what calibers. I know the 17 is a size up from my 19. That's what the Ironton Police Department carrier Glock 17 is. It's the same, same 9mm. Same double stack mag, I believe. Just a bit bigger pistol. 
Might hold a couple more rounds, I don't know. <laughs> I do kind of wish you would cross the bridge one weekend night and see what you find. We might. We might. You never know. I don't really have that as a goal or anything, but, you know, we might at some point. JR said the Glock 17 holds 17 rounds, so I guess they got me beat by two rounds. Okay. Mine holds 16, including the one in the, in the pipe, so and there's always one in the pipe. Yeah, you can get a big extended mag for those, JR. I can, I can put one of the big 30-round mags in my in my Glock 19. The only problem is, is it sticks out so far behind my little <laughs> bag. Man, that thing sticks out like that far when I put it in there. Had to get a wheel put on the bottom of it so I don't drag the ground. What else does my auditing accomplish? It keeps them on their toes. It keeps them following the law as much as the rest of us have to. Isn't that what I'm supposed to be out here for? If I travel all around the country, I'm not really holding anyone accountable. That's the problem. I can't hold one stop accountable in every fucking state in the country. Um, but if I stay here, then yeah, they know I'm here. So they know when I'm on scene that they ain't going to be fucking up. There you go. I'm doing what every other auditor claims to do. I'm doing it for a fact with the same bunch all the time. I'm shitting right in my own front yard here, right in my own hometown which is something else that most auditors don't have the balls to do. They don't audit their own hometown. And the reason is because they're always out there causing shit and stirring a pot, and they don't, nope. you know, they don't want to do that with their locals. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, good stop right there, buddy. Good stop. I was asking if we've seen what happened in my city, STL. I assume that's Missouri. I'm not sure St. what Louis, the STL Missouri. is. Is it St. Louis? No, I, I didn't see that, Crispy. Um, if you want to tell us about it, I'll sure read it. Roseanne said she's getting a beer in a man. I like those. Have you seen those the little beer in a pistols? They fire little balls. Oh, no. They got, they got solid rubber balls. They have some with tear gas. They have some with pepper spray and shit. And since it's not an actual firearm, anybody can carry one. It's a great fucking self-defense weapon. So, yeah, anybody out there who who feels they need protection but doesn't want to carry an actual firearm, beer in a B-Y-R-N-A, look them up. That is a great fucking option right there. I will agree. I like that one. I'd like to have one myself, just, for, plus, fun, just uh, for shits and giggles. I have one. I think we're the only two that uh, actually gets up on the police. The rest of them zoom in like they're up on the police. Redneck said that's the kind of BS he's vehemently against. I'm not sure what kind of bullshit he's talking about. That's the only problem when I'm having two or three different conversations with people. It's hard yeah. for me to remember exactly what's going on. So. Do I carry home defense rounds known as shredders? Rounds with one in the chamber. If you're talking to me, I always carry one in the chamber and what I have in here is, is a Hornet, Hornady brand critical defense. That's what I carry in my Glock 19. And the reason I carry those is so if I have to shoot some crazy bastard in Walmart, I don't hit the pregnant lady and three kids behind him. You know, that way it stays in him. All 16 of them. And it's gonna take them. It's the only bad thing about a nine, man. It ain't like they're going to kill over with one shot. That, that yeah. Hollywood bullshit ain't going to fucking work. You're going to have to open up and put them down. <laughs> Talking about harassing cops businesses and other places. I agree with you, Redneck. That That is not... That shouldn't be done. You know, I don't like that either. There's no point. I mean, how many, how many people working at the, the local library or the local store uh, that some of these guys audit, how many of those are actually out there stripping the rights away from the people other than absolutely zero of them, you know? So I agree with you that it's it's all about clicks and views and money because some people just love to watch that horse shit. Gives them big balls when they go out in public. They get to say, I've got a First Amendment. Don't tell me I can't do this, you know? And it's just because <laughs> they want to get out and act like assholes is all it is. You're right, Sean. You're always responsible for every bullet that leaves that barrel. That is a fact. So you got to make sure. That's what I said earlier. You know, everything from the 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 actual owning, carrying, all of it has to be safe, including the ammo that you choose to carry in public. You know, when you're on the range, hell, you shoot whatever you want. Everybody uses generally solid nose because they're they're just cheap. You know, the hollow points we save for for defense. You know, but uh, yeah, you're definitely responsible for every bullet that leaves your barrel. 
and if you hurt somebody with it, well, then you have to live with that, and so do they. So think about that before you pull that trigger. You're right, Justin. Hollow points can fail. You are 100% correct. Oh, Chris said I missed him telling me. Let me scroll back here and find it. Sometimes I'm looking away and I miss shit. There's where he asked the question. Um, evidently, I don't see it. I see where you ask me if I knew about it, and then I see this here, and I see you said, Hello, princess. I didn't see where you described what had happened. I'm sorry, I don't see it anywhere. Unless it was before he asked the question. Let me go back a little further. I don't know if I can go back that far. Nope, I don't, I don't see it, Chris. I'm sorry. Roseanne says those people are not auditors. They are harassers. What did the librarian do to take away your first amendment? Right, exactly. Yep. You know? Steve Harlow, hey, how you doing, sir? Good to see you tonight. It's probably, I don't know if it's night where he's in Hawaii. I'm not sure what time zone they're in, but I sure do appreciate you for coming in and checking us out, sir. It's always nice to have you in the chat. 19-year-old with AR-15 entered school with uh, two dead, seven wounded. How the hell are they getting in a locked fucking school building with a goddamn rifle is what I want to know. Yeah. Which one of them motherfuckers is letting them in? Around here, the school buildings are locked up like fucking Fort Knox. Even the parents can't get to their fucking children unless somebody buzzes them through the door. Yeah. I know they have cameras. Do they not see the fucking rifle? It's not like you can put that fucker in your pocket. I call bullshit on some of this stuff. I want to know who the hell's letting these kids that are too old to be in school in the fucking school to shoot kids. This makes no sense. I don't get it. Yeah, they... Hell, it, even at the Ironton City Schools, they got police sitting in there. I always got a cop's school. <coughs> Redneck Dad, you may be right. Like I said, uh, you, you all can say whatever you want. I don't really care. Uh, the channel is called Ironton Auditor. You, can, you don't have to call me an auditor if you don't want. I don't care. You can call me whatever you want to. Certain schools don't have locked doors. Well, every one of them around here does. Yeah. Every one of them, as far as I know, does. I don't know of any school that's not locked. I guess we're uh, the responsible ones. But maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that that's so responsible. When I was a kid, my mom would walk in and walk straight to my fucking classroom. The doors uh -huh. were never locked in the school. Man, I don't know how everybody else feels about it, but if I had to beg the state permission to get to my child, I'd kick that fucking door off the goddamn hinges. I'm getting to my fucking kid. You won't protect my kid, I will. Yep. Right? Yep. But that's just me. I'm a crazy old fucking hillbilly like that. I don't trust the fucking state. I don't trust the teachers. Not not, not for that kind of protection. Yeah, iron school, you got buzz in. All that crap. So he pulled to a specific door in his car, got out, broke the glass, entered, and went directly into a stairwell and up to the third floor. <laughs> Sounds like maybe they need better glass breaks in their... Uh, in their windows, I guess. I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. How, how do you prevent something like that? Apparently, you can't. You know, yeah. apparently, you can't. You want my advice? Don't send your kids to a public fool system anyway. They ain't learning shit worth learning anyway. Think about it. When you were there, what the fuck did they teach you? Nothing. They had you memorize a bunch of shit that you don't even fucking need to know today. Yeah. Absolutely fucking nothing they taught yeah. you that you need to know besides learning how to read, write, and count. That's it. By the time you're in third, third grade, you should be done. Everything else your parents should teach you. So I blame the parents for not teaching the children because yep. they're, they're, they're trying to say the state should do it and, they, you know, that's not how it should work. You know, learn how to parent your children. Well, that's my personal opinion on the whole parenting thing. That's like school here, man. They're trying to move Kels up. You know what I mean? Uh-uh. Says Uvalde police failed those kids so, so sad they even started arresting parents for trying to get to their kids. Man, I tell you what, they'd have had me yeah. arrested for probably murder. Because yep. if someone tried to keep me from getting to my child, I'd start killing people. Yep. See, you won't keep me from my child. You won't. They, you won't. I don't have any kids, but if I did, there ain't a motherfucker in the world to stop me from getting to them while nope. I could still fight and had a breath in me. No. Nope. Period. Because I promise Period. you, I'm, I'm the first one to die for yeah, my kids. You're goddamn right. I'm the first motherfucker to die. That's my job as dad. Mom's right behind me. So when I die, she'll take care of the kid. Plain and simple. Guarantee. But I'll take out every motherfucker trying to prevent her from getting to him. I promise you. That's some bullshit right there. See, that's what I mean. You put them in a school and now the state thinks that it's their responsibility and fuck you as a parent. Yep. Now, I don't like that shit. I disagree completely with it. <laughs> yeah, 
I think uh, I'll be happy to die that day. We want 10 o'clock yet almost. Almost uh, 10 o'clock. They'll be doing shift change here Yeah, I'll be minutes. happy to die that day because I promise you anybody ever touches my daughter, son, I'll fucking kill you. Yeah, we see you, Ida. I see you asking if anybody can see you. I can see you. I assume the rest of them can. How you doing tonight, Ida? Guys, shift change will be here in like seven or eight minutes. We'll have the night shift on. Yeah, I have not seen one other auditor walk straight up. Pretty much like we do. You know what I mean? I've never seen that. What the hell are they scared of? Who? I wonder, you know, police pullovers and shit. Well, remember, How they zoom in well, and act remember, like they're up close. Well, remember, most of these guys are not from the area. They're right. not from the area, and because they walk up and try to pick a problem, the cops already don't fucking like them. You know what I mean? Just plain and simple. So That's the, that's the difference between us and them, though. Uh, we don't give a fuck where it's at. <laughs> they got somebody pulled over. I'm walking up on it. Chris V says the first cops arrived within four and a half minutes or so and he was neutralized within nine or ten. So I guess that ain't so bad. Uh, of course, you can do a lot of fucking killing in ten minutes, man. If you got enough ammo, it really don't take long. I mean, if you're a good shot. You know, oh, it'll uh, definitely hurt some fuckers well, if you can't kill them. Like I said, with the city schools around here, even the country schools, they got cops. Doors locked. You know what I mean? Yeah, around, shut. Around here, there's a sheriff's deputy posted at every school as a school nope. resource officer. All the fucking doors are always locked. So. Sean said, this has been a relaxing night for me. Thank you, Terry. Five TVs turned off, and the only one, and it's you, and it's relaxing. Well, good deal. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're having a relaxing evening. Well, that's bullshit. He didn't put me in there. No, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, I'm not sure what she's disagreeing with me about, but Roseanne says she'll disagree with me at this point that her daughter got a scholarship after high school and she's now a mechanical engineer. Right, but she could have been a mechanical engineer without any high school education or any college education whatsoever. All she'd have done was went and got the job, and guess what? Oh. They'll teach you how to fucking do it. You don't need to go to college to be any kind of an engineer. You just need an engineer to teach you how. Just saying. One thing I know about going to school for something as you go and you get all the knowledge, but you still have no experience, that experience comes through somebody training you when you get to the job. It's amazing. Nope. No matter what you know how to do, when you get somewhere, they still have to train you how to do your job, right? Nope. So was the schooling necessary? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. I could be a brain surgeon. All I need is someone that knows how to do it to show me how, and I could yep. be a brain surgeon. It's that easy. But all know, they want you to spend all them thousands of dollars. Oh, hell yes, man. It's go always to college, about money. what, seven, eight years to be a mm, surgeon? Some dumb shit. It's more than that, shit. Is it? Glasses look crooked. Well, hell, they might be crooked. I, I don't normally wear glasses, guys. These are just plain glass at the top and bifocal readers at the bottom. I just need them for reading. So they probably are <laughs> crooked as shit. And it's just because I'm always taking them on, putting them on, taking them off, and they get bent all to shit. And I got to keep bending them back into shape. So they might be crooked as hell. Might not be the light. They might just be crooked. Then again, maybe my fucking head's crooked for all I know. <laughs> maybe it ain't on exactly straight, you know? <clears throat> To get the professional license needed to stamp the design, you have to meet the education requirements. Well, that's what they say. But there, there again, there's that they, you know. They say a lot of shit, but they are completely unnecessary to life is the way I see it. I was a straight A and B student in school. I mean, I, I got bad grades, don't get me wrong, but I always made it up, you know what I mean? Mm. And I've learned more shit on these streets than I ever did in school. Well, it's because they don't teach you how to live in school. <laughs> they don't teach you anything about life in school. They make you they make you memorize all the states and their capitals. Now, here's the problem. Most people don't even need to know what the fuck capital of their own state is. They never have a reason to go there. No. They never have a reason to know whatsoever, and yet, you know. It's just dumb shit. It's about memorization. That way you walk out thinking that you know all the answers, and then you graduate yep. high school, and you live about 30 years of your life, and then you realize you didn't know a fucking thing. Yep. You know, and you just start learning sometime around 35, 40, that you don't know half of what you thought you were taught. You know. So that's that's why I hate school, is because they really don't teach anything. 
Sean says, I'm back for the third time myself. Yeah, us too. Now, <laughs> or I am anyway. Well, uh, uh, if it cuts off, we'll have to do a fourth one, I guess. I can't remember who here. said it. And they said third time's a charm. I said, I doubt that with this phone. Well, it's not the <laughs> phone. It's something to do with the internet. I'm not sure why that is. What big white house that you drive by in Ironton? Well, fuck, I have no okay. idea what you're talking about there, Debose. I'm not sure. White There's house. a lot of houses in yeah. here, so yeah, I mean, what a lot of white ones too, right? So, I'm, not, I'm not sure which which one he's talking about. We drive past a lot of houses in here, <laughs> so I, I don't know. There must be a particular one. We reached that 10 o'clock mark almost. 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 That's, so they'll be there. Clocking in, clocking out. I'm sure they always have a meeting. You do this, you do that, blah, blah, blah. I did this. As, I hope there's as, more than two on tonight. As some people say, they're in the back room high-fiving about all the people they fucked out of money tonight. Hey, baby doll Ironton. I see her in here. Hello, baby doll. How you doing? Debo says it looks like the White House. I'm not sure about that. We have our courthouse. I'm not sure about an actual house. It looks like the White House. Would I buy an AR-15 for self-defense at home? Actually, I have a 12-gauge shotgun for that. That's my favorite home defense weapon. Um, I do have a couple rifles. I do not own an AR-15. I would love to, but I'm a poor son of a bitch. So, I, mean, you know, I, I can't afford it, but, you know. Um, it probably wouldn't be used for home defense. God damn, an AR is a rifle. That's where you reach out and touch someone, you know. Here, turn your lights on. Turn your, turn your headlights on, man. You're driving around with no damn headlights. <laughs> Welcome to Ironton. Oh, damn, we lose that chat again. No, it was on there just a second ago. Oh, okay. It's still on there. But yeah, I, I wouldn't buy an AR-15 for self-defense. No, I would buy an AR-15 for an offense. That's an offensive weapon. That's something you reach out and touch somebody with. You know, for that short, close range, I would rather have a handgun or a shotgun. That's, that's my personal preference. So, In my home defense shotgun at home, I have the first shot is, is shot. The second shot's a slug. The third one's shot. And the fourth one is a slug. And, of course, the fifth one is a slug right behind it. So, Well, if they take that many damn shots and... Well, it's, 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 it's just, you know, it, 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 if I don't want to fire that shot, it's a pump. So I can pump it out and hit them with a slug. Yep. You know what I mean? It just, you know, I just have that shot in there in case I need to, like, you know, just warn them, stay the fuck back. <clears throat> Roseanne, you absolutely can. I don't know why you would ask me that. You, you absolutely can. Go right ahead. You don't, you don't need my permission. If, if, if you're a mod in my chat and you feel someone else is worth promoting, go for it. I don't mind. I, I don't have no problems at all. Anybody can promote their shit in my chat. I don't mind. Doesn't bother me a bit. No. I don't even have to like them. Hell, it doesn't bother me any. Sometimes it, whenever I talk about other channels and I tell people they should go check them out, if my mods are listening and they have the opportunity, it'd be a good time to go grab that link and throw it in the chat so everybody can find it. If, if you have that ability, you know, not everybody's on a PC. Me, I work a PC like some bitch, but I can't use this phone. I don't even know how to copy and paste a link on a phone. I still ain't figured it oh. out yet. Using the phone is, uh Said she's not a mod. Well, damn it. I don't think I can make you one from here either. Oh, here we go. Maybe I can. Try it now, Roseanne. I bet you got it now. I didn't know I could do it on here. I guess I can. Chris V says 12 gauge... Mossberg pump action, eight in the barrel, one in the chamber. There you go for when the zombies come in force. I agree with you completely. Actually, baby doll, I have a great number of mods. They're just not in here tonight. That's what it is. <coughs> I just don't have them in here tonight. I think they're out watching uh, better people than us tonight. There are a lot better shows going on. You know, not, not everybody wants to come watch us drive around town. 
Why does a person need, they don't need it debose, but I tell you what, I wouldn't argue with a man doing it. That's up to him if he wants to exit, you know, if he wants to take his AR for a walk, I don't see a problem with it. As long as they're not being threatening or anything, I don't have a problem with one, you know, have a shotgun across your back, a rifle across your chest, and a pistol in each hand, hell, don't bother me none. Of course, around here, we expect to see shit like that, but, you know, yep. different parts of the country, I guess it's a little bit different. I believe Debose, am I correct, Debose, you're in Canada? He's in Canada. Things are a little bit different there. Oh, okay. Definitely different than they are here in a tri-state, I promise you. Yeah. Hell, the rest of the country's different than it is here in a tri-state, isn't it? <laughs> right. Trying to add a couple here. Guys, I'm adding a couple mods. Just don't make me regret it. Not that it really matters. There ain't much you can do besides time people out and block them. And if y'all get to fucking off too much, I'll just remove it. <laughs> right. I'll take the wrench back. It's not a problem. You're right, Chris V. I usually don't get a whole lot of bad shit going on in my chat. Just the occasional nut that comes in from a specific other channel just to be an asshole. Outside of that, I don't get a whole lot. And the reason is because I don't ask for it. So I don't I don't create problems in the world. And that's why people can't really come and talk bad about me because they really don't have nothing to say. Sovereign Soul Unchanged Mind is a good person. He seems funny. He is very funny and he's a great guy, man. He is a good guy. Uh, man, me and him, uh, we're like peas in a pod. You know, we, we think a lot alike. We, uh, we act a lot alike. And I just like the guy. You know, we get along really, really well. I remember at night he was there in town. We had that pulled. Dude, he pulled right up behind that fucking cop car. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. I did. And they were trying to figure out who the fuck that was. <laughs> yeah. That was funny because they had no. It was an out of state Jeep, yep. out of state plates. Had Virginia plates on it. They was wondering he who the fuck right these nuts getting out them. with cameras were. That was a good night right there. Right, Debo said he liked the song he made. I'm not sure which song it is. He's he's got a few that he's done on his channel. Yeah, Chris V. It was it was pretty cool. Um, if you guys like stuff like that, hell, I can show you quite a few right here in the local area. We have. Ironton actually was the world's leading pig iron industry during World War II. So there was nowhere in the world that could produce pig iron like we did right here in good old Ironton. And all that pig, pig iron came from out where I live. That's Wayne National Forest now, but it was an entire strip mine. Mm -hmm. And all that pig iron came from there. So, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of old pig iron mines and everything out home. You go walking in the woods, if you know where to find them, there are a bunch out there. Yeah, I get messages all the time. Hey, y'all like that song? Well, which fucking one? There's like 50 on there. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, yeah, I love all my fans. Uh, right, Chris V. Thus the name Irontown or Irontown. <laughs> that's exactly how we got it. And that's why you'll hear me refer to it a lot as Irontown, you know. We are Irontown because of the iron, literally. Pig oh. iron. Yeah, I get them emails all the time. Oh, I love that one song. Turn the camera back around so they can see the street again since we're out. And then when I ask them what song it is, he'll take them 30 minutes to reply. <laughs> so I guess they got to go back well, to the Well, they got to go find out, you know, like the <laughs> ship. I don't know. <laughs> well, a lot of times they follow a link is what it is. Somebody yeah. will give them a link and they follow that link and they hear that one thing and they don't realize you've got like 5,000 of them on there. So. Like I said, you know, I love all my, all my fans. And my haters. I love my haters more, though. Somebody's talking about you. Ida. See, I don't know you. It's a paragraph. Man, oh, that's here. Just turn it where you can see it. Oh. Get the car bouncing. Damn, son, you need glasses? Mm -hmm. I think you need glasses. Was a furnace from back in the day. Oh, okay, Ida. I appreciate you uh, letting me know that. Like I said, Ida, I just thought it was cool as shit. You know, and uh, it, I didn't know. <laughs> I, I was sure it wasn't a pyramid, but you know, uh, that is uh, pretty cool now that I know. Well, thank you. She's laughing. Hello, Ellen. Right. Well, I mean, I, uh, yeah, you ever sit and watch somebody on a cell phone 
like across the room from you and they type in LOL, but you didn't even see the fucker smile. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wonder how many people type that shit in there like LOL and they didn't even crack a fucking smile, well, you know? Now, uh, I'm going to start That's this out funny. with saying I love my soon-to-be wife. And, uh, <laughs> you better start it out like that. But, uh, but man, she is the worst at that shit. Dude, I could be sitting across the room, literally, or standing across the room from her, and she'll text me, love you. No, Sean, we've only seen one police vehicle cross our path tonight. We haven't seen any lights on at all. We're still we're still out waiting, though. Right now is shift change. It's right about 10 o'clock, so they'll be, be coming in, clocking out, and the other group should be in there clocking in. And, and uh, I have no idea who's, who's on tonight. Um, it used to uh, always be Brad and, and the bearded Blankenship and usually one other and now that he's gone and I assume we're going to have Allison, the yep. new one, and probably uh, one of the Blankenships. Yep. So I, I, I don't know if we'll have, you know, I don't know how many we'll have. We'll see. Right. I, I, like like I, said, I don't run the police department, uh, so it ain't like I get any choice in it. They don't give a damn what I think, I promise you. Right. Everybody talks about how great buddies we are. Well, they sure don't give a fuck about my suggestions, I can tell you that. <laughs> Do you want me to go see who's on, Chris V? If you sure. want me to go to the cop shop and see yep. who's on, hell, I'll get out and walk right up to the fucking uh, yep. front door and see who the fuck comes out and gets in their car. I ain't got no problem with it. If you guys want to see them before they get in their car, say so. Hell, we'll go there right now. Are you? If you'd rather us stay out here and kind of try to remain a little bit hidden, we can do that too. It doesn't really matter. I'd rather remain hidden, and but I don't care. I don't, go I don't and beat think on the door fucking hidden anyway. I bet every one of them in here know I'm running live right now. Yep. I bet money on it. So and I bet money know. half of them is watching. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think I, they find it exciting. But, but I'm pretty sure they know I'm out. You know. But Chris, if you want to know who's on, say so, sir. I'll get I'll get us right up fucking in the middle of it. I ain't got no problems. Yeah, we'll pull up to the damn front door. Hell, look here. We're already here. Here's the cop shop right fucking here. You? Yep. I can't get any closer than being on their fucking parking lot right here. They is, so. Might as well, he said. They know you're out. All right, well, we're fucking here, then. We'll find out. we we'll just yep. sit here and wait on them to come out of there. Yep. We can do that, too. Oh, yeah, I may just walk up here and just push the buzzer. <laughs> I don't think there is a fucking buzzer, man. I don't think I don't think you are back there. It might. I'm glad no one's getting uh, killed or anything, because you sure in hell ain't getting in that door. Oh, hell no. No, <laughs> you better be able to defend yourself till they get it unlocked. I promise you, and it's about 15 minutes after mm, you push the button. Well, you know. <laughs> 1801. 1801. Man, I'm trying to remember who, who drove that. There's 01, there's 03. And I can't see the other one back there. I think Blanket Chip was in the 03 last time. Yes, this, JR, this is the place that Pam Wagner is the chief of. She is the chief of police here. You're right, Sean, it seems that way. Third shift is the one that handles most of the traffic at night, and during the day, it's mostly just calls for service. You know what, And the calls for service, I don't, I, I don't attend. I'm going up her I try to working. stay off most of those just simply because they're calls for service. And... Uh, I try to stay out of the public's private life as much as I possibly can. Except for those getting pulled over on traffic stops, obviously. You know, they're... Oh! <clears throat> they're probably in their meeting. I'm sure they have a after shift and before shift meeting, so I'm assuming. Oh, quit it. <laughs> Chris said maybe we should ask them if they loan us a radio for the evening if we promise just to listen. Oh, we'll ask, you know. I'm pretty sure they're going to tell us fuck no, but we'll ask, you know. I, I, I asked the chief if I could have a radio. She told me no. I also asked if I could be authorized to have a light bar and siren, but I was told no on that too, so imagine that. I tried. I figured that'd get me through traffic a little bit quicker. 
Yeah, they're busy. They ain't got time to talk to your ass, Eugene. <laughs> I don't think it's doing anything. That's just it. Hey, it's chilly out here. I'm going to go back and sit in the car. I'm a wuss in the cold, so I don't like it. In case you guys didn't know, I'm the world's biggest pussy in the cold. I don't like it a bit. I don't even like cool, and cool is the same as cold to me. Eugene's going to keep pushing that button. I don't know why. I don't think it actually makes any sound inside, and I think that's why they don't answer the fucking door. That's my opinion. Because it seems to me if they thought one of somebody was out here needing some help, that they'd be right out the fucking door. And I assume they're not because it doesn't ring back there. But then again, I wouldn't know, so... Hey, there's Mitten State Media. How you doing, Mitten State? Good to see you tonight. Yeah, you're right. I could have them. But I was trying to get permission to use them. That's what I was trying to get. But, you know, of course I didn't get it. <coughs> Hell, having one of the radios and a light bar and a siren would work out pretty good. I'd be able, to, be able to get from point A to point B a little bit quicker. They ended encryption in California, huh? Well, they're right. It actually should be public information. Oh, you guys think I should just take JR? You think I should just take the fuck off and leave him there? Let him keep pushing the button? I agree with you, Debos. Why would anybody want a light bar and not use it? I'd damn sure use mine. <laughs> It wouldn't be to impersonate a cop. That's not what I want one for. I don't want to be a cop. I don't want to act like a cop, and I don't want to be viewed as a cop. But I damn sure would love to travel through town like one. I would love to be able to get traffic out the fucking way when I'm trying to get up to see what the other lights are about anyway. And I, since I have rode with them on a couple rides, it is pretty damn neat when they turn the lights and sirens on and you get to do... Uh, break the speed limit like a son bitch flying through town. It's, it, it's not as fun to ride as you might think. Make your butthole a little tight because you're not steering. But outside of that, it's pretty cool. Hey, Sean said they're going to put them torture cuffs on you if you don't quit pushing that fucking button. He said they're going to put the torture cuffs on you if you don't quit pushing that fucking button. <laughs> he said, hold on, he'll push it again. He keeps pushing the button sundown. He's expecting them to come out and answer the door, but I don't think that bell button works back there is why they ain't coming out and answering the door. To be honest, I don't think it rings back there. I think it's broken and they don't know that. Or maybe they do know that, and that's why it don't work. Hell, I don't know. Well, Chris, if somebody was in crisis mode, they'd have to remain in, <clears throat> in crisis mode. Uh, but basically, y'all have to understand, we don't even have a dispatch here. The dis uh, even our Ironton City Police are dispatched through the, uh, through the Sheriff's Department. So if you want to call the Ironton Police after hours, you actually have to dial a different number, and you have to dial the, the Lawrence County Sheriff's Department's number to get through to get them Somebody dispatched. Too many damn donuts. Uh-oh. Eugene said they got too many donuts. Well, you know as well as I do, a cop will kill his own mother to get to the nearest donut, so that's what I've been told. Damn it. For some reason, them fuckers love donuts. I don't know why that is. That's what I've been told. Oh, he ain't got a silly question. We're trying to figure out who was on duty tonight, so... Uh, Sean wanted to know, right? I like don't remember who it was that asked, but we'll, I, I think it was Chris V. Oh, okay. Asking, I, I think. Shit, I don't care. That's what I mean. Sometimes you have two or three conversations going on in the chat. Mm -hmm. It's hard to remember who said what, so I try to keep up. If they'd keep that door unlocked, I went in there and beat on the other one. Right. Well, I don't know why they don't. All the doors inside are fucking locked, too. If you manage to get through that one, you still can't get in. They're all locked. I don't understand that. Yeah, it was Chris V. Me, me, me. Oh, okay. So. And it's the same way as the sheriff's department. I you tried, know, Chris. Once you get through that locked door that y'all see right there, it's the same thing at the sheriff's department as it is here. Once you get in there, all you have is a tiny little lock. Here, I'll go show y'all. Instead of just telling, let me get this off here and get the door open here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about so that you understand.
and I, I don't know if this is common everywhere else or if it's just around here, but y'all see that? Y'all see this is just a tiny little lobby here. There's not much here. It's just a tiny little place. But if you look through there, you see that where it says press button once or press once for service? Uh, it's like a doorbell. And unfortunately, that once you, once you even get inside the locked door, you still don't get to see a person. You push a button on the wall and then somebody has to answer that button and then they have to ask you what you want. And then of course, you know, they hem haul around for as long as it takes. So, you know, if you were actually being pursued by someone willing to do you bodily injury in this part of the country, you better have your own damn pieces. All I can tell you, carry your, carry your own, uh, 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 electric hole punch. You know, your cordless hole punch, excuse me. I promise you, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Sean said your arrest is going to be my first audit for the night. <laughs> they got to have something to arrest you for first. Right? Pushing the fucking button ain't quite That's it, right. is it? So what are you pushing that for? Because it's here, motherfucker. It's yeah. a button. It's the people's button, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> then they can act like an auditor and say, listen here, motherfucker. It's the people's button. We right. push it all we want. We pay for that fucking button that don't work. So their district has something like that, but a cop is at the desk inside. Yeah, there is no desk inside. We we have a nice little old lady that works here. A uh, really, really sweet lady, the the clerk. Nope. Cindy. Really, really nice lady on the other side of that, that button there. I agree with you, Chris. I don't know why they don't have a... I mean, they have a camera up here. It's I don't know if I can... Yeah. See if I can zoom in on it so you all can see it. See, right on the other side of that awning there, you can see the camera. And there are monitors in there. I've been in there. Um, they can see it, but they have to be in that particular part of the office. Um, if they're not, they wouldn't even know someone was out here, I doubt. Then again, maybe they saw it was Eugene and said, fuck it, it's just Eugene. <laughs> we don't need to go out there. He's big enough to take care of himself. Oh, God, APO and I, nope, don't answer. Sean, that, that outside door is only unlocked from like uh, uh, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, right around 2 p.m., that door locks and stays locked for the rest. It's 2 or 4, something like that. Nope. It locks and stays locked the rest of the day. So, Matter of fact, it's locked even from the inside. you got to push a button on the wall oh. and hold it down just to get out of the door, let alone to get in it. Y'all never go over to the boat ramp. I've lived across the river 41 years, and the boat ramp is a definite hot spot for nefarious actions. Actually, I was just down there earlier today, and the last live we had, we, nope. we drove down in there for a minute, showed everybody the high water mark there. Yeah, we, we can go down on the other side of the riverbank. There's nothing going on down there. Not like it used to be, anyway. There's nothing down there anymore. Well, used to. Well, back in the old, uh, the good old days, you used to go down there just to fight, and that was it. <laughs> or to race cars. That, yeah. that was that was when the bottom loop went around. Yeah. But they took yeah. it out and put that pier in, so it's a little bit different than it used to be now. I agree with you, Katie D. I think it should be open twenty four seven too. But they don't give two shits what I think. And the fact that they can't, they don't have somebody here. The, the problem is our county seat's in town too, so we have the sheriff's department just a couple blocks away, and it's even worse, man. They're, nope. they're, they're not very fucking polite down there. The ones that answer the box on the wall really aren't polite at all. So, you know, it's, it's not a pleasant experience when you have to go in there at all, I don't think. No. I don't enjoy walking in there, and I damn sure don't enjoy talking to a fucking squawk box on the wall and letting that person decide whether or not my problem is, is significant enough to talk to a badge. No eye of the beholder. There aren't any audits yet tonight. We're out. We're waiting. <laughs> Sovereign said, damn, it's hard chasing us around the internet. I know, right? We keep having to stop and start again. Little Charles City, Virginia. Well, hello there to you. Ronald, I guess that's Noel. Or Noel. Noel. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. N-O-W-E-L-L. -L. That's a little different. I, I don't know. I always thought Noel was spelled N-O-E-L, oh, but so is Noel, right. so I, I don't really know. I'm sorry, guys, if I butcher your names, I apologize. I'm just a hillbilly. I do my best. Sovereign says, that really grinds my gears. Well, you'll have that, sir. I could tell you the best way to quit grinding them gears, sit on your ass and quit chasing us around the Internet. You won't have, <laughs> you won't have that problem. <laughs> I believe yeah, tomorrow anyway. tomorrow will probably be better. Uh, Eye of the Beholder. It's Friday night. 
Friday and Saturday is usually our best two nights. That's why we usually just run them. But I decided to come out tonight just for shits and giggles. I blame Sovereign. For this he, he said night. I got it, so I guess we got it right. Damn, they still ain't come to that damn door. Well, why would they? I'm telling you, that fucking buzzer don't work, man. They don't even fucking know you're out here. Go over and jump in that fucking running car and turn the goddamn I siren on. I bet they'll get the fuck out here. I, I care, care. Damn damn one, That's like, that's better than blowing a fucking horn right there. Take off down the street in it. <laughs> Well, I've actually when had they, a couple of them tell me, take the car. <laughs> when, when, when they come out, I'm going to tell them, say, yeah, y'all didn't answer the fucking doorbell, so he decided to take the car for a spin. We figured that'd get your ass out. <laughs> yeah, I've had a couple of them say, fuck, keys is in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I ain't never been in the front, so yeah, I just wonder what that'd be like. 1024. Roseanne said instigators. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you we get in there and start fucking with their car, they'll be out here. He said he double dog dares you to just turn it around in the parking spot. Turn it around parking spot. I'll let you do that. I ain't fucking touching it, I can tell you that. Uh, I'd have to be paid very well because I'm going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> right? You guys hear that? You're gonna, you know, you want him to do it, you're going to have to pay his bail. Oh, said, no, no. He, they're going to have to pay more than bail because I'm going to have fines. Oh, you want to bribe plumb the fuck out of I, it? I'm going to have fines. <laughs> Sean said they see us on the parking lot cameras and they're watching our live. They know we're here. Yep. That's probably why they won't answer the fucking door. That's all right. We'll just say there till they come out. Fuck, they got to come out. They got to come out sooner or later. What did I say about you, Jane? The things you are saying about you are probably horrible and immature, mostly immature. I'm not sure what that's about. We're just being silly. So I've said get Eugene to start a ruckus. <laughs> Maybe we should go over there and fire a couple of nine millimeters through that glass. That might get their attention. So, hey, the doorbell wasn't working. We figured we'd ring the glass. <laughs> uh, right about 10 o'clock, KDD. All right, now is shift change, so. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Sundown. If this thing would keep going, what happens is I lose the chat. And, man, without the chat, there's not much point in having a damn live. I could just, you know, I could just not have one. And so I, I prefer to have the chat. And when I lose it, I just stop it and restart it. I just want to think the, the only way to get it still back. with us. Usually I have to <laughs> shut my phone completely off before for it to reconnect. I'm not sure what the deal is with the tower and my phone about the Internet. But for some reason, I guess AT&T AT &T figures, you know what? Fuck you. You've had enough bandwidth for the moment. We'll kick the chat off. Yeah. <laughs> so that, yeah, that might get the super chats coming in. Uh, well, we're going to start shooting through the glass. <laughs> I just said, you want me to call 911 and tell them there are two nuts in the parking lot? We don't give a fuck. Go ahead. <laughs> Eugene going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. I doubt it would be the last. Now, it's Chris V's fault we're here. He's the one that wanted us to come up here and see yep. who the fuck was on. We're trying. If, uh, hey, if I go to jail, Chris so When they are late going out, so can we follow them when they leave? Well, fuck yeah, we can follow them anywhere <laughs> we want. I get tired of following them around because they ain't doing nothing but driving in circles either. Uh, no, Chris V, I have unlimited internet, but... Uh, AT&T says they will meter it when there is a lot of traffic, a lot of bandwidth being used across their entire network, so, you know. What do you know about the murder in Ireland? I know, you probably know more than I do, Saul. I know that some guy is accused of, or supposedly some kid killed, I don't know if he's a kid, but he killed his grandpa, uh, supposedly over a car, um, and apparently the trash people had noticed some stuff in the trash, 
uh, some bloody stuff, had opened it up, found out who that belonged to. They called the cops. The cops went in and found the man's body wrapped up in a rug. That's what I've been told. That is not an official statement by anybody that I have read or heard. That is from another person here in town that told me they had read that. So there you go. That's what I know for the moment. Don't take it to be true and don't take it for me saying that's what officially happened because I don't know yet. I was told, though, that it was on the uh, Ironton Police Department Facebook page that they have made a, uh, a press release about it. So, And somebody else said, I think, they said they read it in the paper today. So, um, uh, shit, the Ironton Tribune um, is, is probably where you'll find better information than I have. See, they, they don't consider me press, so they really won't fucking tell me nothing. You know, they won't tell me like they will the newspaper reporter because I don't have a fucking little card that says I work for the fucking newspaper. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not press as far as they're concerned. I wish they'd finish them fucking donuts. Right. I got to go drain some more coffee. I got to get some more coffee. There you go. He <laughs> said it made the news there. So there's a link for everybody if you want to if you want to check out that story. You want to know more than I have to give you more information. That'd be where you'd find it. I, I would say. <laughs> what Chris B said? Print a fucking card. <laughs> yeah, too bad it don't work that way, huh, Chris? It should, but it don't. It was on WSEC. I love how how corporations are the only ones allowed to knight you into fucking presshood. You know, Chris B. Everything here is small. Yeah, we do. It's, <laughs> it's, it's called the Ironton Tribune. That is the small local paper right here in Ironton. The Ironton Tribune. T-I-T. -T, it's the only tit no one really wants. <laughs> Even the Sunday paper is like a weekly paper in a real city. Yeah. The average daily paper is what, like four or five pages thick? I mean, yep. it's just tiny, tiny. It, it, you might be able to put it in the outhouse and use it a couple times. He said it was on their local news in Virginia there, too. Oh, wow. No, it's not a free paper, Chris. I think it costs you 75 cents yep. now, don't it? 75 cents or a dollar. Used to be 50 cents every day and a dollar 25 on Sundays. Now I think it's 75 cents every day and a dollar 75 or two bucks. I, I don't know. I, I haven't bought it. I don't buy a newspaper, man. I don't pay no attention to the real news, I'll be honest. So I don't know. Checking out. Well, thanks for sticking with us, Sean. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the flip side, man. Y'all have a good night. Nice for you hanging out with us for a while. We appreciate it. Me and American Pride love to have people around to talk to. Right. Any weekly free type? No, not right here in Ironton that I'm aware of, but there are. There's Lisa. You Miss were asking Lisa. about her earlier. Hello, Miss Lisa. Lisa. We, we, we've been missing you, dear heart. Yep. She's very <coughs> proud of us. The windshield is clean. <laughs> <laughs> Just for oh, you. Early, early. Well, there's one. What's up? They wanted us to come and see who was starring tonight. Yeah, we're live on YouTube, and they wanted to. Who? Who's working? Who's on tonight? The button don't work. All right, there you guys go. So we got. Uh, there's the bearded Blankenship. He worked today. He's off tonight. His brother. Uh, is on tonight, the new guy, Allison, and um, um, Captain Wilson. Uh, so those are the three uh, police officers that we have on duty this evening. Yes, Lisa, American Pride tried to make sure you could see through it. He's been missing you all night since you hadn't been in here. I told him you probably had bigger channels to watch out there. I know Team Skeptic was on. I don't know if he's still on or not, but I know he was. If I had the option, I'd be at home watching Team Skeptic right now instead of being out here. So there you go, Chris B. We have uh, Brandon uh, Blankenship. We have uh, Patrolman Allison and Captain Wilson are the ones on tonight. So I hope that answers your question. I know he wasn't leaving until I seen who was on tonight. <laughs> Appreciate you, Eric. Is that LaSalle? I'm hoping I say that right. Some of these names, man, I, I don't know if I get them right or not. Uh, but I appreciate it. I'm glad you come in to hang out with us a while. Yeah, only three on duty. Yeah, three on duty. Which beats the usual two that it usually is. A lot of nights is there's only two on duty. Yeah. We've been in here a couple nights like that, ain't we? 
But uh, again, Ironton's not a big town, and it's not like there's going to be this mass fucking shootout or anything. Not with two cops anyway. <laughs> it ain't going to be that massive, I guess. <coughs> she said no, she'd been handing out can candy. A group of us went to Texas Roadhouse, just got home. Well, good. I hope you had a good dinner anyway. All right. Well, Where's what, mine? What, what did you have? Because, <laughs> like, you know, now I'm getting hungry. Where's mine? Like that, right. I'd <laughs> like to have me a big ass steak about right now. <laughs> I mentioned Miss Lisa about 10 times tonight, and the good thing is she didn't say a word back. What did that say? Yes, uh, it's an eight-hour shift. They'll work from uh, 10 to 6. They'll be more come in and work 6 to 2, and then 2 to 10 again. So that's the three shifts that we have generally. And uh, I don't think they have enough officers to uh, to fill in the difference to make a, you know, in-between shifts. Six-ounce filet mignon. Ooh, that was a nice choice, nice choice. I prefer the ribeye myself because it's got a big ring of fat in it, and the fat's my favorite part of this. Oh, damn, I love I wish I could just get a big slab of fat instead of the meat. Hell, I love the fat. Yeah, hey, I'm a big New York strip. Fan. Well, the New York strip's like a ribeye without the with a little, right. less, little less fat in it, you know. Right. Like I say, most people don't like that fat. Me, I do. Right off a of pork chop, a steak, anything, I love that fat. So that's pretty much what he just read from the press release. I assume they're still talking about the murder here. Damn. Yeah, I was up there, guys. I got a little video of it, but hell, all you're looking at is, is some tape around the house, so I didn't even upload it because there really wasn't much point. And I didn't have any news to bring you because they wouldn't tell me anything yesterday while it was going on because it was a quote-unquote active investigation, and I'm not an actual member of the press. So, you know, they don't tell me a damn thing. What'd that say? million dollar bond god damn that's a big ass bond is that for the guy here chris v million dollar bond wow shit i guess that's what happens when you kill your grandpa and wrap him up in a fucking rug well i mean literally i mean he just he gonna be a do lot that. worse than that happened yeah to he gonna do that then he take him down the courthouse and hang him on the well, fucking front line that's what i say he wouldn't murder nobody else i guarantee him too that's the problem with this country. We are too tolerant of criminals. We allow them to keep breaking the fucking law instead of breaking their goddamn arms to where they can't do it no more. I say if you steal something, they need to tie you down to an old rusty slab down there in the fucking courthouse lawn and hack your goddamn hand off with a dull machete. You'll yep. only steal twice. I can't fucking tell you. You'll only do it twice, and you'll never do it again whether you want to or not. That's how you fix that shit. I think you need to bring the hanging Lisa back. Lisa said they threw him under the house, didn't he? Uh, that, I don't know. I heard that he was wrapped up in a rug or a carpet. I don't know that he was found under the house. I, I, I don't know. I wish I did, but I don't. I have heard that story, but I've heard a, I've also heard that he was cut up into pieces and put in garbage bags. I've heard all kinds of shit. So, unfortunately, I don't have any of the truth, which is why I don't report a lot, because all I hear is some shit, and I, I don't know. Sovereign said he was under a deck, so... Oh! God damn, Brooks just got, what, over a thousand years in jail? Holy shit! Wouldn't matter, Terry. No one gets info while it's being investigated. You're right, Legicator, but I don't even get the information after it's done investigated. Man, you'll have that. <laughs> See, they, they call and report it to everyone else. They, they don't tell me anything, you know, because I'm not real press. I mean, let's face it. I'm not viewed as real press. Not that I mind. I mean, I get it. I understand why. Tell Cody I said hi. I know. I hope you like so how are you doing tonight, Legicator? It's good to see you out there. I hope I hope the young one's doing better. Yes, Roseanne, it's a break. Oh. Brother, be honest, I think I'm dumb with coffee tonight. Well, here, I'm going to let you hold this so I can oh, go. Oh, sure. I got to go drain some of mine. Damn it, that damn camera off my ugly ass. Where's the garbage bags? And the boy stole Grandpa's court. See, uh, I mean, literally, I think... Uh, I think uh, <laughs> they need to bring you. Listen, literally, if they if they would, uh, you know, bring the hanging back. You know, <laughs> literally, you shit like that wouldn't happen. You are so bad. No, no, I'm. It's it's, you are bad. it's the honest truth. You're back. Oh, everybody, you mind being on camera? No. This is one of our local cab drivers right here. Oh, yep. 
Let me get her out the back here. Oh, you're good. Say hello, everybody. This is a new you. I'm the one. That's our that's our coffee lady there, guys. That's the coffee lady. Here. That nice lady y'all were talking to the other. How you doing, that lady Cater? Let's go. If you're ready, I am. I'm ready. Let's do it. How you doing tonight, sir? Pretty good. Just introduction, everybody. Yes, Lisa, you're right. People are nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yes, we're at Rich on 3rd Street, Lisa. As you see, we're right at the Rich Station down here on 3rd Street. There's, uh, if I can zoom in there, there's Long John Silver's right across the street there. So that's where we're at. This is our, this is our coffee spot when we're in here. <clears throat> Nelia in there. Her name is Nelia which is an interesting name. I've never heard of Nelia before, before here anyway. Right. Um, but she's probably, she's sweet as sugar, man. She always makes sure the coffee's hot and fresh and keeps us going when we're in here, man, so. Good people. There's a lot of good people, man. Most yep. people in this town are good, you know? Next stop, Speedway for Eugene to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Actually just went there, so I think we're doing all right. All right, Sean, I appreciate you sticking out with us. Thanks for hanging as long as you can, sleep well. And uh, we'll we'll catch you on the next one, man. Appreciate you coming in, Debos. We got more bars in Ironton than we have anything else. That's 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 bars where, and churches, bars and banks. That's well, <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck we got so many banks. There ain't no money in this town. Right. So like five people that have money. The rest of us are broke as shit, and yet there are all these damn banks and bars. I don't know who's spending all the money. I can't afford to drink in them. I can tell you that. It's a good thing I don't drink. Right. I definitely can't afford it. Yeah, man, I was dying for another cup of coffee and got in there and I, nah, shoo. Just wasn't feeling it? No. I've, I've had enough for a while. I don't think I need any more coffee right now. Hell, I think I've had probably 70, 80 cups today. Oh, shit, I ain't drank nowhere near that amount. I drank a lot of coffee, I've man. probably had, I don't know, I've probably had four. <coughs> four in the last five hours, which is way more than I needed. There's Blanche Bowles. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you tonight. Hey, hey, everybody here for the for the ride along. That's the coffee ride along. <laughs> Coffee's always the theme with Ironton Auditor and American Pride for sure. We talk more about coffee than we talk about cops. Don't we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Love the coffee. I wish the coffee shop down there stayed open a little bit later, man. I'd like to have gotten a cup of that tonight. I had that craving. Yeah, I've never had their coffee. Well, they have they have all kind. The, the guy actually roasts it himself, the one that owns it. Oh, okay. And he's got uh, probably 15 different uh, special flavors and roasts of coffee, man. You got to try some of that. Uh, they got some really good coffee. And they got some shit in there they call grog. And it sounds nasty as hell, man, but I actually bought a bag of it and took it home. I like that stuff. Oh, okay. Like, drink the hell out of that. You know, I mean, coffee's coffee, but when you get into, like, the expensive coffee, the coffee house coffee, where they can actually, you know, add different beans and get a taste going, man, some of that stuff's really, really good, if you like coffee. Right. And me, well, I love coffee, so. Well, as young as we are, we love coffee. <laughs> well, that's the only reason I'm as young as I am. Is, right. You know, having that blood-type coffee. I can just hear my wife right now. Cops are going to hide from us now. Well, they, they, they can't hide from us when they turn them damn lights on. That's that's the beauty of it right there. You're right, Chris V. They, they, they don't need to hide that. People need to see it, and then they won't be as apt to go out and commit the same crimes, would they? That's right. You start hanging people again right on the fucking evening news, that bullshit will stop. I you tie them to a rock and hack a fucking right hand off for stealing shit. Most people uh -huh. only do it once, and the ones that'll do it again will only repeat it once. I <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, once you once you don't have two hands, and once you're gone now, you won't be stealing shit. Well, I've always told everybody, man, I was born probably three centuries too late. I should have been born like, you know, the forties. <laughs> You're right, Chris. That was the purpose behind public hangings. 
Not that I advocate for enjoying such a thing, because I don't think it would be a pleasure to watch. I don't think it would be fun, and it wouldn't be something that I would want to watch, for sure. But uh, as far as being broadcast, I think it should be. You know, it's not, it's not, it wouldn't be an entertaining thing, I don't think. There's always going to be some sick fucks out there that get entertained by a little bit of anything. But, nope. but, you know, it's just for the fact that people know that if you go too far in life, that nope. we, the people, get a little bit pissed off about it, we will take your life. Simple yep. as that. You can't just be out fucking up and doing whatever you want to. It ain't going to work that way. We won't, we won't put up with it. We won't have it. But unfortunately, we've let the government get into making money off of it instead of uh, protecting the people. So now it's all about making more fucking money off of it. That's it. And they're raping it from the taxpayer, not from the criminal. We have to pay for every fucking day they spend in prison, you know, which is why we have the world's biggest prison population. The absolute biggest. That is crazy. It's nuts, and it shouldn't happen here, but yet here we live. So there you go. Don't know that we need kids watching that. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't think that it's something that you should prevent kids from seeing. I don't think you should like pack up the whole family and take them to the local hanging or anything. <laughs> but letting them know that you can die for doing certain things to certain people. Yeah, I think that's yep. a good education. I think that you know. I think that all kids need to understand the difference between right and wrong. And unfortunately, there's like five parents left in the in the country that actually teach that kind of stuff because nope. they sure as hell don't teach it in school, and parents typically don't teach it either. So that's why their kids are always out fucking up. That's because they didn't teach them what was right and wrong, no matter what they say. <clears throat> now that I'm not trying to blame all parents for all bad kids. So before you all try to broad brush my statement there, because that's what they'll do. Well, it's uh, you know. Oh, did you see, did she, she, at least said they saw that brand new, you talking about the one up here in the, the Ironton Hills Plaza there? Yeah, that thing's standing out there all by itself. It looks really out of place sitting out there, just a damned ATM. Not attached to anything. I think it looks goofy anyway. Chris says they can house the prisoner for 40 years. That's only because they give them too many appeals. I mean, goddamn, if they're guilty, they're guilty. If they ain't, they ain't. All this bullshit about raping the taxpayer for money going through the court system is ridiculous. Yes, I, I believe it was Ohio Valley Bank that owns that ATM up there. I think it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. So. Yes, well, I mean, most parents do raise their kids right, but, uh, I mean, they're just such fuck-ups. I got to pull in here and see what see what's going on here. I got to get in this. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Chris says, and you get your kids taken away if you use a belt. I got a belt a couple times. I deserved it. I turned out okay. Right, Chris? That's that's kind of the point, you know. Oh. This whole thing, you know, my, my parents, if I if I opened my mouth and said something I probably shouldn't have, especially if it was straight disrespectful, oh, my mother didn't have no problems backhanding me in the mouth. Not a bit. I and I don't blame you. her. I don't blame her a bit. I didn't get mad about it. Well, I mean, I did at the time because I was a dumbass kid, but... You know, I mean, as far as now, oh, hell no. I'm glad that I got the ass bustings I got, and it's the nope. reason that I am the, the man that you know today. That's the reason nice. I'm not, you know. It's I'm, like I'm, my daughter. I discipline my daughter, but I do it the right way. Well, now, hold on. See, now, the problem is, is people have gotten the idea that discipline means to bust their ass, and it don't. Nope. No, the it word discipline means to teach. If you are a disciple, you are a student right and if you provide discipline you're actually providing teaching now you might use punishment yep. to discipline but punishment and discipline are still two different two very very different fucking things so yeah when we was coming up shit and yes chris v i deserved most of what i got i got a couple i didn't deserve it wasn't because my parents wanted to beat on me that's not why i got them it was just a case of mistaken identity every now and then my sisters could be little shits, one of them in particular, and I took quite a few ass bustings for her over the years. I took a few groundings, I got in trouble a lot. That's what a big brother does. 
he doesn't rat out his sister. He just, you know, gets his ass paddled, takes his grounding, and, you know, and six months later, he sees the world again. That's, I can, that's, I, that's I can honestly say I, I deserved every ass <coughs> I've ever gotten. But back when we was coming up, fucking, I mean, a fuck CPS. You know what I mean? <laughs> it didn't matter what the fuck they had to say. Shit, was there a CPS when we were kids? I don't know if there was. Yeah, they actually were. I don't think there should be now. I don't no. like CPS. CPS no. ain't there to help. Guys, mark my words. If CPS knocks on your fucking door and you open it and they say, hey, we're from Children's Protective Services, slam that motherfucker shut and tell him to go away. Do not let him in. I don't give a fuck what the reason is. And don't give me none of that. Well, I have nothing to hide. Don't let him in. They're like the cops. They're not your fucking friend. They're looking for reasons to take your children away from you. They're not trying to find reasons to leave them there. That's a fact. Yep. Do not trust CPS, period. Don't trust the motherfuckers. Just slam the door in their face. You have every fucking right, and you have no, there is no law that forces you to open the door and let them in. If they don't come with a court order, tell them to stay the fuck out. Simple as that. Don't ever let them in your fucking door. It's a bad idea. Take my, take my advice. Don't let them in. Yeah, shit. CPS is a fucking joke, man. <laughs> Lisa said, Terry is very opinionated tonight. Actually, Lisa, I'm opinionated every night. I just don't often come out with it. But I've always been very opinionated. I've got my opinions, too. It's just most people don't give a shit to hear them. But see, tonight, y'all can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't on someone else's panel where I have to mute my mic and let them talk. You know, I can say whatever the fuck I want. It's my, my channel tonight. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, I, I actually enjoyed Wednesday night, you know, with uh, Clay. and That's well, fun times, wasn't it? What it was little long. bit I got to... You know, it's a full six hours, but... What little bit I got to chat with Doc, you know, and... Uh, I did. I actually enjoyed it. I mean, hearing all the good music. <laughs> there you go, Lisa. She said I was very mouthy tonight. There you go. See, Della knows I'm always opinionated. She knows I'm mouthy from the time I wake up to the time I shut it and go to bed. That's a fact. Opinions like assholes. Everybody got one. Yeah. They all smell like shit. Yep. You're right, Chris V. It's about being able to have opinions and to respect others. I don't, uh, I don't care what other people's opinions are. I don't mind if they state them. I may or may not agree with them. But I absolutely have my opinions. I'm just, you know, just learning to be a little bit more free with them online. I, you know, kind of been reserved when I have the camera rolling and don't say a lot of what I think. But I wanted to establish who I was first so that people got to know me a little bit. Now that I think you all pretty well know exactly who I am and what I'm about, I feel a little more comfortable in, in sharing my my ideas and opinions with you. Because you know even if you disagree with me, it's it's not because I'm some kind of strange prick or anything. Not because I'm a weird guy or nothing. I'm just, just an old hillbilly. I'm very old fashioned in the way I think. There's Crypto Crackhead, look at that. Let me see. Just got off work. Well good deal. I'm glad I'm glad you're tuning in, man. How you doing tonight? If you get the opportunity sometime here in the near future, Crypto, please give me a call. I've, I've got a couple questions for you. I, uh, I think you'd be the person to be able to help me. Uh, I've got a couple questions to ask about where to go for certain information, and I think you'd be the one to ask. And if not, I'm pretty sure you could point me in that direction anyway. Of course, hell, our schedules probably never mesh. Hell, I'm always live on somebody's fucking panel. <laughs> you know, I'm always always busy doing something. Even when I ain't busy, I seem busy. It's hard to, hard to keep up. I don't want to go too far down in town because every time I get down on your end, we lose the chat. Right. I've noticed. So I'm trying to stick close so that I don't lose the chat, you know, because I really hate that. I mean, we don't want Lisa to say something and us not catch it. All right. Know? She might she be talking. She might be talking about you, and I find that shit funny. So uh, she still ain't gave us a compliment, though. Hey, there's our Zeus too. Hey, how you doing tonight, sir? Glad, glad to have you in here. Glad to see you. Glad you tuned in for a bit. We're having another wonderful night driving through town, trying to see if we can't get the the potholes tore all the shit worse than they are. And uh, yeah, you know, we're just out here using up the streets. Ain't nothing going on, of course. It's a Thursday night, and now all the traffic that was here is gone. 
ain't hardly anybody out again. And probably won't be because tomorrow's Friday. Everybody's got to work tomorrow and shit, so they got to, you know. All right, I appreciate it, Crypto. He said he'd give me a holler tomorrow. That'd be great. We are doing pretty good. Uh, what's that? I can't read that. Oh, I, I can't see the name on that right there. Fuck, I can't even sports. Something sports. Something I can't. Sports. I can't. You know, I can't I'm, see it either. I'm driving. That's the I'm reason so fucking, I can't focus on it. I'm, I'm just so damn far back in the damn seat, well, man. Just, well, hell, I'll just pull the hell over here. That's the beautiful thing about driving. I can just stop when I want to hell with it. Let's see here. Yeah, not sports, I guess. I don't know. So it's close to home for me. Hope you guys are doing well. We're doing really good. Hope you're doing well as, as well. <laughs> we always hope everybody's doing good out there. You're right, Lisa. Lisa does have important things to say. Zerzu says he's doing good. Crypto says the neighborhoods don't look so bad. Is it cold there? Well, it's not really cold, but it is definitely a little bit chilly this evening. We're probably down in the lower 40s, I would say, yep. if I had to guess. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's got to be down in the lower 40s. But yes, I'd say about 40. Yeah, the, 45. All the bank signs don't flash the temperature anymore like they used right. to. I guess they figure you're smart enough to look it up on your damn phone now. Remember when we used to have a number that you called to get the time? Yep. 8832. I still remember yep, yep. it. I still remember that number. 8832. Absolutely. <laughs> that was it. Damn, we're old. I know, right? <laughs> I'm glad I just turned 21. Hey, Legicator, you have a great night, too, and wish that boy well for me. Uh, my prayers and best wishes go out, so... For you and the whole family, but especially the one that's hurt. Yes, sir, Legicator. Uh, you know, Sports says what? It's 46, so they kick the heat on, right? <laughs> I was close. It's definitely a little bit chilly. It's 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 not it's not really warm tonight. What's he say? Hit that like button, like what? <laughs> I have to, I'm gonna pull over here anyway. <laughs> Our favorite gas station. Mm -hmm. Well, it's my personal favorite anyway. Right. Because it's small. That's why it's just small. It ain't like the other one where there's way too many damn people in and out of it. So. Oh, let's see here. As Zuzu said, everybody hit that like button like you're watching an extreme rarity, a true cop rock watcher on the lookout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, something like that. 805 writes camera action. Welcome. Good to see you tonight, too. Says Rich is his go-to as well. Apparently, we're dealing with a local here. Yep. Always nice to have the locals. Always good to have the locals. That's why some people on a live camera can't figure out how people figure out where they're at. Well, it's not too damn hard. Somebody that lives in the local area will know exactly where I'm at. Yep. You know, by looking at what's on my camera, it's too easy. So, for you out there that don't understand, that's how they figure out where you're at, is by looking at what's on your camera, and then because they're from the area, they, they know where you're at. Just so you know. I am a she, sir. I, I apologize. Uh, but yes, she is local. Just a few bucks from where you are. Ironton is super easy to navigate. Yeah, it's not very difficult, is it? It's pretty straight. There really ain't too many curves inside the town, for sure. I always love having the locals, though. I apologize if I referred to you as a he. You do. It's probably, ha well, it's habit when I don't, you know, you see sports in there. I just assume. Right. That's what you get for assuming. It makes an ass out of you and me both, you know. So I apologize for that. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. What's the population here? We're right around 10,500, something like that, between that and 11,000. Yep. Austin. And hello to, again, Austin Murphy, by the way. Glad to have you in. You're right. I, I kind of missed the Burger King, too. It, it got shut down for being a nasty fucker, though. <laughs> that was kind of the problem. A lot of these places in there, I don't eat in here. I don't like the restaurants in here much. I know the last time I was in that fish place over there, man, I had to beat the gnats out of my face to get a drink. And I just won't walk back in there. If the lobby looks like that, imagine what that kitchen looks like. I don't mm -hmm. even want to know. 
I work in too many restaurants. I don't want to know. I just won't eat there. Well, to be honest with you, I would have had a bologna sandwich tonight, but the uh, woman showed up with chicken nuggets and the fat guy hungry, you know. There ain't a whole lot of difference there, Austin. He said he grew up in a town of 7,000. So. Oh, well. Yeah, ain't a lot of difference. You're right. Long John's is a mess. It has been for years on end, and so are most other restaurants in this town, unfortunately. All the restaurants are. Except so blue. Yeah, Austin, it's it's really easy to be well-known in a town like this. I like Subway because you can watch them make your food. Where is the cop that went to a different department, the one who ran? Uh, I assume you're talking about the sheriff's deputy, um, which was the brother of the one, the Ironton cop that got uh, caught with drugs. Um, he quit, and I have heard that he is a painter. That's what I've been told. I don't know where he went. Wouldn't know how to find him if, you know, if I did know where he went, so. Nope. Lisa said to freeze that what? Freezette was just filmed for a show on Food Network. Really? Is that the Col one up there in Cold Grove, Lisa? Is that the one you're talking about? She said she likes Subway, but the Armory is good too. Um, yeah, I, I what did I eat at the Armory that night? I can't even remember. The only time I was ever in the Armory up there was when the, all the other YouTubers came in. So, Last name, please. Spall Jarek. Um, the sergeant in Ironton, the police... Uh, uh, officer was Bradley Spaljeric. That's the one that got caught with the drugs. And he has an, an older brother, isn't he? Yep. And I'm not sure if his, was, what's his, do you know his first name? I, I think I think it was John, but don't quote me on that. Of course, his last name was also Spaljeric. And that he worked for the uh, sheriff's department as a sheriff's deputy. And that's the one who actually quit and went somewhere else to work. I was told that he went to work as a painter. You know as much as I do about it now, or at least now you know what I do know, so. <clears throat> the school one, that, that would have been the sheriff's department. The Ironton Police Department doesn't, doesn't do the schools. That's always done through the county sheriff. Each school in the, in the county has one county sheriff's deputy posted as what they call a school resource officer. And apparently, from what I'm told, and again, it's what I'm told, guys, because I don't live in here and I don't have any children, so I damn sure haven't had any into high school. But I was told that he was one of those school resource officers there at Ironton High School. I know the elementary school, uh, uh, K-9 unit, Acres, him and uh, uh, Blankenship's uh, patrol the elementary school here. Well, patrolling around no, is no, one thing. No, they're actually but... inside the school, too. Really? Well, yep. well, then I stand corrected, apparently. Yep. IPD does go inside the yep. school. I was wrong. Now, out in Rock Hill, they don't because it's not in Ironton. Right. That's, that's out in the county, so that's... But up here at the high school, they have sheriff's deputy in there, too. Don't they? they had to have had. That's how Spall Jarek was in there. Hanshaw was accused of being in there. Spall Jarek, they were accused mm -hmm. of all kinds of stuff, you know. Now, the truth of it, I, I wouldn't know. Oh. I don't know. I'll show you my bracelet. My daughter made me. She said it's going to keep us safe. Well, good. I'm glad we got something to keep us safe yeah. out here. It's nice to have a guarantee. We don't get too many, especially from the little pretty girl. She said, we were, daddy. My yes. daughter goes to the elementary. She loves the officer posted there. Do you know who that is? Uh, wh which officer that is? It changes. It's uh, Acres, Blankenship's patrol. Uh, uh, do it. Well, she said they love the officer that's there, so I assume uh, there's one specific. That was why I asked. Well, they just got different shifts down there. Lisa said she doesn't believe they searched high school girls alone in the bathroom. I wouldn't think they would do that either. That's too fucking yeah. obvious and right out in front of everybody. But, you know, there again, it's one of those things that we're... It's one of those things that we hear from certain people, but we have heard nothing about it since notice. Um, heard nothing about it before. And I've heard nothing about it after. And we no. damn sure have seen zero proof of all of those accusations. And I'm going to leave that right there where it's at. <coughs> I'm not trying to say it didn't happen. I'm just trying to say that I can't prove it. No. And I don't know it. And I can't even say that I know it. I don't right. know that. Well, I mean, simple fact, I just don't see them do it. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, do, are there cops in the world that get way up on girls where they should? Yes, they Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Yes, they you know? are. Um, do I know that they did it in a local high school? No, nope. I don't know that. And I'm not going to make that accusation. Nope. You know, that that would be up to the parents of those daughters. If those daughters have been, been messed with like that in the school, 
it seems like they would have reported that to the parents, and then I would expect the parents to level that fucking place about oh. it. So, you know, since they didn't, I'm kind of forced to believe Lisa that it probably didn't happen like no. that. Otherwise, we'd have heard more about it. That's, that's my opinion at the moment, from what little bit I know. Well, I guarantee it would have been addressed around here. There's enough hillbilly dads around here that, it, that it, you know, but it'd be it'd be hard not to murder a cop for touching your daughter like that. Uh, that's a fact. No promise you won't ever touch his money like it. 805 Rice Camera Action says, back the blue till it happens to you. That seems to be true to a lot of people. Yep. Well, yeah, but uh, I just don't see that happening around here without you know <laughs> not not <laughs> without not without some hillbilly dad I, I shooting some fucking you. cops i promise you that's yeah. you know that's a fact you don't want to go touching uh farmer john's daughter because he'll break your damn legs off I feed them it. to you it's a fact this ain't like some fucking inner city place where everybody's a fucking coward and a pussy that ain't how it works yeah. around here you start messing with a man's daughter around here you, you get hurt She said, if you recall, it was two girls said they heard that from another girl. Oh, well, I thought they were claiming it themselves. I, I have no idea. <sighs> How do you feel about the January 6th attack? Well, I'm not sure what fucking attack that is, to be All honest. Right. It's gotten lost in everything else. What? Uh, attack are you speaking about January 6th? Is there something big that happened on January 6th that I missed? Probably heard about it and don't know that it was on January the 6th. Fuck, I don't know. I don't log shit in memory like that. Oh, hell no. January the 6th, 2021. Well, that doesn't help me any. That's been two years ago. The insurrection. Ah, well, it wasn't no fucking insurrection. That's what I can tell you. It was a bunch of dumbasses doing shit they probably shouldn't have done. <laughs> a bunch of misguided people is what that was. Mixed in with some people that wanted to uh, cause a problem and slant the view a certain way to make it look like an insurrection. That's my opinion. I agree with you. Uh, I believe that the kids would tell their parents. I don't think they have a reason to hide that, and I don't think they'd be so afraid of the cops at school that they couldn't tell their parents at home. I don't believe that at all. <clears throat> well, I've lived around Ironton my whole life, Austin. I don't actually live inside the town itself. I live about eight miles out in the country um, in a little place called Pedro. It's spelled Pedro. So if you're Spanish, you would say Pedro, but all the hillbillies call it Pedro. And around here, it's just Pedro. Yeah. And uh, it's a, it's out in the county. It's not, it's, it has its own city name and, and zip code or uh, area, uh, yeah, zip code and shit. But we're not a city proper. We're just country. And uh, this is the closest city, and I have lived here, yeah, except for about eight or ten years when I lived in Columbus when I was a bit of a younger man. I'd moved to Columbus chasing jobs. Outside of that, I came back, and I've been here, you know, pretty much my whole life. So, yes. Yes and no. <laughs> I hope that answers the question. She said she grew up here, had a house in South Point, but moved back. Smearing feces and urine all over the Capitol, breaking windows, stealing something. Well, some people did that, but that wasn't the entire crowd that was there for sure. That's, that's what I mean. There were some misguided people in that bunch. Yeah, around here, I agree with you. Cold Grove, Hanging Rock, Ironton, Pedro, we're all just kind of the same. We just hang in and out. Mm -hmm. 
Although I do agree that we probably should breach the Capitol and take control, not exactly in that way. That's not how I mean it. We shouldn't go breaking windows and, you know, run in bullets flying and shit. But I do agree that we need to stand together and stop the horse shit. That's what I agree to. Lisa said she had a friend hiding in the bathroom during all that. Oh, wow. She still ain't gave us a, a well, a compliment of this on the windshield tonight. Mr. Bree said, uh, used to have some really good friends out in Pedro. Well, there's still some really good people out in Pedro. No. Nah, few of us are left anyway. He said he lived right past Paddle Creek. I'll be damned. Neighbor. Hell yeah. Uh, if you know where Little Cannon Creek is, Mr. Breeze, that's, that's where I'm from right there. Little Cannon Creek. I bet it was, Lisa. I bet it was awful. But again, I think a lot of that was staged. I think it was staged, and I think it was done for that exact reason. Damn it, I gotta piss again. <laughs> Too much coffee. Apparently, that's what you get for drinking out of that one with the hole in the bottom, man. <laughs> hey, Lisa said she did compliment the windshield, by the way. Damn it, I didn't see it. She did. She did that when you were down to ringing the bell down there at the police station. Oh, okay. Hippie, old Verge. He was a cool dude. I'm not sure who that is right off. I agree with you, Chris V. It wasn't proper to do it that way. There are better ways to redress your government. That's not how it should work. No, no, that was no more effective than standing on the street corner with a fucking sign and shouting dumb slogans, you know, and what they call protest. <clears throat> Everybody says you have a right to protest. I haven't read that in the Constitution. What I read is that you have a right to redress government for grievances, and that's not the same as a protest. That's not how you redress government. That's not how it works. There's an actual way to get that done. And standing out with a sign is not going to do it. I think we all know that. The uh, asshole politicians just drive right by us, laugh at our signs, and go right on into work and sign all the same paperwork they would have anyway. So there you go. Virgil Reynolds. Uh, I know a couple Reynolds. I'm not sure Virgil was one of them, Mr. Brees. Um, might be older than me. I'm only 48, so uh, you know I don't claim to know everybody, but... Hell, almost everybody knows me and or my family anyway. So I'm out of the Nips and the Daltons here. So both are huge, huge families. There's a lot of us around. You can't throw a rock in iron without hitting a nip. We're, we just kind of pop up everywhere like a bad flower. So Hello, Tiffany. I see you. Uh, APO's in the bathroom, of course, in case you wonder where he was at. We're waiting on him to come back. Passed away about 10 years ago. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure who that was right off. I might know him if I seen the face, but the, the name escapes me right away. I know a lot more faces than I do names. Hope everybody's having a good night tonight. I hope we're at least entertaining enough to keep your attention. I'm sorry it's so boring. Believe me, we get bored in here, especially when we don't have y'all with us. Y'all keep us together, so it's all right. Do I smoke green, not tobacco? These are actual cigarettes, man. This is the real brown shit. I, uh, you know, cured leaves. That man has a bladder the size of a toe. That's, that's about right. So do I when I drink too much coffee. So I just haven't drank quite as much as he has today. Speaking of which, oh. Got me something here to drink. Oh. And you're right, Zerzeus. They, they might consider that assembly a protest, but I don't think that's what it says to peaceably assemble. I guess you can do anything while you're peaceably assembled, but there is no exact right to, to protest. That's not how it's worded. It's redress government. They, they might have that, um, Zerzeus. I don't claim to be a constitutional law scholar or a, or a uh, 
a Supreme Court scholar or anything. I don't claim any of that. The Supreme Court says a lot of shit. I don't bother reading it because I don't give two fucks what the Supreme Court says. Because I don't believe that they have the, uh, the only authority to interpret words. Um, I think I'm smart enough to read the goddamn Constitution and decide for myself. I don't, <coughs> don't need seven to nine other people to tell me what the hell English means. I'm a pretty smart guy. I can figure it out. <laughs> I know how to use a fucking dictionary. I'm a pretty smart motherfucker. Damn, Judge entered that he cannot enter a police station for two years, 45 days in jail. Damn. Oh. Bella said 420. <laughs> <laughs> Must be time. Must be a time. Chris was asking me if I smoke green, not tobacco. I shown I just had the cigarettes with the brown leaves in it. That's all I got. Right. Rack the Jipper, Ironton Auditor. What does that say? I missed it. Uh, Chuck. Is that file? Philly? Filet? Fuck, I don't know how to. He's told me to say it. I can't say it because I ain't sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> Jipper? F I L L E. Yeah, it's Rack the Jipper, but he was saying the Chuck. F I L L E. I'm not sure how to say that. File? Philly? Filet? I don't know. <laughs> He said his mom called it wacky tobacco. Yeah, my grandpa always called it that. Yeah, absolutely. If there's a bus across the street, let let me know. If I'm able to get in here, I'll come in and film some of it. I seemed wasted at solves. It was too funny. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. I'm glad it seemed that way. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's all I got to say about it. I'm going to leave it right there, and y'all can decide whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. <laughs> the one thing I absolutely did at Sovereign Souls House is is relax and have a good time. I really did. I had a great hey, time while I was there. They are patrolling. Hey, there we go. IPD on the move. Go ahead, bro. Yep, we're doing good tonight. About damn time. That's probably Brandon in the SUV. I'm assuming, because uh, Wilson usually drives a car, yep. and um, I believe you know. Allison was driving a car last time we seen him too, wasn't he? Yep. Uh, I did have a blast. That's why it looked that way. I had I had an awesome, awesome time. That man and his wife are two awesome, awesome people. If you if you go there and you don't have a good time, you're just an asshole. You know, that's all there is to it. So. They are a great couple people to get to know and hang out with, and uh, just made me feel like I own the place, made me feel at home. It was pretty awesome. Usually when I go somewhere with people I don't really know much, I'm really, I have a problem feeling really backward and out of place and shy and shit, you know, but I didn't there. They, they made me feel so comfortable. It was just amazing that I was able to, to just feel comfortable. I can honestly say the time we got to spend with Saab down here, Let's uh, say, have I ever rode through a red light? Yeah, there's been times in my life know. I've ran a red light. I wasn't trying to, but get to doing something, not paying attention or whatever. I've sure ran a red light before. And I might be guilty of running one or two in the middle of the night when there ain't nobody else around. There ain't no point in sitting here for 15 seconds at a damn red light. There ain't I, nobody around anyway. I think every, everybody's guilty Technically, of that. it's only illegal if there's someone around to catch you and right. find you for it. You know, otherwise, uh, you do whatever the fuck you want. It's and the police, all they got to do is hit their sirens. They can go right through it. Yeah, but they usually don't. That's, right, that's right. not something they usually do around here. I, I will give them that. You don't see them turn on their fucking lights and go to lunch and shit. You know, and break <laughs> hey, the, the cat's back. Hey, there's the cat. Come on, get your ass out here and get pulled over. 
<laughs> you kill me with that shit, man. I'm hoping for none, and you're always hoping for some. I, no, I'm not hoping. I'm fucking praying. Well, that's just it, you know. Oh, well, good, Blanche. That's, that's what we do it. Uh, you get to know Ironton a little bit, and you guys get to hear us bullshit back and forth and get to know us a little better, and we get to interact with the chat and get to know you all a little better, too. That's, that's kind of what it's all about, coming together as a community. You know, we may not find any cherries and berries, but that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy each other's company. That's right. I grew up about Paddle Creek had a lot of memories out there. Okay. I got a few out there, but it wasn't because anybody I knew grew up out there. I just went out and spent a little time there every now and then. Wonder how dead Cold Grove is in that. Probably deader than I am. <laughs> They're not even a city, they're just a village. Right. Ain't much happens in Cold Grove either, I don't think. Yesterday, the woman got pulled over up there. He said, hey, you know, you ain't got no brake lights. And that's all he said. He didn't ask for license insurance. Nothing. He already knew who the fuck she was. <laughs> I mean, think about it, you know. It's what... Jesus, son. Man, you're pretty well known in this town now. Yes, sir. Uh, damn train. I hate that damn train. A lot of the trains in Irontown. None of them ever fucking stop here anymore. <laughs> right. but there's a lot of them that run good anyway. Yeah, he did. He, he pulled her over, didn't ask for license and insurance, which he's got them. But he's like, uh, I just want to let you know your brake light's out, ma'am. She's like, well, okay, thank you. She's just a couple blocks from us on 4th. I don't want to be on YouTube, though, but I enjoy the close-to-home footage. You don't want to be on YouTube, so like showing up the house and filming you is not an option, huh? <laughs> you don't have to be on YouTube, to... So I, I, I guess we won't get to meet her face to face tonight. Not on camera, anyway. I love it, but I'd like to at least hear how to pronounce that correctly so I can say it without. You know, right. Well, especially the, the fans of my music, dude. Yeah, hey, I'm starting to love your fan. You know what I mean? Your P, I'm starting to love yeah, them. My, my subscribers are the fucking best. You don't get no better than mine. Especially Miss Lisa. I gotta give it out oh, to Miss Lisa's Mrs. awesome. But they all are, man. I've, right, I've, right. I've got the best. I've got the best support system out there, man. I've got, I've got people from all communities, you know, that yep. come in and support me. You know, from all sides of the coin. I love it. I love it. I love it. You know, even the auditors that don't like me, they can't hate me. You know, I don't hate on them. Nope. I don't make videos about them. I ain't got shit to say about them. There's a few made about me, you know, but that's okay. I don't mind. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm starting oh, to... Oh, thank you. I love you all, too. I'm starting to... You said we love you, Terry. I, I, I love you all, too. I, I mean, well, I, 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 I got the best subscribers <laughs> ever, man. You know, that somebody comes into my chat and attacks me, they jump on them like goddamn piranha. I don't even really have to take up for right. myself, you know. They, they, they take care of it for me. Well, that's... Like I said, you know, I mean, I, I'm certain like every one of yours, but Miss Lisa has to be my favorite. <laughs> Miss Lisa has to be my favorite. I think she's one of Sovereign's favorites, too. Yep. Lisa comes up with the facts, man. If, yep. you're, if you're going to spout some bullshit, you better be careful if Lisa's in the chat because she will check your ass. Yep. <laughs> Don't think for a second she won't put you in chat because she will. That's what I like about Lisa. She's kind of matter of fact and no bullshit. You know yep. what I mean? Very nice lady, too. I've actually met her, oh. had, had a coffee with her. I, I, I enjoyed the company. It was really nice to meet her. I wish I'd got to meet her. I mean, but, you know, maybe I will. I've met a lot of people doing this, man, a whole yeah. lot of people. Be surprised how many. I, I don't I don't know why people want to meet me, but, you know, I, I guess they do. Well, famous, you know. damn it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't much feel famous, you know. It That's seems what people weird. tell us anyway. I guess, man. It's just odd, you know. It's, it's different for me. I'm not used to. I mean, I've always been kind of, I, I guess you can use the word famous. I'm one of the most famous people around here. I'm well known, you know. I say me what? and my family's where they're so big and we've always lived here, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. 
Well, shit, I better get out of this guy's way because he ain't gonna be able to get that trailer the fuck out of here if I'm sitting right there. So we'll go over here and park for a minute. I just pulled up the bin. I'm going to. I'm just gonna go right over here to the uh, Walgreens lot here and sit there for a minute where we can see the traffic. Like the cops, we'll pull hey. out here to the edge and watch the traffic. You're taking the police spot tonight. That's right. Why not? Big asshole. Yep, I see it. I straddled it. Damn. <sighs> Alright, let's see. What did we miss here? JR said, Iron right, seems like a nice city. Yeah, it ain't too bad. Um, very small, very country like. Everybody's just a hillbilly. We love it here. Yeah, it ain't bad here. Okay, he D says, we love you guys. You're like our neighbors. Well, good. I'm glad. That's, that's how we want it to be. We want it to be like we all know each other. Yep. And Lisa said, yeah, I'll call you on it. Yeah, she will. She absolutely will. She'll call you on anything. That's Lisa. That's what I love about her. She don't. She ain't no nonsense. She'll just tell well, you. Like I said, out of all of your subscribers, I think Miss Lisa, Miss Lisa had to be my favorite one. I see some of my locals are getting to know each other in the chat. And so for a certain individual out there that, that decided during one of their videos that I had no local subscribers, um, maybe she should tune in to this particular video and see that I have actually have quite a few out there. Right. Damn, just, we up to 50 now? Oh, no, it's 30. 29. Man. 29. 29. Yeah, 29 right now it says. Now we're back up to 30. <coughs> now we're back down to 29. I'm sitting so you far from the damn camera. I got. <laughs> well, I got it over here on this side because it's, you know, where I need to use it, I guess. Lisa said, oh, she's a nut. I'm not sure who the nut is. <laughs> Since it's a she, I got, well, maybe it's the one I'm talking about. That's probably who she's talking about now that I think about it. And you're right, she's a nut. You know, I'm not saying she's a bad person. I'm just saying I don't necessarily believe everything that comes out of it. What At least not without the proof anyway. I'm, I'm a big guy on proof. If you want to tell me something, you want me to believe it to be true, then you better be able to prove it to me. What the hell are they doing with that old building now? Is that anything anymore? What? This old building straight across from us. Apparently not. It looks like they got the doors boarded up. Now, there's a, some offices back on the side of it here. I remember the, uh, if I rem remember uh, correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, but it used to be the... Um, Social Security? Yes. Many, many years ago, yes, it was. And oh, you're right, Lisa, but she don't have that much support, whether it's local or not. There, there really aren't very many people that like to watch that shit, evidently. <clears throat> and after that one, I don't know what the hell that place was. It's, it's been Loan Central. It was Loan Central oh, okay. for a long time. It looks like they're not there now. Probably because I wouldn't get no damn loan. Either that or the rest of these fuckers wouldn't pay back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I made that crack one time. I ended up with Lawrence County General's old uh, telephone number. Oh, God. And so I get a call one day, and this guy, and man, this is like, you know, 15, 20 years later, I get this call, and he says, uh, I said, hello, and, and he was talking about the hospital. I'm like, oh, man, you, you, the hospital isn't there anymore. This is my home number. And he said, well, you mean it isn't there anymore? I said, I mean it. It's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. He said, what's that supposed to mean? I said, it means it ain't there anymore, man. I don't know what else to tell you. It's not been there in fucking 20 years. There ain't even a parking lot there anymore. You can't even tell there was ever a hospital there. He said, well, well, how am I supposed to get paid? I said, I don't know. I never paid them either. Maybe that's why they had to shut the fucker down. He hung up on me. Stupid ass. Call me and ask me how he's going to get paid like I give a shit. Well, Lisa, she says a bunch of things that she probably shouldn't say, you know, but she does say a lot of things. I don't really care what she says. I just thought it was interesting that she manages to say that and then, you know, 
it's obviously not true. But then a lot of things that she seems to say don't seem to be exactly true the way stated, at least not at, you know, yeah. not on the coin that we're looking at. Anyway. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> I know, and I'm not going to mention the name because I just don't want to, hey, I'm not, I'm not going to give her any fucking attention. I'm not going oh, to give her any attention at all on it. Yeah. She'd like to throw me some, and that's fine. I'll take it. See, I got, I got booed and all that from them because, you know, somebody else was very rude to her and I got accused of it. I didn't do shit. All I did was ask questions, you know. Nope. I don't care to look at someone and say, look, I don't necessarily believe what you're telling me. I, I understand it's what you're saying and I'm not calling you a liar, but I'd have to see the proof. You know, I don't have no problem saying that. For some reason, they think that makes me rude. Well, that's not me being rude. That's me trying to drive toward the truth. And if people don't want me to ask questions to get to the truth, then don't fucking bring your truth to me. Yep. <laughs> you know, because I'm going to dig. <coughs> I'm definitely going to dig into it. Well, they must have got done with the box of donuts, so. Apparently. Home patrol. Let's go. Ain't no damn traffic out. That's the problem. Uh, <laughs> Lisa said, I don't mind saying, I think she's lying. <laughs> 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 well, I don't think she's lying about everything. I just think she's exaggerating just a bit about certain things. That's that's what I think. I think some parts of the story are true, and I think others are absolute horseshit, but that's just me. Hey, Sean's back. Welcome back, Sean. You're right, Lisa. It doesn't pass the sniff test, and uh, since she's not willing to answer any questions directly, it don't pass any kind of a fucking test. That's the problem I have with it come to me and ask me for the publicity to get your story out and I get you on and then you don't want to share your story that don't make any fucking sense and then, oh, you, I knew then, you, don't know. then you actually have the balls to go back and talk about me being rude to you fuck you hey. can't get no more rude to me than to waste my fucking time I'm just saying That's all you you know? but I wasn't the one crying about somebody being rude because I don't give a shit you know what I mean at the end of the day it no. didn't hurt me any that's all you, know? you had to say now I know exactly who the fuck you're talking about well that's who the fuck we're talking about <laughs> she made fun of Sovereign Soul making, she she done a, a, a impersonation of him impersonating her, and I thought it was very funny. <laughs> that was the only part of the video, the only clip that I saw was... Uh, Hands down, when Sovereign does that, that is, fu that, that's fucking funny. Well, a lot of people think so. You're right, Lisa, that's the way it seems. Always the hero or the victim, without any detail at all. And even when, even when admitting doing wrong, it's always for a great fucking reason. Can't Lisa say, come on, Eugene, catch up, damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know half the fucking people you talk about. <coughs> I'm gonna go this way. Follow him around. Ain't no damn cars to pull over. <laughs> right. <laughs> damn hey, it, somebody, get yeah, out. I've seen Debo, sir, again. I guess Debo's is back. Oh, welcome back. You're right, Katie D. The book will tell it all. That's what we're waiting on. It's due out December 1st, by the way, if anybody's wondering. It's due out December 1st from Barnes & Noble. Make sure you get that book. I know I've got to get me a copy because I've got to see what the fuck it says in that book. Barnes and Noble. Seems to me like it's going to be full of the same stuff we've heard without any yep. proof to back it up is what it seems like. I could be totally wrong. There could be all the proof I need, but apparently she's not going to be forthcoming with it. That's all I want. If you've got shit on tape to prove it, then I'd like to see to see or hear the proof. You know, oh, yeah. You, I'd love to see. If you have proof. paperwork that proves certain things, I would I would like to see that personally. And then, you know, then I can either believe or disbelieve the worst shit you're spewing. You yep. know? So that's all. I don't I don't like getting into the back and forth. I just want to know the truth. And if you've got it, I'll listen and I'll take a look at it. If you ain't got it, I'd just prefer you'd shut the fuck up and quit talking to me about it. That's just me. 
that makes me an asshole, well then guess what? I'm an asshole. You ever hear that song? He's an asshole. I, I, I like that song. I like my theme song. <coughs> David Lee says, true auditing, why I like you, Terry. Well, I appreciate it, David. I appreciate it. I don't know that it's true auditing. We've already had that argument tonight. Some people don't consider me a true auditor. They consider me a cop watcher. And I guess either ones, if I could find, I don't really care what people consider me, but I sure do appreciate it. Thank you. I believe personally that I am the capital T, capital H, capital E, all caps, T-H-E, I am the auditor. That's me. The auditor. Yeah, d boats we're up on the highway now. Just a quick way to get back down to this end of town. I remember when uh, me and my nephew was up. You was on a live or something that night. You wasn't with us. Up here, state boy pulled somebody over. So as soon as he get, as soon as he seen me get out of that camera, he got back in his car, hurried up, and went around and fucking gone. Oh, I've had that with the state police around here. They don't okay. they don't want to fuck with YouTube. They they just don't want on it. Not if they can manage. It. And I I I don't pull off the side of the highway because it's dangerous as fuck, man. You get run the fuck over up on the highway. That's the reason hey. I don't do that shit. It's not because I wouldn't like to. But I, it's just not safe, man. There they are. I said we sit on the parking lot and watch his ass. We can. While he's watching us. <laughs> well, you know, we got to watch each other watch you. I'll watch him watch me watch him. All right. You know, and he can watch us watch him watch us watch him. <laughs> yeah. Don't bother me a bit. We just sit here and watch each other and shit. <laughs> Remember, I'm a cop watcher, goddammit. That's what I do. So I know. We'll, we'll sit here and watch him. I don't know if you guys can... See the, oh, I made it in the middle of the camera there. Can you see the, the headlights sticking out by the building up there? That's where the, the cruiser is sitting. Oh, Sean, if, if bad language gets her in a, in an uproar, then yeah, she probably, she probably shouldn't, shouldn't watch my channel because, you know, I don't really have a filter, you know. Hey, Kelly Fitzpatrick, how you doing tonight? So you just off work. Good to see you out there. How much is gas here? It's three forty nine right now. <laughs> and Dark Watch says I could be the auditor, but I'd have to live where something happens. <laughs> That's about right. Ain't shit happening around here. <coughs> oh no, it's a boring mother lover. Yeah. Well, if you're out looking for this kind of thing, yeah. But I prefer it that way. Come on, somebody speed do something. The <laughs> filter needed is the air filter on your engine. Yeah, well, I definitely don't have one for language, so. No. You know, I tend to just talk. I've never had a filter anyway. Well, I, I don't have one no matter where I'm at. I'm just I like don't that. even, I've never, you know, thought before I spoke. You know, I'm just outspoken. Yeah, you're like me. You're just a surprise. You know, everybody else, <laughs> you're just surprised everybody else when it rolls out. I have that problem a lot, too. I don't really think about what's coming out. I just kind of let it go. We're at the one on uh, Park Avenue right now. See the marathon in the background over there? We're right on Park Avenue. Looking up toward the old Krispy Kreme, the chiropractic place there. That's where the cops park there. If I zoom in there, you should be able to see the the park light and the headlight sticking out behind the building up there. That's what we're sitting here watching. They're sitting there watching traffic, so we're going to sit here and watch him watch traffic. <laughs> No, this is not by the OU. This is up on Park Avenue. Main Street coming in off 93. See, like right across the road here is the car wash. See it there? Hopefully that helps you a little bit. I don't know. I bet that me twisting that some bitch is loud in the mic of that phone. I guarantee it. 
Uh, we already know, Debo, so it's usually Friday and Saturday night are about the only time we ever see cherries and berries. That's why we don't run any during the day generally, and we sure as hell don't run much through the week because there's just nothing happening. So got to wait for Friday, Saturday night when people get out and, you know, do stupid stuff. To be honest, we just want to get the fuck out of the house. Where'd all these people come from? There's like six, seven cars in a row. Holy shit, did we miss rush hour or something? <laughs> we must have missed it, man. So I was thinking about putting on my truck in black rims. Yeah, I wish I had the money for the truck, let alone the rims. There's a sheriff. I only gave 8000 for my truck. Or deputy. I'm sure it's not the sheriff. It's just right. a deputy. You know the sheriff ain't working this fucking <laughs> right. time night on a fucking, yeah, on a Thursday night. I've never oh, seen... Oh, that's a lady deputy there. I've, I've never, never seen, seen her. her. She probably works inside the jail, I would say. It's probably why we don't know her. She don't come out and patrol. She probably just works inside the jail. I'm guessing I wouldn't right. know. It's just total guess. I could be very wrong. God knows I have been before. Lisa's asking if B-dubs just closed. That's that's probably where that where that bunch just came from. You're probably right. Yeah. What happened to Susie Y? I didn't know anything did happen to Susie Y. Is there something I don't know? As far as I know, Susie Y is okay. Is, uh, if anybody out there in Chatland knows, did something happen to Susie Y that I'm unaware of? Yes, I do have an email. It's Ironton Auditor. <coughs> That's it. Cough through it. Ironton, <laughs> Ironton Auditor at gmail.com. That is my email. Ironton Auditor at gmail.com. You can also go to the about page on my channel and find it there as well. Just scroll down to the bottom. You'll see. She said, there's always a lot going on in her block. She got my email. She can let me know. All right. That's how I found a lot of things that, that come. Susie just became a grandma. She's got her attention elsewhere. So I guess that's what happened to Susie. Why? Um, she must be dealing with, with, with the new grandchild. Oh, where's he going? Well, there you go, JR. That's the best I got. Must be because she is dealing with the grandchild, I assume. I don't know where he's going. We'll find out. Right. So everybody give a big shout out and a round of applause to uh, Susie Y out there. Apparently she's a grandma. Must mean she's old like us. Right. But she's a grandmother. That's awesome. Always always nice to have another wonderful kid in the world. Yeah, 21 and 35 ain't old. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot I was 35. Yeah, 35. Yeah. Well, maybe I ain't old enough to be a grandpa just yet. I just turned 21, so we're good. He just Wh patrolling. Yeah, I see. W w wouldn't I actually have to be a dad before I could ever become a grandpa? Right. Uh, that's what I thought. Unless you got a stepkid. Yeah, it looks like I ain't never making it, you know. Well, I've already told uh, my daughter, you know, I at least want to be 60, <laughs> 70. <laughs> 80. <laughs> Dead and gone. <laughs> Remember when we was up here one night and I mentioned something about not being able to get sighted on private property for like yep. turn signals or stop signs and shit. Some dumbass <laughs> uh, elsewhere on the internet took that as a broad brush and tried to act like I said that you couldn't be sighted for anything on private property. Well, that's absolutely not true. No. And that's what not. happens when you're on the internet. People get stupid. That is quick. Ohio Valley Bank. And you say, yeah. And when you say something, they, they broad brush it. You know, try to make you say shit you didn't say. You know, you can absolutely do shit to get get ticketed and arrested on private property. I think everybody's very well aware of that. It's an absolute possibility. But I was talking about minor traffic infractions that can't happen on private property. So there you go. Let's see. 
Yes, I am active on Facebook and I do have Messenger and you are free to add me and message me anytime. Could be an adopted granddad. Yeah, I could be, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm the adopted uncle to all the kids that don't have one. I'm getting low. I'm going to have to plug that thing in. No, I can't have any kids with Mrs. Ironton Auditor because Mrs. Ironton Auditor already has two grown children who are out on their own and taking care of their own families and lives now. And, uh, yeah. So there you go. And she's, her and I believe, or at least I believe, we're too damned old to have kids. I know I am. And I like being that, that uncle to all kids rather than having to be a dad. I, I don't like being, I don't want to be a dad. I, I don't want that, uh, I don't want that responsibility. And I don't want to be that kind of a role model. I like being the, the long lost uncle, even if I ain't related. I like being Uncle Terry to all of them. And the most beautiful part about that is when they have something that they don't feel like they can say to their parents, they usually come to me. You'd be amazed at how often children come to me to talk about things because I'm not judgmental and I'm not their parents so they don't have to be afraid they are able to tell me things and they know I won't tell their parents unless it's something that's going to get them hurt or dead and if it is I'll damn sure tell everybody but outside of that I'm pretty quiet I don't I don't carry tales back and forth so they feel pretty safe pretty safe with Uncle Terry You're right, Katie D. If, if I want to have fun, I go have fun with the kids. I can spend as much or as little money as I want. Teach them all kinds of bad habits like the uncle should and then give them back to mom and dad. <laughs> I don't have to, you know, I don't have to try to be the role model. It just kind of turns out that way, even though that wasn't my original intention. Unfortunately, sometimes that's how it works because I'm not a parent, you know, or not their parent anyway. <clears throat> I had a couple people in my life that were like that to me when I was a kid. Hey, Carolyn, how you doing tonight? Good to see you. Good to see you. Glad you decided to join us for our uh, wonderful chat and boring drive. <laughs> the chat's great. Yeah. The drive is just the drive. Nothing happening again. See, there, there's another last name that's going to be hard to pronounce. Is that Ragados? Ragados? I don't even know how the hell to say all these names, man. I wish, I wish my hillbilly tongue would allow me to come up with some different <laughs> ideas, but I, I don't know how to say some of these names. Yeah, and when we're driving, I'm never watching that damn chat. I'm getting quite a few messages on the messenger. I can't get off of here to see who that is, but I will check that out here in a little bit. It might have just been somebody that just asked about it. That's a possibility. I'll find all that out in a minute, I assume. She said you were perfect. That had to be talking about me. You damn right. Oh, I'm no, perfect. I am perfect. I, know. <laughs> I am absolutely perfect in every way. Just ask me. I'll tell you all about it anytime you doubt me. Yep. I am great. I love me very much. Very much. Lisa said Lisa. Isn't that hard? <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> gotta love Lisa. You gotta love Lisa. If not, right. you're a hater. <laughs> like I said, Miss Lisa's. She's my favorite one. Yeah, she 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 call you out. She don't care. I'll tell you what, though, it is nice to know that that people out there will correct me. Okay. I'm glad that they aren't like you know too hey, intimidated to correct me. Up, uh, Holy shit, we got two of them on two, me. Uh, yeah, there we go. Know. Ain't that Brad's old vehicle, 2203? Yep. I thought it was. Yep. I thought I remembered him driving that one. Small jerk's old vehicle right there. Hey, Lisa, you see how not only me and Sovereign love you to death, but so does the chat. 
and like I said, I got the best subscribers ever, man. And I, I like how they don't mind calling me out if I'm wrong about something. You know, that's that that keeps me on the level. It keep, keeps me on my toes. And I would rather they would correct me than just allow me to be wrong and sound like a fucking dumbass. You know what well, I mean? The times I've spent on your lives and all that was, like I said, I'm starting to grow to love your chat like I do my fans. Right. Well, I don't know if I call them fans. I don't. I don't know if they. Uh, I don't know if they like me that much or not. But I don't know if I can call them fans. But but they definitely hang out with me, man. They're 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 the best. And they're growing. You know, growing every day more and more. You know what's funny is quite a few of them used to hate me. You know, they thought I was awful, and uh, <coughs> now they're only just now coming to their senses and finding out that you know, first of all. Some other people in the YouTube aren't who they say they are, and that uh, I am not who they thought I was. All right. Is that Dan or Dane Brolic? Uh, Dan. Dan from Minnesota. I see you out there, Dan. How you doing tonight? Glad to have you. Always glad to have someone else riding along. I'm glad y'all are in the chat. My little car wouldn't hold all these people. <laughs> <laughs> it's lucky to hold two of us, ain't it, Eugene? Look, look, look like a damn car you get out of a blister pack, don't it? Like a Hot Wheels or something. But yeah, yeah. Match ball. It's bad when I got to put the front seat in the back seat just to get out. I know. I'm going to start removing that front seat so you can just sit in the back. <laughs> All right. Hey, but I'll tell you what, man. This little thing's easy as crap on gas. It's easier than most, isn't it? I'm going to get me one of these little rice burners. Carolyn said we would need snacks. Yeah, we, we don't normally have a lot of snacks. We're a couple of poor boys here. All right. We, we pay for the gas. <laughs> we don't snack much. We drink a shit ton of coffee, though. Even though we never turn down snacks, either. <laughs> Remember that little bag we used to keep in here? Had all kind of fucking goodies. <laughs> Buddy Panda 56, how you doing tonight? Says, hear me out. All right, I'm reading. I've grown my own place. People were here for me. Well, that's pretty awesome. I, I never thought anyone would give a shit what I had to say. Never thought anyone would ever care enough to come back a second time to check me out. I'm amazed that there are that many people out there that really just, you know, really care at all to see what I do, hear what I have to say. You know, I'm always amazed and humbled, man. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa said, cut out the coffee and cigs and we could get snacks. Yeah, but who the hell wants to do that? All right. <clears throat> Terry Nelson versus Chili. Winner take all. Winner walks fear free. Winner walk. Winner walks free. I don't know who the hell Terry Nelson, Terry Nelson is. Uh, if I I'm not mistaken, uh, and if I'm wrong, I hope they correct me on who said it. But uh, Terry Somebody Nelson's a... He used to walk around Ironton all the time in like really tight spandex. Oh, the black guy Terry. Yep. I rem uh, yeah, I remember Terry. I didn't know his last name. I remember him. I ain't seen him. They 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 tore down the apartment uh, he lived in, and he ain't there. No, I don't. I well, haven't seen him. And, uh, Is that what happened? I haven't just, seen him a few. years. I heard. No, no, don't. I, I'm not a hundred percent on this, but I heard he got accused of burning it down. Then, and then next thing I know, he's taking pictures with the president. <laughs> hmm? uh, yeah, I ain't playing. Well, I always seemed like a nice guy. I spoke yep, to him, yep. talked with him here and there a little bit. He's definitely a, a bit of a bird of a different feather. Yep. You know, he's a little odd, a little out there at times. But it wasn't a bad guy, it didn't seem. Yep. I never knew him, really. Just knew him as he walked and talked to him in a grocery store and shit. I mean, I never, yep. like, really knew him. I just knew he, his first name was Terry, and I've been told that he's a real badass. I don't know the truth of that, but I've been told I, I've heard that. that he was a real badass. Well, if I'm wrong, whoever said that, I hope they correct me. But uh, that's only Terry, Terry Nelson I know. You were right. That's that they okay. agreed. That that's who they were talk, talking about. Yeah, I've been told he's a little badass. Yep. Of course, if you ask certain people around here, so am I. If you ask others, they wouldn't know any better anyway. So. 
who is auditing with me. This is uh, American Pride, Ohio. The same guy that's usually always with me here. My damn, we ain't auditors now. <laughs> well, we've been stripped of that title. I yeah, forgot. we've been stripped yeah, of that title. We're, we're not allowed to call ourselves auditors anymore. Not allowed to be auditors. Oh, I didn't show you this. I got to show you this. Check it out. We said damn hillbilly. We left out the A. America. <laughs> America. We live in America, damn it. America. <laughs> Red-blooded Americans up in here. Right. Yeah. You know what's funny is is we should have never considered ourselves Americans. Uh, I am an Ohioan. Yep. You know what I mean? Each, I don't know if people understand how this originally worked. They think we're one big country, <coughs> but we're not one big country. We are the United States of the continent of America. <laughs> yeah, or America, <laughs> if you like it. But we were never meant to be one big country. We are individual city-states that make up one giant conglomeration united. I wish people would understand how that actually works. <laughs> Lisa said, American Pride, Ohio, a.k.a. Mini Bladder. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, oh, hold on now, Miss Lisa. Terry goes to the bathroom more than I do. Not tonight. Not tonight, not tonight. But uh, a lot of coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to go here in a little bit, for sure. You're right, Debose, 50 states united. And state and every other part of the world is a country. A city right. state or a country, you know. Actually, Jr. I would I would never own a Ford. To be honest, I don't like Ford. I don't like them at all. No. There's nothing about it. Whether I wouldn't take a brand new Mustang if someone give it to me just to resale, I just wouldn't. Nope. Lisa said coffee is a diuretic. I don't know about that. I, it doesn't, <laughs> I, I must have done got a tolerance to beat ninety on that one. Why not? Because I don't like Ford. They're too expensive and they're too much of a pain in the ass to work on and fix. It's not that they build a bad product. It's not that they break down more often than anything else. It's just the fact that when you, they do break down, you have to have special tools, special knowledge, and spend 10 times more to fix it than you would if it was pretty much any other brand. And I only know that because I'm a mechanic, so I just don't like Ford. It's just not my preferred brand. It's not that they make, I'm not trying to talk bad about Ford. I just personally don't like them. So. I am, they fucking suck. <laughs> Dan said, thanks for trolling Chili. I laughed my ass off. Well, we, we, we did our best, and uh, I, I, I think it worked out. Not, not only did we fool him, we fooled everybody, except for the three people that knew. We fooled everybody else for sure. Yeah, you're right, Sean. Um, that's uh, why each state has its own constitution. We all agreed to live under the big one, but each one has, has their own, which pretty much just restates the regular Constitution anyway. I know the Ohio State Constitution says it almost word for word. What about a Toyota Land Cruiser? I used to work for a Toyota dealership, actually. They're really easy to work on. I do like uh, um, Toyota I drive, Land Cruisers. I, I drive a Hyundai. I drive a Hyundai Accent. It's a Korean model. Uh, Hyundai and Kia are kind of like GM and Chevy. But uh, they're, the parts are cheap, they're easy to work on, and all you need are metric tools. So I prefer some of the foreign cars a little foreign ones just, just because of that. They're cheaper, and they run better, longer, and you get a hell of a lot better gas mileage. I hate to say it, but it's true. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to do this in my truck. No one here. Well, shit, we wouldn't even be able to drive your truck for one guy. We have to put gas in it every time we turn around a fucking gas station line. <laughs> That's my baby, though. I love my truck. Did all the states agree to sign the Constitution or just enough to win the vote? 
Well, the Constitution was put together back when there weren't quite as many states, so, you know, but we are the United States, meaning that we're individual countries all united together to make one big one. That's how it's supposed to be, anyway. It's not how it's viewed in the world, but it's how it should be. <clears throat> You're right, Zerzus, you missed it all, man. We had 15 pullovers while you were smoking that cigarette. You missed it all. <laughs> I'm about to pay somebody to run a damn stop sign. Well, Carolyn, you, you have a good night, sweetheart. Thank you for joining us. Sleep well, and we'll catch you on the next one. I appreciate you coming in and hanging out with us as long as you did. Have a good night. Man, a silver for truck this past winter that would roll backwards Ford products seem to need a lot of attention yeah yeah they do that's that's why I don't like Ford they just they're, they're just a pay they're a they're a mechanics nightmare man they really are now maybe someone that works at a Ford dealership might argue with that you know especially if that's what they've always worked on but me yeah. I work on everything I don't have a particular brand I'll fix any of it that's broke and I can tell you that I don't like working on a Ford it's just a pain in my ass uh, I'll be the first one I'll be the asshole Ford's fucking junk I don't know about that. They ain't no more junk than any other brand. I'm telling you, I've owned probably 16 different Ford F-150s, and every one of them, I put more money into that damn truck than I had my house. I had one, <laughs> and it, it was it was a money pit. Yes, we still have 32 out there, Debos. It's quite damned amazing, ain't it, that there's 32 people that, that are as bored as we are, so they come to join us in our boredom and help us out. I right. Like I like it a lot. That's people, you know, it keeps us from being so bored. I love anyway. them 32 people. Right. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave them in your care, and this time I'm going to go to the restroom. I, I knew you'd have to. You want me to go for you? While <laughs> yeah, I'm go there? for me. I got a dry pocket. I guess I can carry it in. With right. This. Oh, I'll be right back, guys. Just to make Miss Lisa happy, go for me. <laughs> no, you guys don't want to see my ugly ass. But I ain't going to pull this off here. Yes, JR, BMW, yes. Uh, actually, I own one. Um, I got the rack top, five speed in the floor. Uh, I don't ever drive it. Uh, it's uh, the woman and man I bought it off of. It's been garage kept for like 25 years. And uh, it's uh, literally, it's still in mint condition. Beautiful car. Um, but yes, BMWs do have a lot of, a lot of problems. <laughs> The Ford's just got a lot of problems in general. <laughs> I'm a Jeep person. Okay, yeah, I can honestly say, you know, I'm, I don't dislike Jeeps because I have owned a few of them. But the truck I got now, I wouldn't, uh, yes, Della, I love my truck. I love my truck. Uh, I've owned it uh, about eight years. And, uh, if I had some wood, I would knock on it because the only thing I've ever had to do to it is put ball joints in it and plugs and plug wires. I have a Chevy Silverado 2500 HD with a 6.0 in it. My Dodge keeps me good 200 and runs great. Uh, yeah, the older Dodges, yes. You know, I'm not a new uh car fan or truck fan i hate all the new cars and trucks me myself i would rather go buy like a 80 80 model chevy early 90s to be honest because that's the best made yes debo nation i love my truck i'll have to uh if we're up by my house i will have to uh actually show you my truck uh it's got a three inch lift kit on it and i was dumb i should have never put that lift kit on it always use your head <laughs> F 
every Ford I have ever owned, like I said, I've owned about 16 Ford F-150s. Every one of them I have ever owned has been like my house that I just bought a couple months ago. They have been money pits. Man, it's getting chilly out here. Man. It is. I hate to use that word. I probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't use that word ever again. Right. I told my wife, she said, you want some chili? I said, not if you're going to call it that. <laughs> you know, uh, David, the 3800s is a, a great motor. I'm here. I love 3800 motors. The 38s and 32s. Eugene, when Terry gets back, tell him Beth came in trash talking him. Miss Lisa, I can honestly say I don't think he really cares about Beth that. Came in where? In here? Uh, I guess. Did, did I miss it? I'll be damned. I guess I did, I did too. It? Well, I must have missed it. If you want to take a message back to her, Terry, I said to fuck off. I give a damn what Beth has to say. Fuck Beth. I ain't done nothing to Beth, and if she don't like it, fuck her anyway. I didn't do nothing to Beth. Uh, I'm not the one that trash talks Beth. That's somebody else. She just doesn't like it. And uh, maybe she should keep her mouth shut and she wouldn't have that fucking problem. If we get up by my house, uh, we can go to the alley. I want to show Debo's Nation my truck. You ain't going to take one of them 45 minute shits, are you? No, 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 <laughs> brother. I mean, I literally do. I think it's hilarious. I was, in, uh, I was in there uploading that video and everybody thought I was in the bathroom. I'm like, what the hell? I, I still think it's hilarious. I don't know why. I, I'm just going to agree with them. Well, <laughs> you know, you say you were uploading. They think you were downloading. <laughs> that's what they think, okay? <laughs> they think you were dropping the Browns off at the Super Yeah, Bowl. that's what I was getting ready and to say. And Tiffany's letting them believe in it and helping right. them out with it. So, you know. I, or you or know Michelle, what? whatever her name oh, is. Oh, God. There. Oh, Michelle. I ain't seen her name in the chat for a while, so I figured it was safe to say it right now. She's she probably listen. asleep. Hopefully I don't lose the chat going up here. I hate going right. up on this end of town. It seems like we lose it every time we get up in here. Right. Well, Adela coming there. She's like, oh, yes. They got really, yeah. I, I love my truck. I wouldn't trade my truck for what did that say? 20 houses. Don't take long when you don't wash your hands. Well, I wash my hands before I go. That's what I was talking about earlier. I don't like touching <laughs> my, my clean pecker with my dirty hands. So. Be glad I ain't making your burger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's Sovereign Soul again. Was that true, Lisa, or are you just fucking with me to get a reaction talking about Beth coming in here? Did she really come in here and have some shit to say? Because I missed it. It sucks, but I missed it. Obviously, I missed it, too. And I was actually reading the damn chat. I mean, she going to come in and trash talk me on my own channel. That's great. I would have gave it right back to her. I ain't got no problem with that. That's not a game that I wanted to get into, but if she wants to play it, I can play it, too. She thinks Sovereign's bad. You piss me off, Beth. See what happens. Best thing you can do is just shut the fuck up and leave me alone like I did you. I got shit to say to you or about you for that matter. Hey, thank you, Scott Huber. Appreciate that. We got us some coffee money there, Eugene. Uh-oh. And he said, oh, and fuck Beth Rist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tell her, Scott. You tell her. Katie D says she was trying to trigger me. Sovereign, Sovereign said she was hot. I don't know what the fuck. Oh. Blanche says Lisa threw a line and caught me. So uh, maybe she wasn't in here talking about me. Just wanted to get me stirred up. Now Lisa's laughing, so that must be true. They're just fucking with me. Right. Well, that ain't right. Don't do not do that. Don't get me bad-mouthing somebody that ain't bad-mouthing me. That ain't right. Yeah, I started saying I didn't see her coming in chat. And of course, we was talking about the trucks and all that shit too though. I mean I gotta be honest you don't seem like the most honest person I've ever met. 
you know. I can't prove that. It just seems like it to me. What in the hell is my woman doing in her van this late at night? Maybe she's sleeping. Didn't you say she fell asleep? Maybe me calling her Michelle pissed her off. Maybe she's going to come out and get her asses. <laughs> I literally just seen her out front. What the? Oh, my goodness. I love you, babe. Maybe she had to go get some coffee. Has that got enough charge on it so I can walk, walk it around? The oh, fuck, I don't know. Truck. I don't know at all. I went here to where they can see it, though. There's my baby. Extended cab. Let me see what my wife is doing. Oh, thanks, Blanche. I appreciate it. For the ride along for $20, she said it's appreciated. Thank you very, very much. Me and American Pride both appreciate it. That keeps the coffee and the gas going, so it gets us out here to do it even more often. We have a good time spending time with you all. It's, it's really fun for us. It sure beats our normal nights where it's just me and him. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize in the beginning how much fun a live could be. You know, I had no idea. Now that I know, we'll run live more often. I didn't figure there'd be this many people that'd want to hang out and just to ride through town and not see anything. But I didn't know I was that entertaining. I'm glad somebody gets to laugh. Come on, you, Jane. You're supposed to be showing somebody a truck. Every time I try to open that motherfucker. Oh! More coffee and a few cigs. Last one was short. I was using a residual gift card balance. Always enjoy your streams, Terry. Thank you, Scott. That's another $5 there. We appreciate it, Scott. That's more coffee and gas for us. We love it. Getting that coffee money Coffee, build gas, up. and cigarettes, and hell, man, you can run all the time, can't you? Right. We? we wouldn't even have to stop and eat, would we? Hell we'd no. just fucking smoke and drink coffee. Why not? Hell, we'd smoke the coffee if we'd get it rolled. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's just too always, wet to burn. Always have, uh, yeah, I start to say I always have a problem keeping the coffee lit. Right. It can be a bitch. That's for sure. That's like I had the doctor, uh, he tried to give me one well, of these. Blanche, we appreciate you hanging out with us as long as you did, dear heart. When you slip out, you have a good night. Sleep well, and we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you coming in, and definitely thank you for the $20. That was awesome. Yeah, the doctor tried to give me one of these little, uh, um, and E6. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told him, Dr. What am I going to do with that? He said, Well, son, it's going to help you quit smoking. I said, Well, how the hell am I going to keep it lit? Right. <laughs> well, the only problem I have with the vaping and the electronic cigarettes is they don't help you quit smoking. They might get you to quit smoking cigarettes, but you're just a vaper now instead of oh. a smoker. It really doesn't help you, you know. Well, that's just how that works. You get to the point. I walk outside in the damn parking lot 10 minutes later, you know. And, uh, no, Lisa, I don't have wind chimes in my car. That's his phone. He has a ring doorbell or something yep. like one. And every yep. time something moves out by the camera, it sends off wind chimes coming out of his phone. So that's where you're getting yep. that from. Yeah, I got cameras all the way around my house. Hey, Scott, Granny's is our local head shop. So if, uh, if, if you like to uh, smoke your legal and or illegal herbs, Granny's would be the place to find all of that stuff, all the paraphernalia that you could ever want. Nope. You'll find that at Granny's. Plus, they have a whole shop. They have all kinds of weird oddities, t-shirts, knives, swords, uh, some Bones. of the, what do they call that, LARPing or some dumb yep. shit where they all get together and like have the sword fights and stuff nope. in the park. Is that what, am I saying that right, LARPing? I, I'm not. It sounds very, about right. I'm not a very knowledgeable person about that stuff, but 
but they have everything like that there, so it's a pretty good place. They got some really nice said he bones. thinks he's the only one in a chat without a wrench. Oh, hell no. I don't think he is, but. We gotta get him a wrench. We can fix that. How about that, Debose? Oh, anytime, Scott. Granny's is the place to go if you need that stuff. You'll find it all there. I know my my, my woman loves Granny. She loves her she loves her t-shirts and they got got all kinds of clothes and, and body jewelry if you got like body piercings and all that kind of stuff, rings and whatnot, earrings, all that stuff. They have have a little bit of everything in there. <clears throat> That and about any kind of blunt wrap, rolling paper, uh, pipe, uh, bong, and anything else you can imagine, they, they pretty much have all that stuff in there. So, <laughs> Scott asked Debose if he wanted to touch his wrench. <laughs> I gave him his own, Scott. Y'all y'all don't be touching each other's wrenches out there. That sounds a little funny there. Ne never touch a man's wrench. <laughs> right. A man should be the only one to touch his own wrench. Do I do 420 or in your case 024? I'm gonna not comment on that one. I'm just gonna let you think what you want to on that. Burn it down, fuck it. Let's just say I'm obviously not not high right now. You know, I love my wife dead. I just stopped there and bought them cigarettes, right? Mm -hmm. You know, her first words, he said, babe, you know I love you. I need cigarettes. <laughs> I love so you now, first, though, right? Right, right, right. Now I got to stop by another pack. Ain't that some horse shit? Well, where do you want to stop? Oh, our favorite gas station. Oh, you're just going to wait till the next there time you we stop there? Okay. No oh. emergency? No. All right. Well, we'll be all right, team. We'll hit it. Well, you know we're going to end up back there before it's over. <laughs> Hell, it's only midnight. Right. I don't know how long we're going to run tonight, I guess, until my back gets so sore I can't stand to sit in this car much longer. It'll do that after a while. Hell, I've been out since right, I've started to town about 4 o'clock this afternoon, so I've already been doing it now for what? Six, seven, eight hours, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've already been at it for eight hours, so. Well, I'm starting to say I would drive, but my uh, knees won't go through your dashboard. Rocky Shepherd said he wants a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Hammers I can't eat you, Rock. But if I could, you'd have one. How you doing out there tonight, by the way? I haven't don't don't think I've seen that name, maybe. I don't sometimes, recall so, it. sometimes I don't always remember that yeah, until you until you get used to it, it is just a name that flashes across the screen, so it's hard to hard to remember sometimes. Everybody. I'll tell, tell you what though, man, interacting with that chat. You get up. When we're driving, I Sovereign never... Sovereign said his wrench is metric. <laughs> driving what? When we're driving, I never pay attention to that check because I'm always looking up down the streets for lights and all that shit. But when we're parked, man, fucking... Hell yeah. Did you, are you talking about uh, weed that helps with dyslexia? Is that, is, did I read that right? I hope dyslexic people don't try to light it backwards. That's the, you know, ain't that what they say about them? They like see shit backwards, like numbers and letters and stuff. I mean, I'm no expert in it, obviously. But sorry, that was a bad joke, maybe, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have much to say back there, Scott. And yeah, I might let you out of the trunk sometime this week. I'll think about it. Scott was asking if I was going to let him out of the trunk, so the other guy I got back here seems a bit stiff and ain't got much to say. Right. <laughs> Shit, I'd have trouble getting in my trunk. It's the small. Oh, I, could, I could fit in it, but if Scott's any bigger than I am, he ain't getting in there, I can tell you that. I got to put the front seat in the back seat just to get in. It's not very big, is it? Hey, bitch. Dude, yeah, I love this little car. We put a lot of miles on this little car. I guess I am. 
Holy I'm hell. at uh, two, 21,200 and let's see, let me see here. Get a drive more and look down here long enough. 212,319 miles is what I'm sitting yep. on right now. 212,319. These little cars run good, man. Oh, well, as long, as long as you do your regular maintenance to them, man, you get three or 400,000 miles out of one of these little bastards easy. She's still got a long way to go before she quits, put it that way. Well, Scott's is the last chat I got. I hope I didn't lose it again here. Somebody throw something in the chat. Let me know you're still out there. Let me know I'm still hearing you anyway. I'm not seeing the chat. I think I lost it again. Yeah, damn it. I've been on here too long again. YouTube said, nope, fuck it. You're gonna have to shut it off and start another one. I swear, I think they do that on purpose. <laughs> Can anybody hear us? Yep, I think we're gonna start yep, a new chat, bro. definitely lost the goddamn chat again, didn't we? <laughs> Son of a gun, man. I hate that. I know. I wish there was a way like to reconnect it, but it doesn't give me that option. It I've had like it happen on the PC. It'll say reconnect. I hit the thing, it reconnects. But on the phone, it doesn't give me that option. So It just seems like every time we go, man, and you said it, up by my house, it quits. Yeah, every time. Every time I get up on that end of town and come back down here, it quits at some point. I can hear every Ms. single time. I can hear Miss Lisa now, the Eugene's fault. Well, it is Eugene's <laughs> fault. It's always Eugene's fault. Blame Eugene, fucking. Right. Well, I guess I'll go back down here to Rich Station. You can get your cigarettes, and I'll cut this one off and get another one rolling. Yeah, since my lovely wife, Try you to. Know. Hell, we had 26 people, man. Bruh. They still Hell, people. we had 32 at one time. Yeah, well, there's still people that want to hang out, so, you know, we might as well stay out and do it. All right. If you guys are listening to our conversation, you heard that. We lost the chat. I can't see anything y'all are saying, so when I get back down here to the gas station again i'll cut this one off and start another one yeah it, uh, i guess it'll say fourth attempt since it's been, <laughs> <laughs> it's been second and third now and we'll, we'll have fourth attempt. i tried to tell them third time was not a charm <laughs> well if we had to go back down on that end of town that's what's doing it every I time know. i go down on that end and come back it does it every fucking single time Eugene. yeah that fucking eugene name it him and his bright ideas <laughs> well, Debo's nation was asking. Well, at least he got to see the truck. I guess. Right, right. We yeah. lost, we lost seeing all them, but they, they got to see the truck. So, yeah, yeah, I love truck, I'll man. just start another one here in a minute. Do you? That's man, all I can sucks. do. I know, right? See how it just went black? Yeah. Like you know, and the last one was Scott Hubert talking about in the trunk. Oh, and that's the last one I got. So. Uh, well, here we go, fourth. Fourth time might be the charm, but I doubt it. <laughs> we might have to do six or seven tonight. All right. Uh, we'll figure something out. Oh, well, here goes Sovereign grinding them damn gears, chasing us all over you. <laughs> Yeah, well, you'll have that. I, I can't help it. There ain't nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Fuck, man, we've been going 177 minutes just on this one. Really? Yeah, that's what it says. 177 minutes and 40, 48 seconds right now. Oh, damn. That hey, don't even feel like that long. Man, it's because we ain't counting the minutes. We're just, <laughs> we're just riding around and bullshit. You know, we're doing the same thing we do all the time. All right. That damn you, Jim. Damn you, Jim. I can hear Miss Lisa now. All right, guys, if you're listening, you can hear us out there. We can't see any of the chat, obviously, and I'm going to pull in here. Eugene's going to grab his cigarettes, and I'll cut this one off and get it. Oh, look, 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 it popped back up. It popped back oh, up. Oh, did it? Says, blame it on me. I was hungry, Scott. <laughs> But it did come back on, so hey, uh, somebody throw a one in the chat or some shit, so I can see if it's still going to work here. Or throw a two for no purpose. Throw reason. some fucking shit in there. Uh, there we go. Or Scott saying we get a part four, homies. Love it. Hey, there we go. Maybe we won't have to start another one. It looks like we're still going. Hell yeah. You going to go grab them cigarettes? Yeah. 
Hey, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what happened. I managed to get it back. Maybe from now on, I just need to wait longer. Hell, I don't know. Ate the chat cables. <laughs> well, be careful back there, Scott. Bite into that high-powered electric cable I have running through there. I'll let him know as soon as he gets back in the car, Tiffany. He's inside getting the cigarettes right now. Hopefully everybody's uh, having a good time. Would I use a high point at a range? Sure I would. As a matter of fact, JR, I carried a high point for probably two or three years before I started carrying this Glock, actually. I think the guy that bought me the Glock was uh, was actually embarrassed for me watching me carry a high point around. You know, me, I don't care what people think, and it's what I could afford, so I bought it cheap, and, and I carried it. So, absolutely, yeah, I'd shoot a high point at a range. I'm not embarrassed. I don't care. I shoot about anything at a range. I love to shoot. Don't Don't really care what it is. It don't matter to me. Hey, can somebody do a cover on my channel? What do you mean, do a cover on my channel? You mean like sing a cover song? Sure, I, I wouldn't mind. They wouldn't be able to do it tonight. I don't have any way to bring anybody up on the panel. Um, I'm just running through YouTube right now. There's no way to add anybody in. I'd have to be using like uh, um, StreamYard, you know, at the house. But yeah, if I if we do another live, yeah, I don't have no problems with that at all. That wouldn't bother me be a... <laughs> Yeah, they aren't terrible, Scott. It wouldn't be the weapon that I would that I would choose to run out and uh, um, plink away with. It really isn't a good range gun. Uh, if I were to own a high point, I would shoot it, and make sure that I could hit what I was aiming at, and once I was sure of that, I would uh, I would then holster that thing and keep it there for self defense, and that's all I would use it for. I would not use it in order to run it. So just saying, you know. That's me, that's what I would do, and that's my advice with a high point, is don't don't use it to plink with. If you're going to plink around, you're going to need something like a good, you know, a, a much better brand. It's not that they're a bad weapon, it's just that they don't last as long. They're not as, uh, they don't handle it too well. Without it being a copyright strike, uh, if someone else is singing the song, uh, they can't they can't hit me with a copyright because it's not their performance of it. It would just be a cover. So yeah, I don't I don't think that would matter. Do I remember the Caliban shooting? No, but uh, he says he has that rifle in a high point. All right, since we're here at this gas station, I might as well just go ahead and go try to pee now, and then I won't have to later, <coughs> and we don't have to make a return trip. Huh? <laughs> right. I'll leave you in. Is brandishing a gun a crime? It absolutely is, Debos. It absolutely is a crime. Well, I don't know that it's worded as a crime, but it's definitely, uh, uh, definitely law-breaking. Glad we got you guys back. How's everybody doing? How much is gas there? It is three forty nine. <laughs> You're right, Miss Lisa. Blame Eugene. Everybody else does. <laughs> Your time and Terry. I would too. That's good, Scott. That's good. I'm glad to. Hopefully, everybody in the chat's doing really good. And uh, I wish nothing but the best for everybody. Oh man, <laughs> I need to move to Houston, especially in my big ass truck. No, you are not timed out. Yeah, I can believe that. In Florida, yes. 
where is my steak? I got my sex APO. Well, sweetheart, you know, uh, I love you. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow you get your steak. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know why this phone keeps on freezing like that, Miss Lisa. I don't, uh, I don't understand it. Oh, what was that? Same to you, Gene. Same to you. I always enjoy chatting with. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, like I said, I'm starting to love Terry's chat just like I do, you know, my fans. And uh, yeah. everybody that knows me, I love all my fans. I don't care. I even love my haters. You are right. <laughs> A lot of people here do have trucks. Oh, Houston. Yeah, oh, okay. You know, I, that's all I've ever owned. I mean, I've owned a few cars. But uh, nothing, I don't know, I'm just, I think every man should have a truck. That's my opinion. Let's see, Shepard, when do you it's changed? I guess there are many more people now. I think we're over 4 million now in the greater region. Yeah, Scott, Houston is big. I was an OTR truck driver for years, and... I was always in Houston, Texas. Always. And I tell you what, Ed, that it's a big place. Oh, Debo's Nation. Thank you for showing me your... Oh, yes, sir. Anytime. Anytime. Like I said, I love my truck. Uh, it's nothing new. Um, uh, and, you know, but... I own it. So, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I love my truck. That's pretty good. You own about 15 trucks now, but uh, the, the only problem is if you got gas prices like we got, I feel sorry for your bank account and your wallet. Was that rock? Yep. Yes, Della, they can say whatever they want. <laughs> Literally. I'm uh, actually starting to love everybody in Terry's uh, chat. And, you know, like I said, haters as well. I even love Terry's haters. The ones with 383s in it, yes. Them, them are really good motors. It's a 2500 HD Chevy Silverado extended cab. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my wife coming on there saying she loves her truck. <laughs> you do like driving it, mama. I will give you that. You do like driving it. Oh, Miss Lisa. Come on now. You've got to let that man get a truck. Oh, uh, Debo, my truck. I tell you what, if I drive around the block, I better have a gas station. I, let me rephrase this. I better be pulling a damn gas station with me. Oh, you got a 57 Chevy. Oh, yeah. I, I, I bet that really is nice. Well, she's got her minivan, but uh, she prefers old dad's truck here, Scott. You know, because uh, old dad's truck just makes her look that more even better, you know. I don't know what it is. I just got a thing. Um, I don't know. 
my wife and my truck. I mean, me personally, my wife's the most beautiful woman in the world anyway. But my truck, she's just 10 times more beautiful than what she already is. Uh, they are, Scott. Trucks are really expensive. Really. And I tell you what, if you don't have a job, you're not driving it. I promise you that. I would definitely like to see a 57 Chevy myself. I'm, I'm just a huge fan of trucks. Yes, minivans are convenient, uh, especially when you've got kids like me and my soon-to-be wife does. Um, you know, and like I said, I mean, her van actually runs really good. That's right, Mama. If you want to call the truck, it's your truck, I guess. But, you know, old Dad still drives it everywhere. Everybody loves you, know you. You keep the same coffee. They know you're important. Sorry, she's doing a little bitch, and I had to listen. Another one of the hats that Ironson Auditor wears, he'll stand around and listen to you bitch about stuff that doesn't concern him a bit, <laughs> just so that you feel better. That is, uh, I'll tell you what, Scott, my my soon-to-be wife is uh, amazing, and uh, she uh, gets by with a uh, 150% more than anybody ever would, but I guess if uh, she wants to claim my truck, I guess she can claim my truck but oh shit damn every time we hit that bump <laughs> you got to learn to set that in there with the ass end of it up against these that's what holds it in there when you don't that's what causes it to fall out right? every time i try to set that damn thing I, we hit that damn bump huh? Scott, i thank you yes yes i do thank you as well scott McCormick tractor, okay. I wouldn't mind seeing a picture of that as well. <laughs> it says there are only 1,214,573 bumps on this road. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Which fucking bump you talking hey, about? Uh, literally, every time we put that one fucking bump, I'm trying to set that phone in there, and it always gets me every time. <clears throat> How you know it's that one? It's that one, I promise you. Not one of the other two. I know that one. Some. <laughs> I know that one very well. I'm glad the chat reconnected. No, brother, go ahead. Appreciate the offer, though. My grandpa had a farm oil tractor, one of the big trike nope. things. Two big wheels and two small ones in the front. Yeah. I like that one that sits out. I can't remember the name of that damn thing. That one that sits out by your house. Your neighbor's got it. Uh, across the road from, well, it'd be across the road from me as soon as I get them trees cut and get out there. Um, oh, a Ford? Yes. He's got a Ford tractor. Yeah. There again, it's that Ford I don't like. Right, but I'll tell you what. But man. the tractor's pretty good. Yes. I mean, it runs all right. Back hoeing the loader on it. Yep. <clears throat> still got anybody hang them with us? Oh, yeah. Four of them out there still. Yeah. I'll be damned. Debo, thank me. We're like half famous truck. and shit, man, you know? Right. <laughs> Big 24. <laughs> yeah. Debo, thank me for show, uh, uh, showing him my truck. Which, I, I love my truck. You know what I mean? I do. I wouldn't trade my truck for 50 houses. I wouldn't do it. I understand that's how I feel about my car. Right. I like my car. Well, I think every man should own a truck. And I'm trying to talk Miss Lisa into letting her husband get a truck. <laughs> so so if Miss Lisa's husband is listening, APO I know you're pulling for APO him, is pulling for you. I got your back a, a thousand percent. And um I hope it uh, comes true you do get your truck. <clears throat> I 
I agree with you, Scott. What they did was they took a tiny piece of electronic, less that's not even the size of the average cell phone, and when it breaks, you have a two-ton piece of junk for the $100 part that you need. $100 electronic piece of shit. Man, I think I want a damn bag of chips. How much is diesel? It says on my sign, five forty nine. Five dollars and forty nine cents a gallon. Was that bottle of my slushies or? <laughs> Lisa said he's been asking for about fifteen years. Come on now, Miss Lisa. <laughs> Listen, uh, like I said, if he is listening, I've got your back. I'm gonna try to talk <laughs> Miss Lisa into letting you get your truck. You could give him yours. Oh, no, no. Well, you don't get that much of a shit if you get one. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's my baby right there. Bella said she's going to make some tacos. There you go. Enjoy those. Damn. Oh, no. Where the hell's ours? <laughs> Adela's house over Adela. <laughs> Damn. Some of my gas dropped from four seventy five to five something. She said he's had two trucks. That's a waste of money. Oh man, no, you got to buy the right one. It's got to say Chevrolet. Hey, Scott's another guy out there that fixes his neighbor's shit. Good job, Scott. Well, I'm glad there's somebody else out there that does it other than me. And what did I tell you what Miss Lisa would say? And she could still hear us on that chat. And she said, I was going to put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Eugene Fall. What does say? Need to find a way for me to drive a big truck of $2.94. Use enough to iron and figure mileage and such. We could make it work. Maybe. Maybe. Well, Miss Lisa, he bought the wrong Chevy. <laughs> All the Chevys I've ever bought, they have run great. What, what's my wife saying there? Oh, it's in the Her's hard to tell, man. She I'm says all get, kinds of shit. I'm going to get me a 57. She, oh, no, no, mama. We get a 57, you know, it, it's old dad's. <laughs> he said, I love my truck and I love a 57 Chevy anymore. <laughs> They looked at an 89 rollback, but it had air brakes. They didn't like that. You know, a lot of people don't like the air brakes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, maintenance into, into mm -hmm. your air brakes. If you don't do it right, you're screwed. Yeah, Scott, me either. I don't I don't take my shit to someone else to work on. I work on that, but I'm not only a mechanic. If it's broke, I fix it. If your furnace breaks down, I'll do that. If you need help building a house, tearing one down, remodeling, whatever, drywall, you name it, I do it. I'm not a... Damn you, Terry. I wasn't hungry until I seen you eat. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, man. I had, you know, it's just a fucking meat stick. It ain't, you know... Well, they call it meat. I'm sure there ain't no fucking meat in it. Who the hell knows what's in it? Yeah, I don't know if I'm really happy working on all that stuff, Scott. I'm happy to help people. That's that's where it comes in for me. I love to help people. And, and usually, you know, the people that call me, the reason they call me is because they don't have the money to pay somebody else, you know. Most of what I do is uh, is pretty much free work, you know. I don't really charge much, so. Hey, Colin, I see you out there. I think that's the first time I've seen your name out there tonight. If not, I'm sorry. Oh, you were on earlier? Okay, well, it's glad to have you back. I'm glad to have you back, man. It's good to have you back. 
I'm sorry, I've seen so many names over the last few. It, it's so hard. I'm in so many chat rooms and stuff uh, on YouTube. It's hard to keep up with everybody sometimes who I've seen where. But I definitely appreciate y'all being in here tonight. Yeah, if I'd have had the op if I'd have had the option, Colin, I'd have been watching uh, Team's uh, stream too. But I was busy doing my own. I like to watch Team stuff. <laughs> That's a good question, Sovereign. Have you seen any tonight? The closest thing I got to a white girl is Eugene. That should tell you something right there. Kate got a member stream tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Fell off the edge of the earth. <laughs> I think that's a jab at you, Soft. I think that's a jab. Chuck's laughing because it was. That was a good one, by the way. Just so you know. I liked it. Get him, Chuck. Colin says he's at the bottom. I believe you're in Australia, if I remember correct, aren't you, Colin? Didn't I, didn't I read that right the other night when we were out, but I was driving on the wrong side of the road, and I believe you said you were in Australia, if I remember correctly. Hot dog, look at that. I remembered one. I'm doing good. <laughs> Australia's a myth. So where's the white girls at? I said, I don't know. Have you seen any? He said, just you two. I told him, I said, Eugene's about the closest thing I got to a white girl tonight. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. You've been about as close as I've gotten. No, there's a white girl right there in that gas station. <laughs> so if you want to see her, come on down. <laughs> well, fuck if he left right now, he still wouldn't be here till about 7 a.m. I mean, unless he can get Scotty to beam him out, beam him <laughs> over. <laughs> it's Australians are all legend. Now it happened to my... Oh shit, they're getting into the flat earth shit now. This should get interesting oh, damn. before it gets over. <laughs> you ever tried them damn things? No. I love, man, jerky's a shit. And I hope my wife's uh, listening because uh, I got a whole bag of jerky. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we ain't gonna get shit tonight. It is dead or in hell. Dead, 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 dead.
trouble? No, thank you. That's the only problem with some of them meat snacks. I ain't got enough teeth to chew them. Right. Dude, I just... I can kind of wall her around like a cow does her grass. But, <laughs> you know, I can't swallow it into one stomach and burp it back up, chew it again later. You know, it doesn't work that way. Chuck said start a riot, get something going. I don't think I could get a riot start in this town. I don't think anybody gives a shit enough to fight back. <laughs> That's what I think. I think they'll just sleep through it. I think they really care. I think I get up and go to work in the morning and shit. <laughs> Sovereign said, Jeff H. Pugs! Damn, gotta do everything myself. <laughs> you heard that one. He calls them chiliisms, and every time someone says a chiliism, he takes a hit on his bong. <laughs> Terry, the MTS after my name is shameful tonight. Huh? Okay, I'm not sure what that means, but okay. I need to buy me a jerky factor. Mike Trisex. <laughs> I'm trying to guess what the MTS means. <laughs> Mother told you so. Fucking no. Tiff wants to know where it is. By the way, when you were in the gas station, she said she's already got her cigarettes. Now she wants a steak. Damn. I don't know where the fuck you're going to get one of them at fucking one o'clock in the morning. Right? Well, well, I'm not. She just went to wait. <laughs> right? Love you. <laughs> like another hole in the head. Does anyone maintain your roads? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they maintain all the potholes just to fuck where we put them. They sure do. I don't think they fill in one of them, actually. The only time you see them working is uh, election. <laughs> On the roads, anyway. Yeah. They always out working, apparently. Well, well if you call one working and 15 watching, yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's how a state or city job's done, ain't it? Yeah. The old guys lean on the shovel and watch the new guy work. Yeah. Roseanne said she'd like a steak. It's only 11.50 there. You're right, Sovereign. Without government, who would fix the roads? Well, no one. The, the government ain't fucking fixing them now, are they? I agree <laughs> with you. Our infrastructure's falling the fuck apart, and it ain't like they ain't got enough tax money and people to get it done. They just don't give a shit. That's what's happening there. Oh, I'm going to drive around the riverbank and see what we can see. That's right where now. I'm headed. A while ago, somebody said I never crossed down to the riverbank. That's where nefarious shit goes on. So I'm going to drive down here at 1 o'clock in the morning and show them that probably ain't even a fucking car or person down here. Right. There usually ain't. There you go. Not a single thing stirring, not even a damn mouse. No cars, no people, no tent city, no no nefarious shit going on on the riverbank tonight. I'll tell you what, boy, that fucking jerky banging. You should never bang your jerky, man. <laughs> Don't jerk your bangy either. All right. Gotta be careful. Is 
Is that the bridge? Yes, that, that was the bridge there in the background there. The bridge is beautiful, lit up at night. Y'all like that? You want to take a drive across it? Eugene don't like the bridge. I forgot. <laughs> I think they want to take a drive across. That's what they want to do. Andy Land said she misses the old bridge. Did you know there's a model mock-up of it down here in town on top of the old uh, support that they have? They actually have a model built up on top of it. Uh, they have an exact replica of the old bridge. So if you're ever downtown here, out in front of the Trader's Cafe there across the street over in the corner where the old uh, support for that bridge was, you'll see a mock-up of that bridge built right on top of it. So if you ever get too reminiscent and want to see the old bridge again, it's a little bit smaller, but but it looks like the old bridge. Lisa said you could get out Wake Forest to come back if you didn't like the bridge. It ain't the bridge. It's... Well, I know what it is, but I just <laughs> said you didn't like the bridge. Here, I'll tell you what. I'll drop you here with a million where the coffee is, and I'll run them across the bridge and come right back. Yep. That way they get to see the bridge at night, and you don't have to take the ride. Yeah, Colin, it's, it's a brand new bridge, so that bridge is fairly safe. I say fairly because it's a new one. I'm assuming that because it's a new one, it's fairly safe. It does seem like they've had to some bit shut down more since they built it, though. They, they shut it down all the time for inspection and shit. All right, guys, we'll go over here and we'll cross the bridge here and I'll turn around and come back just so y'all get an idea of what it's like to run across the bridge at night with the big lights on it. Since there's some people around that like that kind of thing, we'll, uh... No, Lisa, he doesn't have a warrant. I don't want to get into that. That's Eugene's story to tell, but no, he doesn't have a warrant. Yes, this is the bridge that goes to Kentucky. As a matter of fact, if you look up, you'll see the Kentucky sign right there. Welcome to Kentucky. Governor Andy Bashir, Governor. Made in China, yeah, probably, yeah, it probably was. Here's the bridge. Now I gotta go down here to turn around. You'll get it right back across it again here in just a second. As long as it was not made in Russia. <laughs> Sovereign, you're right. It's not very far at all from where Chili chickened out, but I, it depends on which time you're talking about. It seems to me he's chickened out on a lot of things in a lot of places. Just saying. This is just a... There you go. There's a good shot of the bridge. Y'all can see it pretty well there, I guess. Go up here and run back across and get back over to Ironton.
pick up Eugene before he drinks more coffee. <laughs> I don't think I could stop him from that if I wanted to. He's a man after my own heart the way he likes his coffee. right back into Ohio. Find it here, it says. I'm not sure what the hell you're looking for when you come to Ohio. We have the lovely Mike DeWine as our governor here. Bashir and Ashland, or Kentucky, I mean, and uh, Justice in West Virginia on the other side of the river there, just down the pike a little bit. <laughs> Scott, you're terrible. Funny, <laughs> but terrible. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. There's a little treat for those that like the bridge. We've got to take a trip across it and get to see it at night. I forget there's people out there that actually think it's all pretty. I don't care for it as much. I just, I don't care for it, but that's just me. All right, I'm gonna pull up here to keep your voices off the camera. They're talking about somebody and I don't necessarily want that shit going out live on YouTube. So I'm gonna pull over here away so they can talk without uh, You're right, Colin. It's a lot better than swimming across. I, I will agree. Expand on why I don't like it. You're interested. I just don't like the blue lights. I just don't like it. I don't think it looks good. I don't think it looks good. <laughs> yes, Lisa, I did, didn't I? I always drink multiple cups of coffee. Like, like all other hillbillies drink beer. You know, they might slam five or six beers while you stand around and bullshit me. I love to drink coffee. That's, that's my thing. I've been, uh... Yeah, Scott, it's not as, I just don't care for the lights on it. I just don't like it when you're driving across it. I think it's very distracting. Yeah, well. I just don't like it too well. I don't like the way right, it looks. Right. All righty, see you on the next time. Oh, she told us to be careful. Sovereign said while I was there, his Keurig was on overdrive. You damn right it was. <laughs> Told you it's a bad idea to have one of them damn one cup makers around me. I'll wear some bitch out. Oh well. Yeah. Then I found out he had instant jet. If I'd have known that, I'd have been drinking that the whole damn time. I'd drink that just fine. I don't mind. Don't curl my hair none. Hell, I drank the coffee in the army and fucking liked it, so I don't so, mind it at all. How do you like the breeze? Oh, they all thought it was great. Lisa said the lights are what makes it pretty. Yeah, it is to everybody that thinks those color lights are pretty, I suppose. Yeah. I, I just don't care for it myself. But it's not that I don't like blue. I just don't like it on that bridge. When you get eight miles out into the country and look up into the sky, it, it looks, it has a weird purple haze that's not even blue anymore. It's a sickening purple. Oh. Looks ominous and scary and shit like Halloween, you know, up in the sky. It's really weird. The sky is clear, you can see it out there. It's one o'clock in the morning. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> yeah, I know exactly where mine is. <laughs> <laughs> I know where mine are, too. <laughs> Need strobe lights and strippers, Sovereign said. Well, oh, that, that might make it prettier right there. I don't know. I gotta admit, guys, I ain't never been in a strip club in my life. Wouldn't know nothing about it. I ain't got no reason to go. Never did. Not that I ain't had the opportunity. I just never wanted to go. 
going and looking at a bunch of naked women I can't bring home, what the hell's the point of that? Just have to come home alone anyway, you know? <laughs> I, I don't understand. I've been to many of them, but that's the past. Where are the prostitutes, Debo says? Well, they, they, yeah, they really ain't a lot of them here in Ironton. I mean, there are some, but it ain't, it's not like in big cities. That sure ain't, sure ain't like that. Nothing at all like that. Yeah, you come here looking for a prostitute. Ooh. I wouldn't. We don't, you know. I yeah. don't know, Debo, but I, I'd be the one to throw him over my shoulder and take off running for him. <laughs> <laughs> Sober said Ironton has daytime hookers. Oof. They definitely ain't working this shift, are they? Definitely ain't working. Well, you know why? There ain't no damn traffic out. It's hard to get customers at night when there's no traffic. Well, I don't know, Scott. Just because you can't feed on the fine delicatessen doesn't mean that you can't read the menu. You know. <laughs> he said... Uh, as someone once said, why go look at a hamburger when you got a steak waiting at home? <sighs> Simon said that one had two different boobs and a price for each one of them. <laughs> Jeez. Some of the women here, they entered a wet t-shirt uh, contest. I think one would take first and third. Somebody's asking, what's the purple building to the right? I'm not sure where that was right now. I might be talking about the courthouse. I don't know if you're talking about that. Let me get back down here by the courthouse. Maybe that's what you're talking about. D. Bose has asked about that White House, but uh, I seen it in the chat just as we pulled back in this parking lot again. He said, that's it. I still didn't figure out which house he was talking about. All right. Well, looky there who we pulled out behind. How's that for luck, huh? They look like Allison. Well, he should be working tonight. That's what, uh, well, right, But I've with. never seen him in the, of course, he ain't well, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't think they drive the same vehicle every night. I think they switch out just to fuck with us. <laughs> That's what I think. Oops. I don't want to turn there. I want to turn from the courthouse down there. <clears throat> I think we showed him the courthouse last time, but we'll nope. do it again this time just to. What are you doing, son? Are what, you serious? What are you doing? I'm not sure what the fuck he's doing. I'm gonna go around him here just cause I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Get up in here and see what the fuck he's doing. Yeah. I don't know if he's wanting our attention or what? I don't know. I don't either. He's hard to tell. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And didn't have my damn headlights on. We're going uh, to get any damn pull over tonight. There you go, guys. There's your Ironton Police Department. See, you just stopped to let me know to turn my headlights back on. I didn't turn them on when I left the gas station. I blame you guys for not paying, not calling my attention to that. That's all your fault out there, Sovereign. You should have been paying attention to that shit. You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> So there you go, guys. There's your Ironson Police Department letting me know to turn my headlights on. No ticket, didn't even light us up. Just stopped to let me know to turn my damn headlights on. So you gotta love it when that happens. I rolled down my window here. Yeah, we'll have to get the camera out there. I'm well, gonna, actually, if you want to, just hand it I'm, to me. I'm right? just gonna step out here yep. with it. Everybody gets to see it. Door. And here you go, guys. I don't know if this is the building that you were talking about or not, but this is our uh, county courthouse. And as you see, it's got the same lights on top as the bridge. So there you go. Yeah, you're right, Lisa. What a, what a fucking tyrant, huh? Some bitch just had to tell me, turn my goddamn headlights on. Uh, Pandy said, who was that? That, that was our new, uh, new patrolman, Allison. That's the one that was, uh, just hired here just a couple months ago, actually. 
I think it's been about two or three months since he's been on the force. So it's not been long. Yeah, it ain't been long. <clears throat> he's our newest officer out. And you see, they, they ain't trying to fuck with me for nothing. No, they don't. They wouldn't have fucked with nobody. They'd have just told them to turn their goddamn headlights on. Yeah. Unless they had a reason to believe they were drinking or doing something they shouldn't have been. But now, damn it, there's so much damn. There's fucking tyrants, man. I know. Uh, yeah, I know. Good thing they didn't search our car. It'd have been a waste of their fucking time, I can tell you that. Uh, well, I guarantee you. All they'd have it. found was Slim Jim wrappers and empty drink cans, empty coffee cups. They would have found a shit ton of empty coffee cups on my side. I guarantee it. <laughs> if drinking coffee's against the law, I'm guilty. Sean said six months ago I'd have gotten a ticket, went to jail, and had my car towed. No, they don't. Uh, Actually, I've never they don't had mess a problem. With us. I've never had a problem in this town even before I became the auditor. Personally, I've never had a problem. Um, that's the uh, since I started being an auditor, it's the only times I've ever been pulled over, actually, by the Ironton Police Department. Um, I have been pulled over by the state patrol, but they're on now, Sovereign, you asshole. You should have told me the last time. I told him I blamed that on him. It was all his fault. He didn't tell me they weren't on. Yeah, I told him, I was like, I was wondering what the fuck you were doing. Yeah, well, the way he just stopped there, I guess he's wanting me to pull up there next uh, to him, and I wasn't sure. I didn't know what the fuck he was trying to do there, and I didn't want to create a right. problem, you know. But that was, a, uh, you know, so, they're such fucking, I mean, they beat the fuck out of everybody, I guess. <laughs> what is it? I said, that, there goes a show, where they, you know, they beat the shit out of everybody. Mm, well, but, well, I guess because we lick the whole boot, they leave us the fuck alone. Well, what it is, that camera's a career killer. I guarantee it. Fucking tea and not only that, I mean, hell, Acres. I played ball with Acres for fuck years. Well, I ain't got shit to do with Allison. Right. Well, you see, the newest guy ain't yep. looking to beat nobody up or tase him for yep. headlights anyway. You know, uh, the time that we had, you know, got to talk to Allison and everything, I mean, he just uh, seemed like he got good head on his shoulders. You know, Allison, he yep. seems so, so far. No, yep, so far. Know, but I thought that about Brad, too. Yeah, so right. I'm, I'm going to reserve we'll see. total judgment for right now and just assume that he seems like a nice guy for now. You know? The thing is, I knew Brad personally from, you know, the basketball days and all that. I never thought about that, but, man, you know, stranger things happen. You're right, Katie. That's exactly what he was trying. Just, well, he wasn't really trying to get me to stop. He just wanted to tell me to turn on my damn headlights. I, I wasn't sure what he was doing. And you're right. He's just trying to let us know to turn our headlights on. Wasn't a big thing. That was why I pulled over there to make sure he wanted, to, if he wanted to talk to me, he'd be able to. Turn your headlights on, dumbass. Can't believe I pulled out of here and didn't turn them on. When did you go pull him over? <laughs> <laughs> Start flashing my lights. <coughs> I told him I'm about to face somebody just run damn stop sign. Hey, there you go. Scott's right. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Make sure you always hit the like button on every every YouTube channel and every show that you, that you like. Hit that like button. Make sure that they know that you like it. I thought it was button. It is for some <laughs> dumbasses, but I'm not... <laughs> I'm not I that just, guy. I just, <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. Smash that button. Lisa said she's been told that people were seeing a difference in him six months prior. I assume she must be talking about Brad. Mm -hmm. uh, he said that's about when it started. That's what he told the judge when I was sitting <laughs> in there anyway. He said it had been the worst six months of his life. Of course, I wouldn't have told the judge the truth either. Well, I don't know what the truth is. That's why I can't confirm or deny what the man said. I don't know. That's I'm allergic problem. to the judicial system. I break out in hives, start itching. <laughs> so I already said when he used to drink, he'd have a bad habit of breaking out in handcuffs. <laughs> I agree with you, Debose. Why is everyone afraid he can't sue everybody? I ain't scared. Sovereign said, ask Beth Rist about the truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you ask her, she knows it. She knows the truth. Well, hell, he's got to borrow the money to sue people. Mm -hmm. 
We well, ain't borrowing it. He's just plumb fucking grip the amount of it. He has no intentions on paying it back, so it's not a borrow. He's just talking people into giving him money to file a lawsuit that he don't even need to file. That's the worst part of it, just because his feelings. Has he even hurt. won one yet? No, he's not even. I don't think he's even made it to the end of one yet, let alone won one. He can't win something that's for horseshit. You you know what I mean? You just you can't win that way. It's it's got to be right. So. <laughs> hey Sean, I don't know the direct answer to those headlights on that '99 Silverado, but I bet there's a damn YouTube video out there to tell you if you if you type that into the search. I almost guarantee it. Hey, Sovereign, did you ever get your name on that list, sir? Yeah, that's the funny thing. He's going to get a protection order against Team Skeptic. I don't, don't you, like, have to be in danger to get a protective order? Like, don't you have to be in danger of being hurt? No, all you gotta do is just like skeptics nowhere fucking near goddamn California. Stare across the fucking country. What good is a all, protection order gonna do? All you gotta do is go in there and say that uh, uh, you know, pretty much they terrified you. You don't have to have any proof of nope. that. Nope. Really? I promise you, brother. Well, what the fuck's the point then? I've had a few people put them on me, and I didn't even fucking do. All I said was hi to them. Oh, Lisa was asking me if you had a warrant in Kentucky. No, I told her no. You didn't have no warrant, no. but I would. I just leave, don't. I just don't. I would along. leave that up to you if you wanted to tell it was your story. I, I, I wasn't going to tell it. So. I just don't get along with the KY police. They think they uh, the shit. Really, they're not. Sure, they are. They have a badge. I promise you, they ain't. Without <laughs> that gun and badge, they that ain't makes nothing. Them the shit. Well, they have it, so that's what makes them the shit. See. Yeah. That's why, that's why people say, well, without that gun and badge, yeah, well, unfortunately, they still have it, don't they? <laughs> right. <laughs> they do have the gun and the badge. No, I don't have no, nothing like that. I told them that she didn't have no warrant. No. That wasn't it. I just didn't want to tell anything else, and I said I'd leave that alone. That was your story to tell if you wanted to tell it. But there I, is no warrant. Well, that's why birds... He just won't go to Kentucky with me. I keep trying to get him over. That's why birds uh, fly upside down. The whole state of Kentucky ain't nothing other ever worth shitting on. <laughs> I can't stand that fucking state. Stupid. Man. And, you know... You know what's worse in the West Virginia? Not to the people. The people over there, you know, all the people I've met from over there are really good people. That's all the people. And I've met a lot of people from KY. That's Kentucky. Yeah, you, but, you uh, should say Kentucky. Somebody right. out there might think you're talking about the jelly. And, uh, I mean, it's just, uh, the police just make that place horrible. You know what's worse than the West Virginia building a bridge across the desert? I don't know. Kentucky and trying to fish off of it. <laughs> I got a few of those. I don't know if y'all heard about Ohio's new state zoo or not. We've been thinking about building a fence around West Virginia. <laughs> yeah, but I just never. It's Commonwealth State, man. No. They always find something. I'm good. Why do they call it Commonwealth? How much wealth do they have in common? Over well, there is what I want. Pretty much they can do anything they fucking want to you. Hold yeah, you as long as they want. That's not exactly true. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, no, it ain't. Oh, yeah, it is. My buddy <laughs> got three years right. for a joint. Yes, it is. <laughs> Promise you. I know KY. Kentucky. Same thing. No, it's not. KY is also a jelly, and I don't want no, people to be confused. It ain't. It is, too. Everybody's heard of KY uh, I'm Jelly. Not, I'm not worried about that's fucking the KY Jelly. That's the biggest lube out there. Everybody yeah. knows that name. Everybody that's ever lived here, they never call it Kentucky. It's always KY. I've never said KY in my whole fucking life unless I was talking that's about you. the jelly. I've, well, you just <laughs> said everybody. <laughs> so obviously that ain't I true. promise you, I will call it KY till the day I die. That's what it is. It's Kentucky. Well, you don't call Ohio a O H, do you? Or West Virginia WV? I, I usually say WB a lot. 
I know a lot of people that do. I don't. I call them by their name. Yeah, Commonwealth, you don't fuck around. And say so it. it is the jelly steak. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fuck around in Kentucky, bro. Promise you that. They can do what the fuck they want to do to you. See, even Scott thought of the jelly first. See, when you say KY, they think that's because you mentioned jelly. If you would have never mentioned jelly, well, that's not true. You when you say KY, that. no one in the fucking chat immediately assumes you're talking about the state of Kentucky. Well, well, uh, you're assuming uh, that they assume, but they don't. That's fine. I they can what, assume whatever the hell they want. I know what I'm goes. About. I know what goes off in people's minds when certain things are said. That's yeah. I'm, I'm good. Fuck the whole state of Kentucky. They can shove it up their damn asses. Commonwealth fucking stupid. We won't tell that there are two men in the car late night discussing KY jelly. <laughs> like, a, like if you would have never mentioned, if you would have never mentioned jelly, oh, they would have never funny. come up with that. Uh, shit. That's what you say, but I, they're smarter than that, Eugene. I'm telling you, they are. Believe it or not, they've never heard of Kentucky called KY. No one else in the country does that. The five of you here that do it don't count. <laughs> five of you? You better get around Ironton more. Uh, more. I've been here my whole life. You're the only person I've ever heard refer to Kentucky as KY. <laughs> ever. Unless it's on paper and they're just abbreviating. Honestly, I've never heard it called that. Every, every time I've ever been over there, been pulled over, KY. Everybody, KY. Not me. Never heard it. See, Lisa said she's never called it KY either. I can't help that. You know, Lisa's got all the facts. <laughs> I can't help that. But I promise you, I got almost fucking 2,500 people on my Facebook. All of them calls it KY. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never called a state by their abbreviated initials. Hey, we got Jeffrey Dahmer back in here running their fingers again. Apparently, they don't like Sovereign much. <laughs> How can you not like Sovereign? Hey, Debo sent us two bucks for some KY jelly for Eugene. We appreciate it. You know what? I'm going to go get him a tube of it tomorrow, too, just for shits and giggles. Use that on the blow-up okay. sheep we're going to get you for Christmas. You know, they actually make them. If I can blow I, up I sheep. Could care less. I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't telling you because you needed it. I just I seen it given as a as a gag gift one time to a guy, and I thought it was fucking incredibly funny. <laughs> Give him a blow up sheep. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, anybody knows the uh, state of Kentucky, <laughs> KY, whatever. Sovereign, and give him best shit again. <laughs> yeah, they they everybody knows it's Commonwealth State. Mm hmm. They can do what it's not the only fuck they want That's to not what you. Commonwealth means, Eugene. That's not what it means. They get in trouble over what's what happens. That's not what it means at all. Get in trouble, what's what happens. I don't get in trouble, see? I stay out of trouble. That's 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 just a thing for me. I, I tend to stay out of trouble. Yeah, fuck it. Everybody got to get in trouble. I over, try really hard to stay out. No, I try not to. I try not to, but I do. Indeed, what's it say? I am. I made it this far because I'm a bad motherfucker. There you go. I will, I will second that. Sovereign is a bad motherfucker. And he's a hell of a shot, too. So if you can get close enough to fuck with him, you ain't going to like it. Chances are you won't make it that close. He's a good <laughs> shot. I'm just saying. You take your chances however you want. I happen to know the man personally. <laughs> Sean says, what is KY jelly and what is it used for? If you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Google that. Wow. Google that. I'll let you. Uh, I, <laughs> We're not having that discussion. I, I, hope, he, uh, I hope he's just... <laughs> he's just know, being yeah. silly. I hope he's just being silly. <clears throat> of course he is.
<laughs> Colin said, used for fun, LOL. <laughs> well, it is for some people. Other people, it's what the doctor skirts, skirts on the glove. You don't have as much fun with it. I'm not sure if the doctor does or not. I've never been able to see their face. <laughs> <laughs> see, Sovereign don't mind throwing it right out there. Debo says to massage your gun. <laughs> massage your gun. Huh? Yep, absolutely. This is my weapon. This is my gun. This is for shooting. This is for fun. Absolutely. Well, I don't think there's much going to be happening tonight as far as pullovers. No. I shouldn't. I mean, hell, we shouldn't do that Thursday. Still, as I say, still water. Otter says, uh, "KY is a personal lubricant as opposed to public public lubricants. You don't want to use the public ones. That's not a good idea. I don't reckon. Who the hell knows what the public lubricated? Me and pretty much everybody I know, except you and Miss Lisa, now call it KY. So, man, I know a lot of people. I ain't never heard anybody refer to." Refer to Kentucky as KY, just Kentucky. I'll be honest, I've never heard it. I have. Well, the only thing I, I swear, the only thing I've ever heard called KY is the lubricant. Man, I don't know. Never heard it until you. Now I know when you say it, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So that's the shit I've always called it that, and everybody I know but you and Miss Lisa call it that. Darkwater asked if it was my job to turn the lights out in town when I go home. <laughs> Damn. I'm bright as fucking lights. Yeah, that's a tall truck. Oh. It's right up in the back glass there. One of the big trash trucks. Yes, uh. I uh, not only turn out the lights, I roll up the sidewalks and put them away, too, <laughs> till in the morning. We're on the one good street. Well, I wouldn't, well, that's better than every other street. We're on the one good street in Ironton. Well, this part of it. <laughs> you get a head down there on the other end, it's rough well, as a time rolls around, you, you'll be seeing them out here. excitement is there none do you have to have a hood in ironton <laughs> no you don't <laughs> are you asking us if we need one on the car or do we have a hood like the neighborhood the hood i'm, I'm assuming he's saying the hood on the car <laughs> i don't i don't know if it's an ordinance exactly you don't have to have a hood i don't suppose i don't know why you would <laughs> right and if he's talking about the ghetto, no, we do not. Have and if a you're ghetto. talking about the hood, as in the neighborhood, then uh, they tore it down and built a bunch of hotels in it, so there ain't no hood no more. 
at least the part I was always told it was the hood. I wouldn't know anyway. <laughs> as iron ain't never had a hood proper in it. Right. You know. Not big enough to have a hood. It's all just as big as a hood to start with. You know? I, mean, I reckon we can drive by and show him the hood. Yes. You know. If you, I mean, if you want to call it that. To me, it's I just, don't normally call it that, but you know. To me, it's just a lot of cheap apartments. said she's going to bed good night lisa thanks for joining us tonight it's always appreciated dear you sleep well and we'll see you the next time i'm starting to get tired myself tonight Boring ass Thursday night. And like I said, hell, I left the house at like four o'clock, so I've been at it for a while now. And all for nothing, too, really. I mean, I've had a great time with the chat. That's, uh, That's about it. <laughs> I couldn't provide them any cop watching or auditing tonight, regardless of what you want to call it. We didn't get none. Probably won't at all. Ain't no cars out to pull over. Gotta be a car to pull it over, don't you? Yeah. Now this is what they call it. This the is hood. about as close as you get to a hood in Ironton, Debose. This is it. These are the projects here. It's the, uh, I guess this is like the low income yep. apartments. Is that what this is? Yep. And this is it, guys. That's it. That's all there is to it. When we get to this stop sign, we're now just about damn near done. Yeah. It's one block. Yeah. <laughs> block and a half or some shit. Block and three quarter or something. Ain't much to it. River Hills so apartment. There, there you go, guys. That's pretty much the, uh, pretty much the good. Scott said a bunch there. I can't see it. I have to pull over. Right That's here. the go. <laughs> Yep. This is the end of it here. Uh, Scott said, not all for nothing. I really enjoyed today. Your stream was the highlight of my day. Not to mention it showed Ironton PD is not pulling over every person for no good reason, right? You know? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we probably are the only action officer Allen's going to get tonight. He probably ain't going <laughs> to none either i guarantee you these kids in here have boring nights a lot because there's just you know i mean they're just driving around circles like we are they waste the, they waste taxpayer money and we waste subscriber money don't we? <laughs> in, in the gas tank it's what you know I mean, it's, what, it's what gets done i appreciate y'all hanging out with us though always oh yeah that's uh now that we, you know, we can run alive and shit, at least it's somebody to talk to. Yeah. Eugene's starting to like it too, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's... I just, I just never look at that damn camera when we're driving. Always looking up and down the street. Well, I try to keep up. I can't always see it, but I try. It's, it's hard to, harder to do when I'm driving. You know, I can glance and read a bit, but I can't, like, focus on it because I got to drive. I don't know. What are you thinking, America, bro? Uh, if it wasn't for the chat, we would be two bored motherfuckers. Right? <laughs> I've been out here many a nights, man. Bored out of my skull. Especially when you ain't out with me, man. Yeah. It's so friggin' boring. Gosh. <clears throat> There's only what, a couple of them I missed. 
Well, they were long fucking nights. I can tell right, you. right. Of course, there's been a couple nights when I've dropped you off and then come back down here and hang out for another hour or two doing nothing. Just hoping. Those nights we didn't get nothing. I stayed out later anyway, just hoping to catch something and didn't. Well, we was told for him two to four. Do what? I said we was told two to four. That's when, you know, on board nights like this, that's when the pullover, you know, pullovers. Yeah, the one they might get. Yeah. That's when that one lonely car comes down the street that doesn't match the but, description of mine. You gotta admit, almost every time between two to four, fucking, we've always gotten that pull over. No, some nights we've got four or five before and then right. nothing after that, man. It just depends. I don't know. I don't see anybody being out between two and four this morning, not on Thursday anyway. See, now Friday and Saturdays when you'll see that shit because they ain't got to work. Typically, the average person. Bam, son, 31 of them still hanging out with us tonight. I mean, I appreciate them hanging out with us. Right. Sovereign but, uh, said, punch it, Terry. This has got to be the I would, Sob, but it might hurt my knuckles. This What'd is, you say? It's a boring motherfucker, dude. Well, I can't help it, man. I, I give you a song and a dance, but the last time I tried to dance, I ended up in a psych ward for three days. They thought I was having seizures. They wouldn't believe I was just trying to dance. They thought I was nuts. So, you know. I try not to dance in public much. It gets me in trouble. I'm glad to. Obviously, I'm not a dancer. It, it, it shocked me. 31 of them still with me. There you go. Get that glass clean. You missed a spot. You get as bored here as we get sitting in this car. Uh, probably. My mom, I'm gonna go clean the shit off the toilet and somebody fucking blew ass all over. That's probably Eugene. Hey, no, it wasn't Eugene. It's probably Eugene. <laughs> I blame Terry. Terry was the last one in there. No, it's like, it's probably one of them fucking tweakers that were coming in here earlier fucking trying to sell me a fucking bicycle and shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to sell you a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> There's some interesting people in this town, isn't there? He came in looking for my ex old man, right? And I was like, dude, he's in rehab where he needs to fucking be. And he was like, well, um, he said he needed a bicycle. Do you want to buy him a bicycle? I said, fuck no, I ain't buying him a bicycle. <laughs> I don't buy him a bicycle. I said, he's my ex old man. My ex. I'm not going to buy him a fucking bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I said, the hell, motherfucker, I want him to buy him cigarettes. I said, I sure as hell ain't going to buy him a fucking bicycle if I ain't going to buy him a cigarette. Right. Cigarettes would have been a cheaper option, wouldn't it? Motherfucker. I think I lost the chat again for a minute. We'll have to wait for it to catch back up or see if it does. Did the last time when we waited long enough. Yeah. We're running at 200... We're running at 254 minutes right now is how long this thing's been running. Minutes. So that's what, three hours, four hours? Well, six, two six, hours six. is 120. Said, four four hours, hours would be so like 200. Hours, right? Huh? Like six hours? Uh, About four, I think. So are you still alive? Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's running live now. I've, I've lost it's my chat. But, huh? I just seen Popo roll by. It's Todd. Yeah, we've been following them around all night. There ain't shit going on. There ain't no, yeah, there ain't no yeah, traffic out to pull over. The only action we had was him telling us to turn headlights on. Yeah. Better than freaking Huntington on a hooker night on Sundays. <laughs> so somebody asked us a while ago, where's the prostitutes? I'm like, God damn it, this is Ironton. We ain't we even got that many of those, you know. Go to Ashland. 
From I what I hear, there's a bunch of them over there in Huntington. I, well, I wouldn't I know. Well, I somebody plastered this girl's information all over the door the other night. And then it said, uh, called for a good time <laughs> and gave her address. Really? Telephone number. <laughs> it said Holy $15 shit. for a BJ and $25 for a fucking quickie. And I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? I wouldn't want somebody to do that to me. I locked my bathroom down. I wouldn't let nobody in there until I got this shit cleaned off the wall. Apparently, she pissed somebody off, didn't she? It was, it was the bitch's handwriting. It well, was you, the bitch's handwriting. You realize for men, men think there are only two kinds of women. There's uh, the sluts. Well, there's, no, there's, there's, the there's sluts and bitches. See, now, a slut will sleep with everybody. A bitch will sleep with everybody but you. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's how you put it, but I mean, uh, <laughs> That's just the way men think, you know. Well, no, there's, there's the nun and then there's the whore. See it. If you ain't well, whores up, get paid. Well, you then know. you're a slut. That's, that's my point, <laughs> you know. If you're giving it away for free, you can't be considered a whore. A whore gets, a whore gets paid for it, you know. Or at least that's what I was always told. That's, you know. And if you change the name to Call Girl, it's still the same dirty oh, no. job. It didn't change <laughs> that's much. What, that's what me and Misty was talking about the other night, going to find herself a sugar daddy. And she was like... She was like, well, what about that? When I said, a sugar daddy, not a sugar grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if grandpa's got more money than daddy might no, have, why I'm, not? I'm still, I'm still good. Well, if, if you good. get them old enough, you get one with one foot in the grave and the other one slipping, right? you know, no, and you I mean, marry I that one and keep all the money. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to deal with the old wrinkled prune, huh? No. Ah, well. <laughs> Unless you look at Brad Pitt. Put that shit away. <laughs> yeah, we definitely lost the chat again, didn't we? Yep. Absolutely lost it. <laughs> Figures. Wonder if it's going to kick back in here. Am I going to have to quit it again? Guys, I've lost the chat for like the last five minutes or so. I haven't seen anything pop up. I'm going to wait a bit and see if it comes back up. You might have to restart it. I don't think I'm going to restart it again. If it goes out and won't come back on again, I think I'm just going to leave it off for tonight. It ain't worth starting another one. That's about to be number four. I'll restart uh, Yeah, and this one's already been about four hours long. I think we're good on the, you know, it ain't shit happening anyway. I'm well, I mean, hell, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. There's nothing going on. It's better than doorknob. Carrie will be coming in here in a few minutes, and that's about it. Yeah, it's about 20 to 2 now. I'm going to go drive around a bit and see if my chat comes back. And... All right. Well, I'm here for a little bit longer. Well, don't work too hard. You know, they pay the same both ways. I know. Have a good one. I don't know if we're going to get the chat back or not. Yeah, it's hard to. Hell, I don't know. So if y'all can still hear me out there, we're uh, we're just waiting on the chat to come back up. We lost y'all again. Hopefully y'all can talk to each other since you can't talk to us. Up oh, there it is. Come right back up again. I see Pandy Land saying she's headed to bed. So good night, Pandy Land. Thanks for hanging out as long as you did. It was appreciated. Yeah, I guess when the chat goes out, we just need to wait longer. Maybe that's it. Mm -hmm. I ain't never experienced all these technographical <coughs> difficulties as Sovereign calls them. It's his fault for calling it that shit. That's why we have all of those. Yes, KDT, my lights are on, but thank you for asking. <laughs> Thanks, Debos. I got the lights on. My chat's almost much smart asses as I am, you know. That's why I love them. Good people, good people, good people. Yeah, they are. Well, of course they are. They hang out with us, man. Uh, you know. If you ask me, I think we're two great fucking dudes. We are. Son of a bitch, it's boring. <laughs> Listen, if anybody's local and they're listening, I will pay you $20 to come out and run a stop Said sign. what? Damn, I was calling the gas station, was going to act like Virginia County Deputy and tell Terry you had a warrant out for his arrest back <laughs> in Virginia. <laughs> Pulled off righteously, young lady answered. Oh, shit. If 
you actually called him, I'll go back. I'll let her tell me that. But I'm pretty sure I ain't got a warrant in Virginia. I didn't actually get arrested. But that was a fun night, man. We had a lot of fun with that one. Just because the plan come together, it worked exactly like he said it was going to, and he was right. He was absolutely right. Like I said, I've seen that one video, and I understand, you know, people do get arrested in the driveway, but I've seen them two park cars, and I just... Yeah, it was just in his driveway. I just closed it, and I was, one was like, oh, you ain't going... No, he didn't get arrested. Oh, looky there. Looks like Wilson. It is. I pulled right up beside him. Block his car door so he couldn't get in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go up here and wait on him anyway. Why not? All right. Might as well speak to him. More such fucking cop suckers we might as well speak oh don't worry sovereign we got him blocked in he ain't going no fucking where till i move i promise you Colin said Chili loved my fake arrest. Yeah, yeah, he did. He didn't realize it was a fake one. Jeffrey Dahmer, Ironton Frauderty Wussy. Well, you're one to talk out there from behind your keyboard there, bub. Where are you? I'm out here. You know where I am. I don't hide. Behind a screen. And if you need to see me, I'm right here. I'm not hiding a bit. Everybody knows where to find me come and see me you'll find out how much of a wuss i am ah d Bosey ain't even a warrior keyboard pansies more like it you'll have that not everybody's a big badass you know some of them are, some of them are just little jeffrey dahmers You know, conspiracy was saying he's seen somebody shit on top of that. Jump up there and shit on top of these police cars, you <laughs> Piss all over his tires. Hey, he said well, he was out there during the uh, uh, one of the riots, and they turned the cop car over, and he said he seen a homeless person crawl up on top of it and take a shit while it was turned upside down. <laughs> How many people live in Ironton? I believe the population is around 10,500, Chuck. Somewhere between 10, 5, and 11. We'll fuck with, if he ever comes the fuck back out of there, we'll fuck with him. Yeah, Chuck, I assume you're saying that sarcastically. It's definitely a small place for sure. Just big enough to have the county seat in it. Ain't much to it. On the first one that I did tonight, we drove from end to end on it, side to side. What do you say tonight? I'm going to beat the ugly outfit. Hey, I'll tell you all. Uh, hey, you're going to be beating on that one for a while if you're going to beat the ugly outfit. Listen, if you, if you look hey. as good as me... I got to get you on camera and ask you some questions, Mr. Tyrant. I said, I got to get you on camera and ask you some questions. Uh, you guys going to get rid of the goddamn torture cuffs? My name is uh, Eugene. <laughs> How you doing tonight, Captain? Good. How you doing? Oh, I ain't worth a shit for nothing, but we're here anyway. We, we got a live stream going. Got them all in here with us. I'm about to pay my $20 on a damn stop sign. <laughs> the only person that's I'll been pulled right over... The only person that's been pulled over was me. He told me to turn my damn headlights on. I pulled out of here and forgot to turn them on there a minute ago. It was uh, Allison. 
Yeah. He's like, turn your damn headlights on. I'm like, son of a bitch. I know, I'm man. driving I'm around without him. So fucking mean around here. Police beat the fuck out of you and shit. Yes, yeah, so I'm lucky me. I didn't get tased and cuffed and stuffed and right. shit, man. And, you know. Well, if I can get Mr. Wilson over quit fucking hitting me, we'd be all right. Scott Hubert's <laughs> saying, tase these guys. Tase them, tase them. That's what we do. Fuck, I'd rather, catch up with you. I'd rather be shot than tased, I can tell you that. Yeah, the week. Yeah, Ron. <laughs> Later. I will let him get back to work. That was uh, Captain Wilson there, guys. Pretty nice guy. He's a lot like Captain Chad. He ain't got no YouTube channel, but I can't seem to get him on YouTube. I keep trying. Oh, Mr. Wilson. I think he'd be a good guy for it. Man, I remember I used to piss him off with that. Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Sovereign said that was close. Well, Sovereign, we, we learned how to act white when the cops are around. That's what Sovereign always says. He says, there's the cops, act white. <laughs> there's the cops, act white. Oh... Said, man, you guys just barely got out of there by the KY that was lathered on your backside. <laughs> it was hard to see. I thought it was Chad. No, it wasn't Chad. That was uh, that was Captain Wilson. Um, let's see who that was. Filling in for, uh, well, not filling in. This is his shift, ain't it? Captain yeah. Chad didn't work today. He's got an injured injured son. His son's in the hospital. Got an injured leg, I think. Captain Wilson my, uh, is nuts with the um, uh, bag on it. He works Sunday through, or, uh, Sunday through Friday, ain't it? Sunday through, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it, he works Sunday through Thursday, I think. He don't work Friday night. Oh, okay. Friday and Saturday he doesn't work. I'm sorry, Scott, I didn't mean to make you actually do any work trying to find out if I was uh, arrested or not. I apologize for that. I'm sorry to everybody that thought it was real, but if we, if we, if you guys didn't think it was real, he definitely wouldn't have. Oh, it looked like Jeffrey went and got himself timed out. Jeffrey, you should learn to watch your fingers, shouldn't you? Shouldn't say too much like that. You'll get your ass timed out. Oh, that was Sean that said that. Sean said that fake arrest. Spent a lot of time to investigate and see if it was true. I'm sorry about that, man. That's just, you know, uh, everybody thought it was real. And I apologize to you guys, and especially to the ones that were, like, drawing out money. If you don't have people, like, like ready to draw out money, and other people were already drawing it out and everything, and, you know, I, I never expected it to go quite off like that. But I am happy, very happy, that I have people out there that give a shit enough that would. I appreciate it, Scott. Thank you. I had to be honest. I mean, hell, I wouldn't want it if he tried. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jeffrey was timed out again. <laughs> Ain't gonna last long if he keeps that up, I don't think. Yeah, we, we, we definitely fooled old Chili. He, he got on there, and see, the bad thing about it was he was just on there the other day talking about getting money for somebody that was in jail to get them bailed out, but he sure as fuck wasn't going to raise any funds for me, was he? Nope. He was sorry, so sorry that I had went to jail, lying ass bastard. He's up there having a good time. Then he found out it wasn't true. That was too damn funny right there. Got his ass pounded while he was trying to pound mine. <laughs> Stupid. That's what you get, bub. You're right, nope, wasn't me, but uh, Sovereign had him pegged. He knew he was going to go live. He knew for a fact he was going to go live, and he was right. 
You're right, Katie. He was doing a happy dance. He was happy as hell to see me get arrested. That made him so happy. He thought that was gonna. He thought that was gonna uh, uh, justify everything he had ever said about me. That's that's what he thought. And then he found out that shit just just wasn't true. So there you go. <clears throat> Yeah, you're right, Colin Chili is such an upstanding person, such a fine, righteous type of guy, ain't he? Not, not a bit hypocritical or anything. Not a bit hypocritical. For somebody that sure believes in the rule of law, he sure, and doesn't believe in torture cuffs, he sure enjoyed the idea of me, maybe me being in him, didn't he? Idiot. <coughs> That's what happens when your uh, pecker is bigger than your brain and your pecker is not very big to start with. Just saying. When your Cholito is bigger than your brain. <laughs> hey. I don't even want to talk about him that's why he's being quiet fucking stupid yeah Tell they're razzing him in the chat talking about where we did that fake arrest yeah. that got his shit stirred man did you see that video that he made of me no or about me he I deleted it of course you know being sovereign or on there making fun of him while he was doing it and within a few minutes of him shutting that off he was informed that it was horse shit and he just got trolled and he deleted it no. But uh, Sovereign's got it. Irish Demon's got it. Quite a few other people downloaded it. So it's still out there. It's out there for posterity. Yeah, I never never watch anything he uh, does. Oh, he's all... Man, I I don't think I've ever seen him as happy as I seen him on that video. <laughs> he was so goddamn happy. You should have seen him after that. He got, uh, got in his vehicle driving through L.A. going to go auditing. Didn't get a single fucking cop, white man. He acted depressed all fucking night. That just oh, he's back in L.A. Now? Oh, yeah. He was then. If he ain't now, he just left here recently. But, yeah, he was in L.A., and that's, you know, Sovereign recognized the street he was on because he's been there. Uh, yes, Chris V., you're welcome to tell us something you thought about us at first. Hell, we don't mind. Chris wants to tell us something he thought about us at first. Damn. Yeah, I know, right? I'm almost afraid to hear myself. Right. Everybody always has one opinion of me till they get to know me. Once they get to know me, they find out I'm not the guy they thought I was. You know. Well, that's like the South Carolina Ohio. I'm a, I'm a notorious thug. You know. They don't wanna. That's the problem with people these days, man. They don't. Have... They always judge a book by its cover. Okay, don't, what does he say? Okay, don't get pissed. All right, well, we won't get pissed, I promise. No. <laughs> he thought that we were gay partners. <laughs> what the <hell? laughs> Ah, shit. Now, that is funny. Oh, damn. That is funny, Chris. Why in the hell would you have thought that? <laughs> oh shit that is too fucking funny right there guys hey Scott uh, have a good night sir and you sleep well it's because of the pride in your channel name I guess thought that was like for gay pride you know yeah Wrong kind of pride, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong kind of pride. Yeah, we we might be Flintstones gay, but we're not New Age gay, right? We have a gay old time, but it's not because we're gay. <laughs> I mean, I love Eugene, but, you know, it's not quite yeah, we like don't, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, not quite like that. Yeah, we don't go, uh, yeah. <laughs> he said calls him my name. Hey, he got to come up with something better than that. That ain't telling the reason. <laughs> How do we stay up this late? Uh, hell, I don't know. A lot of I don't, coffee. 
I don't sleep a whole lot anyway. I only sleep about two to four hours at a time. I really don't sleep very long. 30 pots of coffee, we're good to go. I know I'm about ready to roll it up and call it a night though, I think. Unless you just particularly want to stay out here for some reason. Nah, fuck no. It's boring. Ain't looking dude, like shit's happening, is if it? If it wasn't for the chat, dude. I know, right? That's, you know, that's why I don't mind staying out if you want, but there ain't shit happening. That's so. up to you. You're a driver. <laughs> I said we're together just for the insurance, right? Just in paper, no hanky panky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think no, his we... wife, I don't think his wife pregnant with his twins would like that too awful well. Well, to be honest with you, we're the only two who got the balls to do this here in Ironton. He said it's because, you know, the, the first couple of times we went out, and I'd always say I'm here with American Pride, Ohio. You know, it's just because of that pride thing, man. Well, he needs to, I mean, well, I guess you can't have American Pride unless you're gay now. <laughs> Terry, you kept calling him your partner. Yeah, well, you know, that's because he is my partner, but not, not that kind of a partner. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. I guess all these words have taken on new meaning since uh, since I was younger. Right. You know. You know, the word gay. You know, the word fag Hell, used, the word it? fag used to be a cigarette, like like square, a square was a cigarette, fag was a cigarette. Yeah, how you say it now? It's fucking fifteen days in jail. Right? <laughs> Now people get all kinds of piss when you use certain words or think think some weird shit, so. A little hanky is okay, just watch the panky. Still water otter's <laughs> head, right? You gotta be careful of that. Watch out for the panky. I don't know if Katie D's asking us if we're coming out on Friday and Saturday, but yeah, we'll probably be out at least one of them. We'll try to be out both. It'd be nice to be out both. He said, so why are you two holding hands right now if you're not partners? Don't forget, I'm picking up for you, from your trunk. That's the guy we got locked <laughs> in the trunk back there. Well, I'll tell you what, buddy. If you can find someone little enough to get in this damn trunk, <laughs> I'd probably give you $20. Scott must be a little bastard. Like right. Me, huh? <laughs> well, he you, can't be very big. The only sure way he get in your damn trunk is a midget. Right. So what are you thinking? You just want to stay out? You want me to run you to the house? What it's you up thinking? to you, brother. It don't matter to me. I'm about tired. You're the driver, son. I've been out here, like I said, since right around 4 o'clock. I'm just, my back's about shot sitting in this car. I know my fucking legs are. Son of a bitch. Looks like everybody else is just about ready to get out, too. I'm I think surprised. everybody's getting tired and bored now. I'm surprised we've had this many stay with Sovereign us. said Eugene said he isn't gay, but $20 is $20. <laughs> oh, shit. Sovereign trying to tell us his gay stories. Says, Terry, if you had a chance to drive the general without the flag on top, would you do a donut in the middle of the night? And, well, fuck, I'd do it with the flag on top. Don't bother me none. I don't care about yeah, the flag. I wouldn't drive it unless I had the flag on top. Right? That's what makes it original right yep. here. There's too many people that think that that has some shit to do with racism. It's because they don't understand everything about it. Now, was it brought into it? Sure. But, you know, that's there again. It's lack of education to the people, unfortunately. Name changer said he'd do it for 18. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, you're, you know, you might not get that twenty dollars after all, you know. He said, "I do it for eighteen. <laughs> Going to auction that shit off right there in right. the chat. Lowest price gets paid, you know. It's like right. the price is right, you know. Get as close as you can without going over and shit. Fuck, that's an old Joe, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Some bitch, you're giving our real ages." Fuck, I'm 48, man. I don't hide it. Now. I'm 21. <laughs> Chris V says he's 47. Name changed. Oh, it's name changed, not name changer. 
change the name. Fine, five dollars, but I get ice cream and a Big Mac. Shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. oh. I think Colin said we're both older than he is. I'm 21. How old is he? It must be 18 if you're 21. I don't know. Colin says he's in the 50s. Well, maybe we oh, are. Maybe no. we're younger than him. Then. Yep. I'm a lot younger than him. I'm glad he's uh, going over that hill before me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm holding this fucking side of it up. I promise you that. <laughs> I don't know where the hell I start over the tip. If it's a 50, I'm right. I'm holding it up. I'm <laughs> pushing the big 5 as hard as I can push. 47, I have underwear older than that. <laughs> Must be religious because they're holy. <laughs> right? Oh, shit. That is shit, too his underwear has got me be about at least 20 years. Eugene now. is 21 with 20 years experience. No, you no, I, I... Actually, he's not really that old. He's, nope. a good bit, he's a good bit younger than I am, believe it or not. I'm, I'm the old man here tonight. Only 37, brother. I got about 10 years on you, Jane. It's 37, but if anybody asks, I'm 21. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> oh, shit. I wouldn't want to be 21 again. Me either. I had enough problems getting to this age. I'll fucking try it again. Debo says he's 52. Oh, Tiffany God. said APO's old as dirt. <laughs> I'm two years older than she is. <clears throat> Shut your mouth, Tiffany. Love you, Michelle. Well, most people don't believe my wife's actually a couple years older than I am. They all think she's younger I didn't. because she's got that baby face and I look like an old haggard bastard, you know. <laughs> I tell you what, guys, I never thought I'd be a grouchy old bastard and yet here I am fucking killing it, right? I'm killing it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Older than dirt. They're so old you fart and dust comes right. out, you know. Old enough to know better, still too young to give a shit. Yep. Pretty much. Somebody asked what they thought about the legality of speed traps. I can't read that whole paragraph, but I think speed traps are horse shit. Yeah. I think speeding tickets are horse shit. If you, here's the question. They charge you all this money when you speed. Does it stop people from speeding when you charge them money? If the answer is no, then my next question is, does it make people safer? Do they drive safer when you charge them money for speeding? If that answer is also no, then my question is, why the fuck are we still allowing them to charge us that? It's obviously not having its desired effect, so. Another way for them to make money and not do shit to our streets. Well, I'm sitting right there, wasn't I? Yeah. I think it was uh, an Allison kid. I know he's not a kid, he's a man, but. Well, to us, he's, he's a, a kid. kid. <laughs> to me, he's damn sure a kid. You know, I'm old enough to be his daddy, for fuck's sake. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I was. In age-wise, yeah. Yeah, I'm old enough to have a son his age. That's that's terrible. Are you asking me, Chris? I can't fix tickets in Ohio. Hell no. I could probably help you get a couple, but I, <laughs> I, couldn't, get, I couldn't get them fixed for you. But I could probably help you into a couple if you want them. I'm we sure can, we can figure something out. We can get you all the tickets you want. We'll get him a couple we don't want. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Johnny, how you doing, man? Good to see you tonight. Johnny Groman, you remember him from the... Yep. That's the name changed. 
apparently he changed the name, which is why it says name changed. It makes sense, <laughs> don't it? Uh, Chris B said, can attorneys fix tickets? Well, not as far as I know. They might be able to get you out of a few. I guess you'd have to have if a buddy pay. somewhere high up in the government to be able to fix some shit. I don't... If you buy your own attorney, yes. Yes, they can help you. Well, they can get you out of it. I don't know if they can fix it exactly, but they, they can have it thrown out and shit. Right. But if you use a public pretender, not a defender, pretender, I promise you, you're going to just don't do it. Well, Mr. American <laughs> Pride, not gay. Uh, man, you have a good night. <laughs> Thanks for riding with us. We appreciate it. Yes, sir. I'll see you after a bit. Probably see you tomorrow night. You gonna do it again? I don't give a shit if you want to. What time you reckon we want to start? Oh, I don't give a shit. I have nothing I, to That's do not tomorrow. a time. I, don't I have nothing to do. Okay, all right. I'll give you a holler tomorrow even when I get ready. All right. All right, sir. But all right, guys, drop American Pride off. I'll head back toward the downtown here and we'll make one more run through just to make sure that we ain't missing nothing. much going on in old iron town tonight obviously ain't that much going on in iron town any night but especially on a regular weekday believe it's Allison sitting back here, the one that warned me to turn my headlights on there a while ago. I'm going to pull in here and speak to him real quick, guys. Let him know again, I appreciate it for not tasing me and torture cuffing me and rape caging me and shit for, for getting to turn my headlights on. It's always appreciated when you don't get the shit beat out of you or get shot for that, you know. Everybody loves that. Warning beats the hell out of getting jailed or beaten or ticketed and fined so just wanted to say thanks again for proving a point that the IPD ain't out to tase and beat motherfuckers for not turning their lights on man we've, we, we've been talking about it there for a while I just wanted to say thanks again it's always yeah, well, that's where I pulled in under that damn light. I know what it was. I turned them off and then forgot to turn them back on. It's appreciated. So that's, uh, let's see, if I can get him on here. I don't know if you can see his face over there. That's uh, our newest guy. That's Officer Allison over there. Patrolman Allison, I guess it is. I always say officer, I forget. So, anyway, I think I'm going to shut these guys down and go home myself. Apparently, there ain't much happening tonight, is there? Yep, that means there ain't a shit thing going on in Ironton. Ain't much going on on a Friday or Saturday, let alone through the week, so. Yeah, well, that don't come that often, though, does it? Can't even get the drunk people to fight that much anymore. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, man, I remember some of the old Russells at the T&H when I was a kid hearing about them, man. I guess it got pretty rough down in that area. That and the old Marlowe. 
I'm sure there were some long before our time in this town, back when it was hopping. I, I bet there's some stories some old people could tell us about some of that. Well, patrolman, you have yourself a good night now. Don't don't let him work you too hard now. All righty, guys, that's Allison, our newest patrolman in the in the group. Fairly nice fella, he seems. Seems to have a level head on his shoulders. And, uh, you know, if you got to have you got to have cops around us, that kind of attitude that, that, that you want um, and your police officers. So he's new, he's young, and he's not a prick. That's my favorite kind anyway. Still got anybody out there with me? I see the number 23 there. I don't see anything rolling up in the chat, so I don't know if I lost y'all again or not. I probably did. The damn chat loves to cut off every time I come to this end of town. I don't know what it is. I drop Eugene off and head back this way, and the chat goes out every time. Hey, there you are. Yeah, he does sound like he's a fair dude. I, I, I don't know for sure. He's kind of new, but, uh, you know, from what little bit I know of him, he seems like a pretty nice kid. Um, of course, you know, I thought Sparge Eric was a good one, too, so maybe my judgment ain't the best, you know, and I wouldn't be the first one to claim that it is, but... Yeah, I gotta admit, uh, as far as being treated rough, you see they don't treat me rough. It ain't because I'm on the payroll and we're all buddies or anything, but you know, they they don't exactly love my job, I'm sure, but they don't they don't mind me coming in here and doing it. You know, they don't they don't mind me being the auditor. They let me do that because it's my right to do it, not not because they like me doing it. So anyway guys, I'm gonna gonna shut this down here in a second but i want to say goodbye to everybody good night i hope everybody sleeps well have a great day great morning great evening wherever you're at in your part of the world i hope it's an awesome day and i hope that everybody has a great one so i know that i usually do um i'll be out again tomorrow evening at some point i don't know exactly what time but uh you all know where to find me on one of my various lives if we have to keep shutting them down and starting them over you know i'll try to get another one up so i appreciate you all joining me tonight and uh i hope like i said i hope everybody has a great one guys for the moment irons and auditor out and i'll catch you all in the next run